Hello, everybody, and welcome to the table. <gasps> Our guest oh. for the evening. Get on I really here. thought you were gonna be. Bison's got a new dig set. Wants me to clear it out. Got some creatures, monsters, usual nonsense. I need all of you roll initiative. For oh. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And the next one. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh no no oh no. Oh boy. And that was the day that Kate died. <laughs> Uh, one of them is not within five yeah, feet actually, of you. Yeah. I do need you to... Um... Hello, everybody, and welcome Hi. back Hi. to Tabletop yeah. Notch. We're thrilled to be back this week. Um, unfortunately, sadly, uh, Deirdre is uh, off in the wilderness. I won't in the She's in the downwheel. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, uh, in the real world downwheel. Um, so we say a brief farewell to Morna, but we are going to have our first guest of Campaign 2. Oh, that's true. Very exciting. Yes, our very mm. first guest of Campaign 2. Oh, um, TBD, to be determined. We will we will meet our guest shortly. But before we dive into the usual stuff, a couple of housekeeping things. First and foremost, happy birthday. Yay! Yay! Happy birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Yes. Oh. It was Friday the 13th. Yeah. A bunch of people on social media. Ding Dongs made a post for me. So yeah, just for you. There was a bunch of people <laughs> saying happy birthday. So you thank wanna... you all and thank you people who also said. Hey. You want to relive <laughs> like Anthony's uh, highlights and lowlights of campaign one and two. Oh, yeah. You made your little montage. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That was yes. delightful. Yes. <laughs> yes. Sorry, a very you. special birthday boy. This <laughs> very special spooky Friday birthday. Uh, we left off last episode uh, after defeating some uh, a troglodyte leading a pack of blink dogs. Uh, we continue our scouting mission there up on the ridge as we watch oh. the gully below. But um, before we do that, sorry, I did the before we do that yeah. already, uh -oh. but right. let's go around the horn and then do the usual. Thank you for joining us here on Twitch on Sunday. But there's other ways to watch and listen to the show. Uh, the podcast goes live on Tuesdays, uh, anywhere you cast your pods. Um, we also just launched subscribers for Spotify because we have bonus content now that's yeah. locked up. Bonus. Is it Is it the Notch and Soda? Yeah. So, the yeah. so the you can listen to them you on, can do audio on, only on, on Spotify only. only because the other podcasts aren't so feature rich. Correct, yeah. So feature rich. <laughs> so go to those, whatever you use, and not um, the richest features. Yeah, rate us if you're on Apple, uh, subscribe to us if you're on Spotify, but otherwise just enjoy us on Tuesdays. Um, Tuesday is also when the YouTube video gets posted, but only for patrons. Otherwise. And YouTube members. <laughs> oh, and YouTube members. Sorry, I was waiting. I please, keep interrupting please. you. Um, yeah, uh, the members and pa and patrons of any level get the link to the YouTube video on Tuesdays. Otherwise, you can watch it on Friday. Um, yeah. Ad free. Ad free. Oh my goodness. Ooh, wow. yeah, special, good. special, ad, likewise ad free here on Twitch if you've been gifted a, um, a sub, a, uh, very, a sub or you maybe sub to us with Amazon Prime, which is very easy to do. So please do it. <laughs> yeah, so, um, and YouTube members, so you'll get early access to the normal videos and then you also get the like bonus locked content of the Notch and Soda Talkback episodes every month. So uh, we're also on every social media that exists. <laughs> if you find one that we're not on, let us know what it is. We maybe have a we'll, Threads account? Maybe we'll join it. We, we do, do have a Threads Okay. That's, we also have, active on that. Have, a, have a Tumblr. Tumblr? That has a total of zero posts. Threads. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Tumble it's on it's by. Facebook. That's not all. Both of them, all three of the meta uh, places. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Threads of uh, Facebook and covered yeah. it when we said all. Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, but oh as God, as Jordan was saying, lots here. of different ways to support us. Which yeah, memberships on YouTube? You can subscribe. I think you can even subscribe on TikTok. Is it called? TikTok? Yes, we just started yeah. subscriptions on TikTok too. So, as well. oh my God. Search Talk Tabletop to Notch you. wherever you like to use <laughs> yes. things, and you there's probably a way to to support us there. So thank you if you do, and yes. check it out if you'd like to. Um, Discord. That's my last thing. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> I would join never us, join us on Discord. We're a lot of people. Uh, we've had a bunch of new uh, boosters. So th thank you for the server boosters over there. You, you keep us uh, 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 filled with the ability to make um, animated icons and banners and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, they're in the you. they're in the countdown sequence now. They're yeah. credited in the countdown sequence oh, good, every week good. now. Yeah. Uh, we just got another one like really recently. Yeah. Um, so join us on Discord to talk about the episodes in between Sundays. Uh, spoiler, full threads about the current episode, but there's also stuff for our last campaign and fan art and your art and homebrew and mad stuff. It's a lovely place. <laughs> it is a very pleasant place. place. Yeah. 
Um, we also, speaking of Patreon, so that's one of the greatest ways to support the channel. We have just started our Broncolo version of our homebrew PDFs. Uh, the first month it's was Broncolo Double Plays. Yes, double. the most popular card <laughs> game in Broncolo, Broncolo Double Pass. Uh, <laughs> feel free Bison? to check it out. But then um, you get yeah, like the or Roger. 14 months or whatever Bison. it was before that of our last campaign. Uh, you get all that if you're a big notch, and then top notch, you get even more goodies stuff um, and all that good stuff. I don't know. Stuff, stuff, stuff. Lots of stuff. So double stuff. it. Yeah. Double it? Yeah, I'm doubling. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> In front call, double. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and then we got merch. I'm wearing a, a lot of it. We just added some new stuff of the, oh yeah, the oh, Samson mm. Tote. The yes. Bag. Samson Tote, so yes. Good. Um, so go ahead and check those out too. Uh, there's commands in chat, go crazy. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on it because we got things to get it's to, true. baby. Matthew, I think you want to uh, We did the Patreon, we did all the things. I think we're good. Are we good? Yeah, do I need if to, we're not, do thank I just people. need to get to thanking? Oh, that's oh! We have a new emote in the chat. Oh no! What is it? <laughs> Go ahead and find it. I'm gonna find it. Go ahead and find it while I'm I pull up who we need to much. thank. I, oh, is it Goblin Anthony? Is it is it Erica? Nope, no. that was last week. <laughs> Am I not? You're locked behind something. <laughs> be for anybody. I don't see anything. Guys, put it in the chat. Help is Anthony it, out. Oh, there it, we go. People are putting. Do it I need in the chat. to? <laughs> People, just look at the chat. <laughs> what is it? It's a giant peach with TC's hat on it. Yes. For my huge ass. It is Perfect. indeed. That is only a good thing. It's only a good thing. Some people are making Erica admire it. <laughs> I got the best view last week. That's true. All right, Serious Gaming resubscribe, Golden Dagger 94 resubscribe, Alex Slayer did 100 bits, Detective Wyvern resubscribe, Shades Blue resubscribe, Burnsy resubscribe, Wizard and Kevin a community sub, Jay Brownie did 1,000 bits, thank you so much, Jude did 10 bits, thank you, The Wild Meat Popsicle resubscribed, Wizard and gifted a sub, Pokodoko resubscribed, Alex Slayer did 100 bits, Seth 1690 resubscribed, uh, Pokodoko and Dude are our mods, Dude does our timestamps and our wonderful fandom so community funny. that helps build the fandom that, that people get to use. I, sh <laughs> you shut your goddamn mouth. And then uh, Whirling Nerdish is doing our closed captions for YouTube, which is uh, awesome. Thank you people so much are already, for all of those amazing people. yeah, people yeah. are already utilizing that. Yeah. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, that's for awesome. all your hard work. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. For oh, being oh, here. oh, I didn't realize we were starting the <laughs> evening already. Shit. Oh, oh. Star <laughs> Rush. Boy, that felt like a that felt like a sprint there. Everybody take a breath. Everybody relax. Oh, yeah, this Picture is gonna be the gorgeous view of the downwield as we look mm. upon it from the plateau yeah. up above. The bodies of all the Scooby Doo's. Yes, of a blink dog <laughs> oh, littering the mountains. I forgot. Dead dogs <laughs> everywhere. It's gonna, they're just out in the sun. It's gonna stink. Oh, 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 some dog jerky. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. So right. resource. <laughs> or I don't know how long we'll be out here. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> All right, I think it is time for us to jump back into the campaign. So uh, once again, we're gonna throw it over to the recap from last week. And then after that, we'll go right into the intro and then we'll dive back in. Let's do it, everybody. Peace. Let's go. Transition Let's go. ready to go. We're ready. Let's do it, here we go. Ooh. Leaves. Previously, on Chapter 4, Nest Kept Secrets. The volunteer scouts crossed over to the other side of the gully, where a cliff afforded them a convenient view of any oncoming clinkers. Complicating their assignment was the fact that several goblins had set up an independent mining site within a nearby cave, which could be connected to the satchel snatched earlier from the Grix. An uneventful period was followed by the appearance of a wounded griffin flying home to roost, and if that wasn't bad enough, a troglodyte with its snarling pack of blink dogs was in hot pursuit. Initially, the group took a not-my-problem approach, but without vacating their vantage entirely, a clash was all but inevitable. The elevation proved to be a blade that cut both ways, for teammates and canines alike were sent tumbling down the hill, but in the end, the threat was quashed, and in a roundabout manner, Mona received an invitation to see what the goblins had unearthed during their digging. Was this the last Kate would see of her precious mystery bones? And can Ilian learn to stop making promises the rest of the party won't keep? Stick around and find out on Chapter 5, Brunkhaller.
<laughs> with Morna having retreated below to negotiate with the goblin miners, you return to your watch over the gully, occasionally stretching your legs by walking amongst the battered corpses of the blink dogs and their taskmaster troglodyte. Their sudden appearance has put the group on edge especially given that the griffin, fickle beasts that they are, may return at some point, and it's a coin flip as to whether it will recognize you as its savior from before. Over the course of the next hour, the sky shifts from golds to purples and then to deep blues. And not only is there no sign of Morna, the gully remains quiet and still. It seems the clinkers didn't see fit to call for reinforcements, or if they did, they didn't come through here. The whole operation has a curious feel to it, like you're very much on the outside of what's truly taking place here. But you've done what was asked of you, and it feels good to know that you may have started off on the right foot, garnering favor on your first day in Brunkle. So, an hour has gone by. Constitutes a short rest for those of oh, oh, my goodness. You're brilliant. I, I, all my dreams. <laughs> um, okay, so... So, so, uh, oh, so no, you I didn't realize that that would be the. the I, I think we gotta sign off and sign no, back off. Yeah. I think simply put, and we'll take a break with the healing surge thing. I'm I'm maxed <laughs> out with my hit dice and my healing surge. I get back the ability to use the healing surge and one hit die. That is correct. Okay. Oh yeah, I guess I would have used healing surge before the short rest. No, we this again we, we, we figured out that you don't. Oh, you don't need to do that. Yep, you can do it right now. Use the hit. Okay. I'm gonna use two hit die here. You may do. Oh, please. Oh, oh, buddy. Which one so eight. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yours are eight. Do I use my two third and last? I'm gonna do them both. If I do that, I can't use the healing surge. One at a time. I need to have it. So you have to add. Never mind. I'll save one to add your constitution. Wait, nine. And then I oh, that is just great. Tough. So you're already I'm already okay. Wait, <laughs> that's your just oof. Oof. Yeah. That's yeah. just not well, a so great way to start this. Okay, eight. And that way you only And then one. I ten. But then don't I give them back or something when I 12, 13, 14? Oh yeah. 15. If you use a hit die, mm -hmm. you just oh I'm max. Get you get one you back. Go. Yep. You get so one still still two. Oh, so if oh, I use three, I'll have one in reserve. That's correct. Okay, well maybe I will use it. With the optional ones again, the optional healing surge rules, you do get one hit die back. Okay. I'm okay now. Riveting teller. Yeah. This is this is the good shit. This is why we play D and D. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that you can heal. Whew. My broken spine now feels so much better. <laughs> oh Ilian is a chiropractor. Tends, <laughs> as Ilian tends to his wounds, you do notice a few uh, unseemly dents in your armor that yeah. you're thinking about uh, repairing later on after the fall that you took. Yeah. But mostly, mostly just cosmetic. The armor itself seems still functional. So. Okay. So during this time, you guys have a little bit of. Uh, Relaxation, recuperation. Relaxation might be a, an overstatement given that you are kind of on alert. But once again, nothing other than the occasional animal and critter passes through the gully. You see no uniformed people, no people at all, no no humanoids at all that come through this well-traveled route. Any more so, gricks or? No, no gricks oh. at all. It remains very quiet. At one point you see something kind of passing through the sky and after the griffin, everyone sort of is on edge and looks up to the sky. But as it gets closer, it doesn't get bigger and bigger like the griffin did. It's mm. just kind of an eagle passing overhead. So it goes on by without issue, without complaint. Mm. So you guys have a little bit of time here just while you work. So the quiet one's dead, yeah? Eh. You mean, you mean Mora? Yeah. I hope not. I did you guys talk about us waiting here? Four days until she comes back, or a certain amount of time we're supposed to wait after our mission, or? Oh no, we didn't really talk about that. Um, but I'm sure she can find her way back if needed. By herself? With? Oh yeah, she'll be fine. We she did seems fight like six gricks on the way here, but yeah, she'll be fine. She'll be fine. Maybe she'll be quiet enough to not offend any goblins. Maybe she'll befriend the goblins, and they will help her back to town. True. Maybe she will live amongst them forever. Very optimistic group. We've lots here. of questions. Mm. Okay. And and we were supposed to wait here until like someone was gonna come relieve us. Someone or come relieve you. Yep. That's correct. <sighs> Imagine we are technically in the correct spot here, but seen hide nor hair. So 
bored. He's quite boring. Kind of feel like it's a trap. No? If there's more coming, aside from that griffin and all those dogs, I I hope that was the trap if there was any. What if this is like a prank that they play on everyone who comes to Brunk Hollow who's new? Maybe we already scared them off with our performance. Oh, so we won? I like that idea. Enough time passes as you move idly about the plateau that you wonder which will come first. Morna's reappearance oh, <laughs> or the arrival of Bison's envoy to signal your being relieved. Mm-hmm. Sure enough, when a sign of life emerges in the gully, it's a human with a long braid and weapons aplenty affixed to her padded armor. Okay. It's Delia Croy, who you met at Excavation On Demand, but she hasn't come alone. Walking beside her with surprisingly long strides for a short-statured person is a dwarven woman who, in stark contrast to Delia, looks like she rolled out of bed and went straight into the downwheel without a moment's thought for preparation. (laughs) Delia has sheathed weapons, layered jackets, a lantern, and a bulging hiker's knapsack. And meanwhile, her companion has nothing but her fists and a dark red button-up shirt thrown over some simple hide or leather armor. The two of them take an unswerving direct route toward the hill that you're atop, but you do have a moment to wait and watch while they make their way across the open area down below. So you spot them just on that tree line on the opposite side that you all emerged from at one point, and they're kind of quickly, not so quick that it looks like they're running or rushing or or trying to get to you in a hurry, but making good time across the gully here. And these are the last kind of you've got maybe another 30 minutes of decent light here, so you're fortunate that you were able to kind of spot them from a distance before the, the sort of sunlight truly goes away. You were, you know, oh, yeah, I was going to talk to them. Nope, please. <laughs> <laughs> Attention, everyone. <laughs> I have an announcement. Uh, mm. Now, uh, I see uh, a few people are arriving here. I suppose we should talk about what we share. The tale of the Griffin and the Grix will go over well, I think, but perhaps we keep the presence of the goblins to ourselves for now to see how that shakes out, rather than sharing that with the rest of the community. And how do we explain the absence of one of our people? She died. Well, she's she's going to come back, hopefully. (laughs) She did fight with us, so it feels wrong to robber of the gold. She's taking a piss. She She's admiring some stone and split off from us. She went sightseeing. Yeah, she that went sounds like she's not doing her job, she, don't you understand? Oh, well, that. that's not our fault. We, I mean, I'll try to get an extra 20 gold for her and hold on to it if. She but, could be scouting perimeters or something. I, since we haven't seen anyone being a little, she's doing a little bit of extra work. So and we're gonna we pretend go. that we know exactly when she's coming back. No, she's, she's away. She's, you know, she's over there. She's not here, she's over there. And the lie <laughs> will become apparent <laughs> very quickly, I believe. I'm not very good at lying. All right. She's Someone deflected, else. that's what she did. I just wanna make sure she gets paid, that's all. Just seems fair. I'd, this is very nice of you, Doc. She has don't start risked making that me money like by leaving this plateau, I would say, and that I don't want to be caught in a lie and risk losing my 20 gold for her. I hate to say it, but I'm with TC on this one. What if she's just investigating the cave? Elliot, help me. Talk some sense. We can say whatever oh, no. we Elliot, want. Do you just I'm saying that if they ask where she is, closer. we don't know. And we don't know when she's getting He back. said 30 minutes. We've got 30 I, minutes to decide. I didn't know. No, no. 30 minutes or oh, the day. Like, right? like, there I there would be them, them like. Now, yeah. <laughs> 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 fine, fine. Yeah. I tried. No, no I, I think it's worth seeing if we can get the gold, but not pushing too hard that we lose our stuff. Where there could be a middle ground and then. She decided to go. She loses her gold for that. She loses her gold for that. That's what I said. I say we... We'll we'll ask to see, because she was here for most of the time. She fought all these things. Yeah. She put her life in danger. That warrants some kind of reward. We'll see what they say. We tell them she found something she needed to investigate. And she left. Uh, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> that's the truth. Yeah, that's, uh, there we go. No, because then it. that seems a little too... Is significant, then they'll want to know what it is and they'll want to investigate. 
she went off sightseeing or to look at stones. Cause look uh, at stones. Yes. Yeah. She was investigating stones. Because she wants to be a stonemason for Broncolo. This could be good for everyone. Great. And it wasn't <laughs> didn't seem threatening enough that we needed more than one person to go. No. Fine. Oy. I think this is a great solution. TC, do you want to do most of the talking? Oh. <laughs> Over you? Yes, I'll take <laughs> me over you is fine, yes. Who's above you? I didn't I didn't deign to, to assume anything about that. I just put myself above him, that's all. You can go if you'd like. No one's above you, but I'm the only one below you. That's great, <laughs> easy. <laughs> all right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And on the opposite end of that <laughs> spirited debate, we're gonna pivot down into the gully and welcome to the table <laughs> our oh. guest of the evening. Get on I here. really thought you were gonna be Delia for a second. <laughs> oh my oh, goodness, shit. Amanda. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Kelly, welcome, welcome. I can't stop smiling. I'm so excited to be here. No, so. Tell me everything about her. <laughs> everything about her. <laughs> Is that Story, Erica's everything. friend from high school? <laughs> <laughs> so you departed from Broncolo with Delia. With the, you have your own sort of objective, but Del- you knew you and Delia were headed in the same direction. And you guys have worked together before. You don't share exactly the same profession. You have a more sort of specific line of work, but the two of you have crossed paths on many an occasion. So you wouldn't consider her like a close friend, but a work acquaintance that you know, you're familiar with and friendly with. So the two of you were both headed into the down wheel. You've made your way through. You've been walking together for about an hour, maybe a little bit less than that. So the two of you, as you're starting to approach the cliff, Delia kind of motions up to it. Flea bags should be waiting up there. If the Gricks don't, didn't tear them to shreds. Seemed like a steady enough bunch. Arrived earlier today. Caravan got ambushed by Horton Boyd and his boys. And that's a name you recognize, Horton Boyd. He has a reputation for, uh, raiding caravans that are on their way to Broncolo. He knows a lot of the trade routes, a lot of the commonly used sort of roads. So he has kind of a sour reputation among a lot of people in Broncolo, so. Word is they uh, didn't hesitate much to start a scrap. That could mean they got some toughness in them. Of course, could just mean they're stupid. (laughs) But I leave that level of estimation up to you. Either way works for me. Good. I wouldn't be, uh, Overly surprised if they turn you down. Sounds like they had a long day. But you go ahead, you feel them out if you want to. All right. Let's head on up. I think I see a few heads peeking over the side. <laughs> come, here, come. <laughs> Get the story together. <laughs> they know we can see them. <laughs> I would hope that as they took their watches earlier, that they found themselves a little smaller on the hillside. We'll find out when we get up there. And you watch as uh, Delia and her companion make their way up. They go along that sort of left trail that's a little easier, that isn't really a climb there around the left side. Slowly they begin to emerge. Once again, you see human woman with her long braid and then the dwarven woman right behind her. And they sort of get up to the top. It's a little bit of a trek, so you can see them breathing heavy, but not sort of panting, just sort of getting up to the... Well now, good to see you all again. I can't help but notice right away that you are one member short. Mm. It's true. <laughs> Anyone care to elaborate or? Uh... Oh, um, she, she won't be gone for long. She, uh, we had a bit of a scrap earlier and uh, we were all resting and she wanted to take a look around at the uh, local Rocks. All right. That's a smart woman. There's some very lovely trails around here. Yeah. Good for her. Excuse my manners. Uh, this is Ace. Nice to meet y'all. Nice Ace. to meet you, Ace. Cheers. You're the flea bags, huh? <laughs> Apparently, yes. Uh, Ilian, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Doxley. Hi. Doxley. I'm Kate. Nice to meet you. TC. Howdy. Ace works for Bison like I do, although in a sort of different capacity. But she's got business up here in the downwield, so she walked with me for a while, but I am here to relieve you as promised. How did the meeting go? From what I understand, it went pretty smooth. And uh, somebody did come back to camp and 
didn't report hearing any dog whistles or hearing the dogs barking, so I take it that the gully was quiet. Mm. That's good, that's good. At least of clinkers. Something else you saw that you'd like to report? Well, as I said, we had a little scrap. Animals, bricks. Can Chocolate I point, out, point out to the dogs that are... You can, <laughs> they're behind you, so yeah. they, they have to kind of wander a little bit yeah. further onto the plateau, but she looks to the left and the right, she right. sees some of the dog bodies sort of strewn about the plateau here. Griffin we fought off. If this yes. is a regular spot that you send people looking against this gully here, there is a griffin nest mm-hmm. in the northeast corner. Well, one of you asked me before why we sent five people for one simple job. Well, now you know. Any lasting injuries among you? No, just need to get my armor looked at, that's all. Uh, and the solemn looking lady with the breastplate, she's poking around at the rocks, you say? Mm. Yes. She's very passionate about rocks. Why? She wants to be a stonemason here in town. Sure, sure. Well, in any case, uh, Bison's business is concluded. I'm here to send you back to town. Um, I got your 20 gold each. So I got pouches for each of you. She produces the pouches, starts handing them off, and she gets to her fifth pouch that she has. And will uh, she be finding her way back to town? Yeah, and she's holding something of mine, so I think it's only fair I hold that for her. Well, she kind of looks dazed for a moment. As she can attest, Bison ain't keen to hand over gold to someone who didn't earn it. So when Morna gets back to town, we'll see to it she gets it. We'll send her your way. That's fine. I'm gonna head over to Bison's dig site, but I think Ace had something she wanted to ask you. Feel free to hear her out. Nice to meet y'all. Hope to see you in the morning. Thank you, Delia. Before you go, um, I hadn't heard uh, of a specific person I'm looking for in you seem well acquainted with the town. Uh, would you know of a, uh, a Niall, Niall Morton, and where I could find him in town? Once again, she looks to Ace. That's a name you recognize as well. Niall is a scout for Brunk Hollow. He, not, he doesn't work for Bison. He's sort of an independent. But Niall scouts the downwheeled, scouts the upwheeled. He's been involved in a lot of efforts to um, discern exactly where the cusp starts and ends. So like where it's safe to be and not have a cleric show up and kick your ass. So he does a lot of scouting missions around Bruncolo. So again, not someone you associate with all the time, but you've definitely crossed each other in taverns or at the <laughs> poker tables and a name that's familiar around town. Cusp prober. <laughs> a, a, fing- a fellow fingerer of the cusp. <laughs> Excuse you, I tried to be good. He's not such a sexual. <laughs> sure, yeah, now we see him around. Doesn't work for Bison, but you'll see him uh, frequents the Lucky Heathen in the evenings. Okay. To my understanding, he doesn't have a house in Brunk Hollow. Usually finds a way to set up camp just outside. I think he prefers the wilderness to the warm confines of the inn. Sounds like Niall. Great, thank you. Someone you knew from the outside. Indeed. If I see him, should I tell him you're looking for him? Please, uh, Ilian again. Sure. Yeah, Doxy. I remember. If by chance, uh, we wanted to have a word at all with Bison in the coming days, might I be able to get an introduction? And you can swing on excavation on, on excavation on demand. Uh, he ain't always there, but if he is, I bet you can get a word. Mm-hmm. Keep your business straight to the point. Don't like to waste time. Of course. You could also visit him at his dig site, but he won't let you get too close. That's the one west of here. That's the current one he's working on. He usually makes sure that the mine's proved out before he moves on somewhere else. All right. And if you ever need us again, you just know where to find us, or should we just be checking in or for any kind of work? Is there somewhere I should be looking for you? We're at the Paramount right now. Yeah. All right. If we need new hands, that's where I'll look. All right. I do, thank you. Delia, right? Delia. Thank you. All right. Have a good night, y'all. Make it back to Brunk, all us safe. Mm-hmm. You as well. Right. Thank you, ma'am. Bye, Delia. Tips her hat to Ace sort of most prominently <laughs> and then works her way down the side of the hill there, sort of leaving. Ace has been sort of quiet up to this point, but you can tell she's been kind of observing people back and forth, sort of the conversation taking place. I heard you guys had a little scuffle today. 
A couple, oh, actually. Which one do you refer to? That was today. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It was today. Long day. You're not too tired, are you? I wouldn't say no to a bed right now. But. But we would always take the work. Are, are you here for work? Yeah. Possibly, if you want it. Bison's got a new dig site. Wants me to clear it out. Got some creatures, monsters, usual nonsense. Yeah. Gotta go down, sweep it clean, make sure it's all good. So you can start digging there. Hmm. Need some bodies for it. Right now? So uh, a fresh one, a new, not the one he's currently at. A prospective no. new one. Prospective new one. Oh. Well, I, I won't speak for everyone else, but that's the kind of work I'm very comfortable with, so. I can sweeten the deal. I will get you a meeting with Bison. A one-on-one where he would be attentive up mostly? Can't promise that exactly, <laughs> but I can get his attention on y'all. Put in a good word, set up a time for you to run into him, perhaps? I mean, I was hoping that my actions already today had put me at least into his good graces, but a little oh, bit no, no. deeper into the it graces. It takes I... more than just one little job to get I, noticed by Bison. I wouldn't. I, I believe it, and I would gladly get deeper. You want to go deeper? Yes. All right. Okay, is that far from here? <laughs> Are we in the... It's about a little less than an hour, like 45 minutes from where you are to the north. It's a little less than an hour, about 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right. okay. it's, it's like early evening at this point. Yeah, it's like 6.37-ish at this point, yeah. Um, you think we might be back uh, before the wee hours? Yeah, so the creatures <laughs> we're going to be dealing with, troglodytes, um... <sighs> Not fond of sunlight, so they're usually gone from their home at night, so it's best to sort of hit them at night. Right, right. That tracks with what the little you know. I mean, they are night hunters, but because of that, that means that if you're going to clear out their nest, there might be less of them there at night because they'll be out. So if you went there during the daytime, they'd all be at their their home. So it explains, clearly explains why she might be out here in the evening. Well, should be no problem. you should have seen TC earlier deal with the troglodyte. It was quick work. Good job, TC. All right. Yeah. You oh, peer over was... and there's there's one that has like a bolt up through its tongue and into its nose yeah. there lying with the sand. Uh, the, the griffin got to it even after that, too, so it's <laughs> yeah. not really fucking. <laughs> um, the night is long if y'all need some more time to rest, eat or anything. Mm. But, I'm ready for a fight. If we're going to do this, I'd rather sooner than later. What does this gig pay? <laughs> Pays a good word with bison. Oh, no gold. I could sweeten the deal. I could say, I could look the other way when we're in the mines. You could grab a little, <gasps> grab a little something. Ace. <laughs> <laughs> Works huh? for me. But we have to clear it out first. Rocks. Fair. Right. I don't know anything about rocks. I'll take the word with yeah. bison. If, if you, <laughs> do you know what? I'll take rocks. Doxley's rocks. rocks. Before you look That's at the it's, it's either rocks or the... Uh, bison and I I'll take bison. Doxley and Aliens Rocks. I'll give you a tip. Yeah. Uh, you want the shiny ones. <laughs> okay. Got it. Do you want to tell them what's actually in there? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Sorry. We just got raided by a chaotic neutral goblin for 86 hey. viewers, and then Singularity Roleplay also raided us. Thank you. Oh my so gosh. Much. Thank you guys. <laughs> I'll come in. <laughs> we're just getting started. Yes. As you can see, we're negotiating the yeah. terms. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Nah. This having not been exactly begun as a site, there is there's no tools or anything nearby. It's all just prospective dig site. Exactly. All right. Well, fortunately, we don't have our one friend that carries around a pickaxe all the time. But and knows a lot about rocks. Mm. It's unfortunate. Shiny ones. I don't think they'll just be laying around. They might be lodged quite deeply into the wall. You're the one who said you wanted to go deeper. You guys might not know, you know, exactly what you're looking for, but you've seen a, a, a vein before, like an ore vein yeah. before. Yeah. So, you know, you're not, even if you're not sure how much it's worth, you would know to know what maybe what to grab. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> All right. Well, if things are good, we won't have to fight too much. Maybe one messy, bloody battle, but it won't be too crazy. If it goes bad, we're up to our knees and shit. Uh, All right. But I think it's gonna be great. 
Is there, are these usually um, like caves where the, the troglodytes live? Yeah, they live there. We clearing them out from their homes in the name of the shiny rocks? I mean, home is where the heart is. <laughs> Fair. So, wherever their families, yeah. But if their family is dead, then then it's our home now, you know? But we did already kill one of them today already. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone around here would be really missing the uh, troglodyte families. Okay, shiny rocks it is. Let's go. All right. Give me a either perception or uh, investigation check, whichever you prefer. And it's it was actually, we were sort of backtracking a little bit. It's actually when TC drew your attention to the troglodyte that they had killed mm -hmm. prior, that you took a look at the body. What did you say, sorry, perception? Either perception or investigation, whichever you prefer. <laughs> it's a fat five, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You give a brief once over on it, and the only thing you notice about the troglodyte is it's been smudged and marred at this point, given the level of conflict that took place. But there was almost some like reddish war paint around mm. its left eye that has now been sort of smudged and smeared away. That may be an indicator that it is indeed a part of one of these blood clans that uh, the troglodytes make up. So you you clocked that as you saw it, but then sort of quickly made sure that you didn't make it obvious that you were looking it over. I kind of kicked the dead body. <laughs> nice work. Nice, nice. Hey, unless you missed it when we mentioned it before, this one was kind of leading this pla pack of blink dogs against the griffin that was here earlier. I mm. uh, don't know what the troglodyte wanted with the griffin or how it controlled the blink dogs, but is that something we might be seeing again? I think you got some good experience under your belt for what we're going into. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's go deeper. Let's get it done. <laughs> My words catch up with me. <laughs> um, everybody other than Ace, give me a perception check. Oh! oh. oh. Well, can I describe what Ace looks like? You may indeed. Yes, please do. Oh. 23. Mm. Uh, so Ace is a dwarf. She's got dirty blonde hair in two plaits down her back. She's got deep red leather matching vest and pants. Ooh, okay. <laughs> With a bit of armor. Immediate uh, love. <laughs> she has two bracelets on her wrist, one on each wrist. A nice bolo tie with a set ruby in it. Oh, yeah. oh, snap. And then she has a holster, but it's not for a gun or a knife. It's for a deck of cards. <laughs> awesome. Right. Ask her, baby. Oh, yeah. right. Wow. Yeah, ask her about the heathen. The perception check? 10. 23. 4. 9. 9. Kate, one thing that you notice, and I'm glad we had the description, one thing that I'll just draw your attention to is you see the bracelets on her wrist that yeah. as she's sort of gesturing, as she's talking to you, they catch the light a little bit. And it looks like the leather bracelets have inlaid bits of like quartz or something, some kind of gemstone inlaid into them. And they don't necessarily seem magical or anything, but they do seem sort of decorative or ornate in some way. Like okay. they look quite well, like very carefully crafted. Mm -hmm. Some of them seem like they might even be sort of etched with some symbols into the stone themselves. So okay. she has these very sort of interesting, intricate bracelets that she has one on each wrist. There. I forgot the most important thing. As you're looking at the bracelets, <laughs> she has the beefiest, most calloused knuckles and hands that you've oh, ever seen. She pulled like, just yeah, like she solid <laughs> leather. Like you could probably touch it and she wouldn't feel it. Just okay. massive hands, like bigger than boxers. She like when they were climbing hands. from a distance, it looked like she had gloves on. <laughs> but she doesn't. Oh, wow. Okay. Like Impressive. they're very weathered, sort of rough. I can't okay. wait to see her knock something out. Yeah. Okay. You lead them off of the plateau. All right, let's go. <laughs> and you start to head generally in a sort of loose northeasterly direction. After standing watch atop the plateau for so long with its very much unimpeded view, descending back to the ground level feels like the downwheel is like swallowing you up. The trees come up over your head and all of a sudden you can no longer kind of see the fields around you. Even as a waxing gibbous moon rises, much of the generous light gets caught in the canopies above, and it forces your eyes to all adjust to their dark vision grayscale, with the exception of TC, who yeah. you can see right away is sort of struggling to slowly move forward. He takes very kind of tentative steps to avoid tripping. There's enough light to be able to see where you're going, I'm but- the only one who doesn't have dark vision? Yeah, Morna also doesn't, but she's not here. Boom! So, so you are currently yes. the only one. Well, it's because he's human, Oh, right? another yes. campaign. 
without dark vision. God damn. I have other cool things that are about me that are cool. Oh, like, fantasy like world. Like running up walls. Human. Yeah. yeah, I can run ha, ha, up high. You can quick, run quick, high, quick. I can quick high. I've seen it. I go quick high. I go quick high. <laughs> The wind at this point has picked up considerably, enough that it's often hard to even hear your companion's footsteps over the sounds of the shushing leaves. But any unfamiliarity is balanced out by the very haunting beauty of the wilds here. There's a popular saying outside of Brunk Hollow, and it has several variations depending on where you're from, but the gist of it is, the wind at your back is the gods breathing down your neck. <laughs> mm. wow. Those things that you can feel but can't see, being a product of you know the divine omnipresence all around you. But here, the wind mm. is just wind, portent of nothing other than the chill that it brings with it. Knowing that there are just as many nocturnal predators as there are daytime dwelling beasts, you keep your wits about you as you move forward. But with Ace acting as a guide, you at least feel confident that there's someone who knows how to spot any kind of clues worth worrying about. So there's a little bit of time here, 10, 15 minutes that you're sort of walking through the downwheeled, a little bit on edge, but also appreciating the beauty of your natural surroundings. Once again, the light continuing to fade and a little bit of the moon coming up that gives some light peeking through the leaves above. But you guys have a moment here as you're walking to kind of get acquainted or just listen to the wind around you. So what's y'all's interest in Bassett? Just seems like an important figure to know. So that's all I have to That's go fair. On. New people in town, find the guy with the power. Makes sense. Yeah. I'm predominantly interested in the shiny rocks. Shiny rocks are great. <laughs> Who knows, maybe I have something I might be able to offer him. Now Care to share with the class? <laughs> um, no. <laughs> <laughs> For bias. How long have you been under his employ? A little over four months now. No longer a flea bag, that's nice. <laughs> When do we get to lose that title? Yeah, when does that stink wear off? <laughs> Gotta get a few more scars, a few more gigs. Okay. Get drunk and have a brawl in the bar. If you win, flea bag stat is gone. Alright. That's good to know. Elliot's quite good at that. <laughs> <laughs> is that where you like to spend most of your time in town? Yeah. Mostly bison's got me running around these hills. But in free time, it's really beautiful. It's nice to walk around. The bar. The, the, yeah, the bar, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> beautiful hills, wood, rolling. Beautiful. Nah. Hollow really is a lovely area. I don't think most folks appreciate how nice it is out here. I think we're all a little caught up in what we want. We don't realize what's necessarily around us and what makes this place so special. It's, uh, that's a great insight. And what do you think makes this place special? Look around. Look at this forest. The earth is so alive. Could you use a little... Hmm? No, please. Oh, sorry, I didn't please, know you. No, you. <laughs> I was just going to say, it could use a little more water. Absolutely. I'm missing a little bit of that. But, like, you can feel the earth, the shiny rocks. There's so much... Potential. I don't want to say that anymore. But so much energy around here that you can just feel. A special. Do you have any experience with energy? Of a special variety? A little bit. Is that something you learned when you came to Broncalo? Broncalo teaches you a lot, but it won't teach you that. What's this word that we're talking about that we're not mentioning? What's energy? What today. energy? <laughs> what do you got? What are you talking about? Yeah, I know. Hey, I'll talk about Like hitting freeze on the way. Can I light a Watch door? that branch back there. <laughs> he can't see or hear. <laughs> Out of the question to light a torch, um, as we stroll merrily along. Everyone's still in real line, right? One, two, three. All right. We're good. We're all here. Yeah. yeah. All right. I believe she was talking about magic. It's the word. <laughs> What's so wrong about magic? I mean, 
we obviously know what's wrong with magic. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> be clear about that. But I mean, just talking about it. Nothing's wrong. You just never know who's listening. Huh? I was under the impression that no one's listening here in the wilds in the downwield. That's what's so beautiful about it. You never know. Are you listening? I shall be wary of you all. <laughs> Always. Okay. I'll watch what I say then. How much magic have you practiced, I suppose? All the time, every day. Ooh. I'm a magic fiend. It's crazy. Wow. And everyone kind of laughs at that, yeah. but also, like, even if you know no one's listening, like, it always has an unease about it all the time. Like, it's that nervous laughter that kind of comes to the forefront, because it just really does. I'll know who to come to. <laughs> Please don't. Is this understanding something that runs in your family? I guess I'm curious how you came about this perspective and these skills Kate's outside very of this forward. place. <laughs> <laughs> TC is very that. far behind <laughs> us right now. <laughs> TC, you gotta keep up. I can't, I can't tell Bison that I lost one of y'all, because then I gotta find someone else and it becomes my problem if you die. So keep, please don't get lost. Gotcha. Keep up, sweet cheeks. Mm -hmm. uh, to answer your question, it's not necessarily from my family. I find the best experience is getting out in the world and making new friends. Meeting new people. That sounds just like you, Kate. You guys will get along great. Thanks, Illy. Thanks, Illy. Illy. <laughs> Have you guys met a lot of people in town yet? A uh, few. Here Barely been here a day. A uh, couple hours, but like oh. seven hours, eight hours. Not, not you're not even flea bags, you're flea maggots. All right. Oh, boy. <laughs> that that hurt. I don't know why, but that hurt. <laughs> Have y'all met Maeve Crittenden? Briefly, yes. She's an absolute light in this town. She is so lovely. I we got that great impression. great talks. Yeah. Just tell we... her I say hi. Yeah. Hmm? That felt like sarcasm. Oh no, not but... at all. She's so lovely. Her, and, uh, her hair, I love it. And how did you get her to be lovely to you? <laughs> you gotta show her respect. You gotta shut up. Oh, two things do I that for long enough. Do that. <laughs> do that long enough, and she loves you. So you mean, on first meeting, you shouldn't? What's up? Is that not right? No, I would say that's like maybe the worst thing you could do I when see. meeting Maeve for the first time. You know? I also met a very nice doctor. Oh, that's so bad. You, do you know much about sawbones? Not too much. You're kind familiar. Of really, his name's Kevin Locker. I haven't had, I haven't had right? too many yeah, injuries you, or anything yeah. like that. The old doc. It'll get under my skin a little bit. I yeah. don't know if he gets, if that's the vibe of the town. It's kind of the vibe of the town. Yeah, right? Untrustworthy, a little scary, a little creepy. You just want to have the thickest skin. Yeah. You know? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Because people will stab your back. And so you got to have thick skin. So your back doesn't get stabbed. Is that I why you have that? I suddenly lost sight of what we were talking <laughs> about. <laughs> get a faraway look in my eye. <laughs> Is that why you wear this? Adorable leather ensemble. Thank you so much. No, I just think it's nice. <laughs> it is nice. <laughs> you do notice that for some of the people that you've seen out in the downwield or some people that you know explore the area around Broncolo, she seems uh, underdressed is the wrong word, but like under adorned. Like mm. her armor is very thin and simple. Like she's not. Weapons. She's not carrying a weapon, as far as you can tell. So like that does. It's not crazy, but for someone to be exploring the wilds with such little sort of uh, protection is unusual. Mm. <clears throat> when we do find ourselves up against these troglodytes, I. Uh... And no, help notice that there's only four of us here with weapons. Should we be the frontliners while you supervise? No, I could take the front. Huh? There's more than one way to deal with the troglodyte. Yeah, we'll probably end up killing them. Sometimes you gotta kill them. But sometimes you can talk them out of it. Sometimes you just gotta fight the big guy. And all the others will run away. I like that plan. It's a good plan. Do you speak trog? A little bit. Primordial? A little bit. What's the other kind? 
Troglodytes have kind of their own sort of tongue, but they do primarily speak primordial, which is a sure. shared language of a number of yeah. underground and elemental creatures. Uh, how much luck have you had parlaying with them in the past? 50-50. That's pretty good odds, actually. I thought <laughs> I it's actually pretty good, good odds. I really don't playing. like those odds. <laughs> you'll, you'll have to forgive Doxley. <laughs> There's nothing to forgive. She's a little rude. <laughs> All this to say, we don't need to run in guns blazing. Okay. If anything, we want to be quiet. But we eyeball okay. the biggest one. But we eyeball the biggest one. It'll be... Pretty obvious. It'll be pretty obvious. We are walking into a blood clan. Don't know if I mentioned that earlier, blood. but we gotta take out the big guy. Hopefully they all scatter. It's not normal for the troglodytes to gather and <laughs> organize the way they are. I have not seen that in my time here, and it is a little concerning. It's a recent development. It's a recent development. And bison's aware of that? Yeah, but I'm here to make it go away, that problem. Mm, I see. All is to say, sometimes a big troglodyte gets an idea in their mind that they can start leading everyone else because they're the biggest and slightly smarter. And so all the other ones start coming together and they make a blood clan or a home, whatever term you want to use. And that's a no-go for bison. So we're here to okay. get them out of here. Now, you mean literally physically bigger. Um, yes. Any other adornments that this leader might have? I mean, sometimes they get themselves some weapons, sometimes they like some fancy little clothes. Little but yeah, it's mostly just size, All right. you know? Right. A leader of a blood clan is usually adorned in some way, whether it painted sometimes, like war paint across their faces and tails and things, or sometimes they'll find a, they might steal a cloak off of a body that they've killed and wrap themselves in that. Like they like to show off that they've taken things right. from other creatures. Right. Interesting that Bison wouldn't be too fond of that behavior, given that is more or less what he's been up to here in Broncalo, no? Creating a blood plan? <laughs> <laughs> Deciding he's the biggest, and everyone will report to him. He does run a successful uh, business. Well, I, I am in a little bit of a hurry, so uh, how much further? We're almost so, okay. there, we're I'm almost there. Almost there? Bro, okay. We're almost there. Should we be having, if you're dead set on communicating with this fella, <laughs> should we have a code? I don't speak primordial. I won't understand when things mm. start going south. Oh, you'll know. Uh, <laughs> we'll start fighting. Fighting will start. I would like to have a head start <laughs> on the fighting if we sense that it's going to happen. All right, all right. What if I yelled, fight? <laughs> that seems pretty clear. Is that clear? That's clean cut. I I think even I can grasp that. But if you have a different word, I can use oh. that word too. How much common do they understand? Oh, basically none. Yeah. Literally none. So. so you could literally, under the guise of uh, huddling with us, exactly. literally come over and say, these idiots need to die, <laughs> and then go back over. We could do that too. <laughs> Fight. Fight. It'll be fun. <laughs> Fight. Fight. It'll be interesting, you know? Right, okay. It'll be a good time. Mm. All right. All right. A little more walking. It's been about 20, 25 minutes into your trek, maybe a little over halfway. And suddenly, up on your right, a source of illumination flashes between the trees. And it catches everyone's attention right away because it's very, very dark. And then a little bit of light just swings through between the trunks. You come to a sudden stop and everyone waits. And looking in the direction of the light's origin, you can see the outline of two humanoid figures, maybe a hundred feet up ahead of you. The outlines alternate between hunching and standing up straight. Hunching. Standing up straight. It happens over and over. Mm -hmm. Standing up straight. At that, about that yeah, speed? Yeah, at about that speed. This back and forth occasionally stops so the two figures face each other and perhaps converse. They might be talking to each other, but you're at too great a distance to overhear anything, especially with the breeze kind of as boisterous as it is blowing through the branches and the leaves. So there's two figures up ahead of you that seem to be maybe talking or doing something there and, and difficult to discern exactly what that is from this distance. Do I recognize the gate? Sorry. Do I recognize the gate? 
You do not, no. It, it's too far to really make a much detail at all. Mm. Someone might have to creep closer to get a better look at that. Ace. Yeah, what's up? Is there any reason to believe that there'd be two people out here doing some kind of digging mm -hmm. in this area? And whether they would be friends of yours or not? It's possible. Listen, Bison sends a lot of people out to do a lot of things. Could be them. All I know, as of right now, they are not part of our mission. Bison doesn't want us interfering with any other affairs of his. You're sure that if he didn't know who they were, he wouldn't want to learn about it and who exactly they were? I'm just saying, I might be able to get close enough to... I think that's a fair point if you want to sneak forward and check him out, but we're close to the entrance of where we got to be. And all I know is that my job is to clear out this cave. Mm -hmm. If there's other people, Bastion can send people to check those out. Um, if you think, if you want to go check them out, that's maybe fine. Maybe just, if I just overhear a name or two. All right. Just to see. We'll hold for five. If you're not back in five, you're dead. Right. We'll keep walking. Five minutes. All right. <laughs> And keep it down. <laughs> <laughs> and TC, almost the light is the first time you've had look, no. been able to see clearly for a while. Now that they, and it, it's clear that these two figures are sharing a lantern of some mm -hmm. kind. Like sometimes they'll lift it up, sometimes they'll put it down. So sometimes it kind of sneaks through the trees. Other times it's blocked by some of the foliage and the underbrush. So, Would you like to creep a little closer. I shall do so. Make a so if check. they're they're up on the right, and if they kind of continue on straight, and I. Yeah, it's just like off a little ways. I mean, they're kind of in your the direction you're headed, but just off to the right a little bit. All right. Yeah. Uh, stealth check. Here it comes. <laughs> this, is, this is what I do. This is my thing. Oh, nice. I can't tell. I can't tell. I can't tell. It's fine. Everything's fine. Um, oh, got it. His cheeks were clapping together. Eleven. So loud. Eleven. Oh my God. Eric. Eleven. Oh God, I'm so close. You start to move through the brush and. As you're creeping forward, even with the lantern light coming coming in, it's just difficult to see exactly where you're placing your footage time. And you don't trip or sort of <laughs> run into anything, mm -hmm. but at one point it's almost like just bad luck. The wind <sighs> stops for a moment, and in that second, you kind of step on a twig or a branch or something. It clearly makes a sound, and the two figures stop. Is it dark enough that if I got low, yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you watch these say. Oh, is he possibly can? A little bit. There's a quick sort of whispering back and forth that you were too far away to hear. Mm -hmm. Back and forth quickly, and then someone sticks to what sounds like a shovel in the ground, mm -hmm. and then the two of them get on a couple horses nearby and. Fuck. And they disappear uh. off into the further reaches of the downwheel. While he was I'll off. quickly go over. To you didn't there. get very far from them. Oh. From the rest of the group? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you maybe got 40 feet ahead of them yeah. or off to the right before sort of they well, scattered. If, if it, those two are gone gone, I'm gonna go the rest of the way and see what I can see what they were doing. Okay, you watch, you can hear TC sort of moving further in that direction. You were also, because they weren't trying to be quiet, you heard the horses start to gallop away. Yeah, yeah. Disappear. So you'd like to go up to where they yeah. were? Yeah, yeah, see what I see. You head up to the spot that it seemed like they were, that they were sort of huddling around, and you see some freshly dug earth there. And it seems like they weren't able to exactly finish what they were doing. Mm -hmm. Because there's an arm and a leg sticking up out of the ground that are sort of not fully buried yet. It's <laughs> not what I was expecting. Oh. Any rings or piece of clothing or. Uh, <laughs> Playing my flute. It's while just fine, right? Don't. <laughs> <line, right? laughs> <Dope. laughs> uh, give me an investigation. <sighs> investigation. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Uh, 15. 15. As you poke around the body, you would have to maybe dig it up a little bit to get a fully better look. However, a couple things. It seems like it's a wood elf man, it's an elven man, is from the okay. features that you can see that are sticking up. Daddy. And a li like one quarter of his face is unburied that they didn't fully get all of the dirt over. And you can see sort of a, 
like a horseshoe mustache, half of a horseshoe mustache sort of on his face. And he has a bit of a receding hairline, but no jewelry, no sort of identifiers that are obvious to you immediately. Yeah, and it's, they left shovels. They stuck one shovel in the ground. And, yeah. yeah, so there's a shovel there. But there's nothing else, there's no other. <laughs> Not that you can see. <laughs> I didn't get a good look at their outlines to tell what uh, didn't get close enough you know, for anything. Box. All right. All right. Make my way back. Okay. As TC was doing that sure. little ballet, mm-hmm. Doxley's like <laughs> arms crossed, leaning up against a tree, watching. And to Ilian, she'll say, uh, "You know, earlier TC was bragging about how he's good at keeping his ear to the ground, mm-hmm. and I was actually considering it for a second there after he killed that trumpetite. <laughs> but you know." No, mm-hmm. it doesn't seem like he can do that. Everyone makes mistakes now and again. Could be some merit in his abilities, you just keep watching him. So we're thinking like a best of three yeah, on, this, on that one? This is a loss on the keep the ear to keeping the ear to the ground, number one. All right, Okay. cool. And now in the darkness, you see he's sort of working his way back to the trees, now without the aid of the lantern light, once again, sort of struggling to make your way back. <clears throat> well. How'd it go? No. Could have been better. <laughs> they were not out here digging for gold or any other energies or anything. Mm. They were burying a wood elf. And as soon as they heard a single just the tiniest little noise. <laughs> they hightailed, as I think you noticed. I'll describe the, what I saw mm-hmm. the wood elf to her. You describe the wood elf to her. And Ace, <gasps> the description sounds very much like a man named Dwight Netley, N-E-T-L-E-Y, Dwight Netley. Okay. And he's one of Bison's scouts. <gasps> he's, you remember specifically that uh, he's often utilized to uh, as a spy for the, on the clinkers. He's, Bison sends him to see where the clinkers are digging, what they're up to, as a way to see maybe if he wants to you know, set up an operation in that vicinity. And the so. clinkers are the goblins? The, uh, no, the clinkers yeah. are the people who run the prison. The prison, yep. yep, yep, yep. Yeah, um, so that's one of his sort of spies, scouts, that he uses to keep tabs on, the, on what the prison is up to. And just to check, Bison didn't have any beef with him, right? Like they're-, they're The scout? Good? Yeah. Not to your knowledge, yeah. You, as far as you know, they were very much still working together. Dwight. I think that's Dwight. They, uh, they were making quick work of it. I could not get close enough to get any kind of description for you of the two. Look, how about, could I tell if they were speaking common? Uh, yes, they were. There's a fair chance they were speaking common. <laughs> it's good to know. All right, well. Do you want to go what? retrieve him? No, Maybe dead body's right? a dead body. Ain't no use to us. He's pretty much buried. Okay. Oh. <laughs> He's pretty much buried. <laughs> ain't good enough. Are there any kinds of like More buried el- than not buried. <laughs> Is there like a wood elf thing that I would want to do for him and his death? Like, uh, tell me. <laughs> wood elf burials are, are often uh, sky burials, which is, means like oh, you rough. put them up on a hill or, or in a tree or and something. Then yeah. yeah, and then you let the, the, wild, the birds eat them or something like that. <laughs> and then the birds go oh, oh. <laughs> You let nature take them back yeah. by, by sort of laying them out in, in their natural habitat or something. Mm, okay, I'll just leave them. <laughs> uh, Elian. He'll get half a burial, because they'll eat half of them. They'll eat half of them, good. We can come back later and bury him if After the mine, we'll see how bloody it is, and, and if we're headed back the same direction, we can s- stop by the body. There's no like place for... Make a carving or something in a tree to remind yourself of where we are. Ace, do you know this area well enough that you could guide us back here? Yeah, just about. I also have like a map or something, and can kind of like... A very loose description, yeah. About <laughs> where in the woods we are. Yeah. I'll show you. It's about here. Great. It's a very crude map. It's oh, like so. down wheel, <laughs> up wheel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, it gives you a loose approximation, but it's not like a yeah. detailed map of the region. <laughs> we'll see how this I'll goes. buy it off. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, okay, uh, here all right. it is. <laughs> I'm over a gold piece. Yeah. Uh, that, I'll, I'll do it. There's no. That's not a place for a person. That okay. man, Dwight, dead Dwight. He worked for Bison. Yes, he did. He was. Uh, 
pretty good scout, actually. Spying on the clinkers a little bit. Um, do pretty good scouts go missing very frequently? Working for Bison in any capacity is always a risk. Dwight knew what he was getting into. But I will let Bison know that you found him. I'm sorry, I don't have more information for him. It's all right, just what happens. Mm -hmm. Something bad might be brewing if you guys are staying in front Hollow for long. Hmm. Just keep your wits about you, if we make it through tonight. And I'm sure you would say that Bison's side would be the best side to be on. I would say that, but don't let your roots go too deep with him. There is rot. Good to know. Were you at that town meeting? No. Is she lying? <laughs> Take it in such a way. <laughs> oh, damn. <Buddy> <laughs> Nineteen. Nineteen. Simply at the mention of it, it's obvious that she's not like, what meeting? Like, she knew that a meeting was taking place. It doesn't, you don't sense dishonesty that, that she wasn't present at the meeting, but okay. it seems much as you guys have sort of discerned from some of the other people in town, this meeting was clearly a big deal. Some, everybody seemed to know about it, even the people that weren't invited to it. So there was some kind of meeting that Bison called, they found something at one of his dig sites, you do know that, that was, but yeah. other than that, it, it does not seem like she was present. Like, Fuck that meeting, I hate that meeting. <laughs> 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 meetings. Meetings. <laughs> oh, I decline all meetings. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot get me on your schedule, no meetings. <laughs> Hopefully we live through this battle long enough to uh, oh, sense whatever battle. trouble's going no. down. <laughs> Hopefully no, we live through fighting. this verbal negotiation long enough to sense whatever trouble is brewing back in town. Now that is a spirit I like. You know what? You can call me Ruby. Ruby? Is that for your little necktie? That's my name. Ruby. Ruby Ace. All right, but only people I like get to call me that, so don't even fucking think about it. I'm gonna look over at Doxley and be like, <laughs> Doxley seems unfazed. <laughs> I'm gonna like tip my hat and be like, <laughs> All right, folks, we're almost there. Walking continues. You work your way even a little further to the northeast. And just after leaving that sort of lightly haunting scene behind you, the terrain starts to become less even. Uh, along the forest floor. Repeated undulations, like almost like an earthen ocean, kind of up and down and up and down. It's a constant source of difficulty, not just for the dark vision less, mm. but having to go up and down, sort of making, you can hear your companions breathing heavy over the wind. <laughs> TC. <laughs> TC's a mouth breather. <laughs> Another five to 10 minutes, and you notice that Ace's posture changes a little bit, slowing and also straining to kind of see ahead into the distance. It makes you think that you might be getting close to the intended destination. And it's a good thing that she stops and slows because very suddenly in front of you, the ground dips down into this kind of bowl-shaped depression in the ground. It maybe is 30, 40 feet down, but gradually it's not like a cliff. Below you, you see that the bottom appears to have kind of, there's a couple pools of what look like water at the base of this sort of depression, and then at the far end of this lowered area is a little opening that looks like it leads deeper into the earth. It seems like a cave entrance of some kind. And as if you needed further warning that the troglodytes were not to be trifled with, the entrance to this cave is littered with bones of various shapes and sizes, all different kinds of animals. There's small bones, big bones, leg bones, arm bones, skulls, all kinds, all just littering the entrance to this cave here. It's a common practice by these creatures to demonstrate their ferocity and their fearlessness. They especially like to dem like put on display the biggest bones they can find to show off that they slayed the biggest creatures possible. <laughs> it's possible that the troglodyte that you saw might have brought back you know, bones from the griffin to, to demonstrate that they'd felled such a creature. The biggest bones in town. <laughs> With these defining traits also comes a certain irritability 
And that's what's currently on display as you look down to see two troglodytes that are embroiled in both kind of a verbal and physical altercation. You can see them sort of they shove each other a little bit. And it looks like at one point they kind of go to kind of scratch at each other. Like one of them grabs the face of the other. And then a third troglodyte kind of comes out from where the entrance to the cave is and grabs both of them and separates them. And sort of... He shoves one in one direction, shoves one in the other direction. And then he kind of turns around and heads back to the entrance of the cave. And as the two of them kind of turn, uh, those of you with dark vision can see, they also have... Uh, like red painted markings, but different ones. One of the troglodytes had like kind of a big circle on his shoulder, and then the other one that got pushed in the other direction had a big like line down one eye that goes like down to the neck. So they have markings on them, but clearly different markings. So maybe some kind of feud brewing between two particular sections of these troglodytes. I'd also ask you all to turn on your monitor. Yes! Oh, well, let's go. Because I'm going let's to go. give you a little bit of a visual oh, representation. Yes. Of what we're looking at. Thank you. Thanks, Stephen. Oh, whoa! Oh, oh. <laughs> so this is the oh cliff that you guys you guys are like here, looking over the edge of this. I got it. Uh, you got it there. Yeah. Great. So this is the cliff that you guys are standing on, not cliff, but the edge of this depression here, and then you can see that it goes down. And then there's the entrance to the cave here that is sort of littered Ooh. with bones Whoa. there. That is littered. Um, so you guys bones are looking are down money. here. And the fight um, happened. Uh, right at the entrance, like right here, I just like right in front of the entrance. Yep, right. and one of them popped out to separate them and then went back into the cave. I'd like all of you also to give me a perception check and TC with disadvantage. Oh, blessed be. <laughs> oh my goodness. Is that a natural one? It is, I rolled a one and a two today. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. And you didn't pre-roll. Wait, was it, per I, it was oh perception. My gosh, perception. Again. Dirty twenty. Ooh. Eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Eighteen. I'm sorry. One. One. We all yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kate and um, Doxley look down, and you're just kind of your instincts kick in when you know that there's hostile threats around to, to sort of scan the area, just make sure there aren't any, any, anything sneaking up on the ridges, anybody sort of that isn't obviously down there that might pose a threat to you guys. And something that you do notice is you take a look at the pools of water, which are, you can see that big one right there in the middle. And then, oh, my mouse ever, there we go. And then there's another one kind of over here on the left. And you look down at them and you notice that the surface is like barely being disturbed. Like normally you would expect with a big gust of wind, a breeze, that you'd see the ripples on the water kind of moving back and forth. But a big burst of wind comes through and it barely moves at all. And what you realize is that it's not water. They look like tar pits. Like it's filled with a viscous sort of thick tar that's mm. here at the base of this. And these pools are pretty small, but, uh, but you can see that sort of in this deeper depression in the land that there is some kind of tar substance that's down there. Icky. Could I know how um, <clears throat> just this cave and everything compares to past caves that I've gone into? Yeah. Like, is this a situation I'm like, all right, or like what's different and what's the same? So you haven't been all the way inside. There's a couple things. One, it, the entrance to this cave seems larger. It seems like a bigger, maybe inside is a bigger cavern than you're necessarily used to. Usually the troglodytes will form what, like they're called little tribes of troglodytes, and it might be five of them. This cave looks like it could house significantly more than that, more than five. They're not all necessarily here. They might be out hunting and things. In addition to that, as you just sort of take a peek and you try to get a better look at the mouth of the cave, you see some kind of pulsing light, like a reddish light, mm -hmm. and it's more red than the yellowish orange that you'd expect from like a lantern or a fire that mm -hmm. would be inside the cave. It's a very, it's almost like you're shining a light through a glass cut ruby. Like mm -hmm. it has that kind of look to it. And what you pick up on about that is that is typically the glow that a magma mephit gives mm. off, which is a sort of elemental creature. They live underground and they have a kind of warm glow to them that's a little bit of a more than a, a fiery glow. Jesus. And that color that you're picking up on, that's unusual. Mm. Mephits usually um, sort of glom onto bigger, stronger creatures to sort of protect them. There's, they have kind of a symbiotic relationship. Mm -hmm. So the mephits might be in there sort of scavenging the remains of whatever the troglodytes bring in. Mm -hmm. And in exchange, they protect so the they cave. Get along? 
uh, get along would be overselling it, but they coexist because the mephits sort of provide an extra layer of protection, and in exchange, they're allowed to scavenge on the bones of whatever okay. creatures the troglodytes bring back in. They turn on each other. Yeah. Hey, he called you an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> they got methods. Yeah. Oh, what? Right. Y'all ever dealt with methods before? Not in my recent memory. No, um, <laughs> you guys have dealt with methods. Um, methods come in a number of varieties. There's uh, steam methods. There's dust methods. There's so there's a few different ones. Methods. Mag methods, you, magma methods. You have not dealt with exactly, but you're aware of what they are. They're sort of a they're an impish elemental creature. They fly. Um, they're very sort of. They can be spooked easily, but they also are provoked easily, and they like to employ kind of hit-and-run tactics. Like, they'll jump out at you and attack you and then fly away and then come back to get you again. So they like to kind of attack you from the perimeter and then and then retreat back into the darkness. Have y'all ever dealt with them? A little bit? Here and there? Yeah, they're just sort of pests. I think I start um, sort of walking between them all and looking at their clothes and seeing how much metal they have on them. Ilian is wearing a full suit of metal armor. <laughs> he also has a two-handed metal sword. Um, does it, do you have metal armor? That's a really good question. I can't remember what yours is. I can't remember what my armor is. So, methods can heat metal. Mm, this right. particular one can? Yeah, so see that little red glow there? Yeah. Yeah, it's a fire method. Okay. I'll make sure it doesn't hit me. My talon made of metal. It is. Yes. <laughs> Listen, these guys aren't terrible. What's just annoying is that they fly around and you just gotta get them down and take them out quick. How big are they? Small. Like, They're small? Like mm. cat sized. Would it hurt me to grab them? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Cut. I mean, listen. Little calluses on your hand don't hurt. Just hold it, burn your hands, kill it. And then heal your hands later. Gotcha. Well, easy. I prefer to use my gorgeous weapons that I've got here. By all means, use them. I they just, just might heat them up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. While this conversation is going on, I'm gonna very quietly like slip my hands under my my poncho <laughs> and take off my running talent sure. and um, slip it probably in my bag. Yeah, you can yeah. do so. Slip it in my bag. So you can, with the poncho, you're able to quite a very subtly do yeah. that. And then you just find a small side pocket to sort of slip the pen. Yeah, and I like flex my right hand and be like, wow, that feels empty. Yeah. <laughs> Depends how many of them there are. Right. I mean, right now, I only see one. It's a magma me method. Um, could be more trouble, but it's a little interesting that they're here. You were not expecting them. No, I was not. I will be Ugh. forthright with that. Okay. Did you find out what type of armor you're I'm have? trying to find it. <laughs> <laughs> Can we burn you? <laughs> Are you flammable? I feel like I, I, I had leather, but but I, I could be wrong. Um, okay. I know it's medium. Are you suggesting that I disrobe my armor? Or was it, I'd prefer to stay protected against the troglodytes and leave the method to you. Time oh, to disrobe, I think alien. You can keep the armor on. It is a personal choice if you want to do that. I would just say know that they can target metal, and it can burn you. Not the worst damage, but it can hurt. I trust you guys will keep them off. Do our best. I'll do that. Depends how many. I think they you are. do have metal in your. Oh, armor. if you if you're convinced you have medium armor, which I think you do, I think I do. only one medium armor doesn't have metal. It's hide armor, and I don't think you have hide armor. Okay. So the other mediums are chain, scale, breastplate, and half plate. Those all have metal in them. Yeah. So I think okay. you you I, I think you either had a breastplate or some scale mail or something, okay. which definitely has metal. Mm -hmm. And my like, my sword would be considered metal, but like yep. my crossbow has metal on it. But yeah, you could fire that without it like burning your hand. Okay. Yeah. Just keep them out of the sky. No problem. So what's the plan? Are we just charging down there right now? No. Did you want to try to talk to someone? That cave is looking big. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with y'all. That's a lot of bones. Yeah. That's a big cave. I want to bring them out here. All right. Okay. Is that as easy as a hoot hoo? Kind of. All right. Well, I'll leave that jump to TC. He does it so well. <laughs> I, I have never... Once spoken to a troglodyte, I'm not the one here that speaks primordial. Unless I would know that I have to like go into the cave to talk um, to them. No, you could shout to them from here. It's unlikely you'll get the 
clan leader to just walk out here, mm. but you could probably tempt some of them to come out. It's certainly, they have like guards and sentries, so if you were to make a fuss, like some of them might come come investigating. Otherwise, if we just walked in, or the, the troglodytes wouldn't just attack us right away. Um, I mean, potentially. They might. Based on or past. <laughs> Uh, Five people with armor and weapons, <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> if right. you would have to quickly make your intentions known and give them a reason not to. Like, they yeah. would immediately be on guard and you might have to give them a convincing reason why you should be allowed to enter their home. Well, always worth, oh, excuse me. Oh yes. no, just that before you do any shouting, I <gasps> prefer, at least myself, to perhaps hide in the surrounding area so that if and when it does break out, I could attack from obscurity. With troglodytes, they are simple creatures. Right. It is best not to surprise them until we're fighting, if that makes sense. Exactly. Exactly. I, I will not do so until they do. So until I'm we do. thinking, and I am would love to hear what y'all have to say about this, especially if you're gonna keep working for Bison. But I think we go up to just the entrance of the cave, and I'll talk to some of those guys that I'll see and ask if we can see the big boss. I'd like to avoid going to um, deep into the cave until we absolutely have to, but. Now, remind me, the goal here is to completely clear this area of troglodytes. Yeah. So, for, do you have something to offer them that they would have any reason to do that for? In past communications, they know a little bit about Bison. You know, we could just say that he wants this. Sometimes they'll skedaddle if they know that uh, So this is an well, intimidation offer, not an offer of goods bit. or services. Not quite, no. Ah, I see. As you can see from their humble abode, they don't uh, deal okay. in goods and services. But okay. if anyone has any particularly nice clothing, and by nice, I mean nice to them, doesn't have to be nice to you, right. we could offer up the leader some very gorgeous regal coat, perhaps. No. No. I did not suggest to take your armor. I'm so oh, sorry. No. no, I just don't think I want to give him anything. That's oh. fine. We'll see. You kind of just got to talk to them a little bit and get the vibe, you know? All right, let's do it. I think right. I'd still prefer to hide nearby for when it does break into a fight. You want to, yeah, you want to stay hidden by the entrance of the cave? Perhaps. You don't Absolutely. think it would be helpful if we intimidated them with our Slightly larger group numbers. The intimidation comes from the top. End. Got it. All right. I will hide as if well. If you're more comfortable hiding, I am. Absolutely. <laughs> Better myself. <laughs> Just a quick right. question before you advance. Um, I'm seeing these tar pits in multiple spots. Um, are troglodytes unaffected by this kind of terrain, or is we... the tar familiar? Um. Sorry. Yeah. They. They. They do like to. Congregate, <laughs> yeah, congregate around sort of filth or, or muck. They definitely use those as sort of traps. They like to trap animals by you know pushing them into the tar and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So because they like to catch their prey live, so mm -hmm. they like to they'll they'll set out tar traps and things. That's but that's they, not uncommon. They don't have right, like so a special oily foot that doesn't get stuck. <laughs> no. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Yeah. Like, are they also susceptible to the traps? Yes, and they're not smart. Sometimes they get stuck in their own traps. Yeah, like, that has I been really known to happen. To <laughs> There's like a single like chocolate <laughs> yeah. in the tar pit. Um, Basically, right. I know it's a little up in the air. I know that can be a little nervous, but nope. I've been in enough situations because of Bison that just kind of go in and uh, see what happens and just keep your wits about you. No time like the present. I'll leave the talking to you, and then as soon as you say fight, I'll swing a sword, or hope maybe we won't have to. All right, we'll see what happens. See you on the other side, TC. <laughs> keep your ear low to the ground. Hopefully you won't even have to. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna hide as well. All right. And with that, I'm just gonna mask the wild. Okay. <laughs> Three of us. <laughs> she just appears. Um, <laughs> yeah. So we don't. This up. Do we still see troglodytes down there? Yes. Here, I can. I can even place them. Uh, All right. A couple of troglodytes just right near the entrance there that had been sort of separated by here. They may be even a little further that have been separated by someone who came out. And those are the only creatures that you can see at the moment. And you guys are kind of up here on the hill. In the past, have we gotten troglodytes to leave using like, here's a bag of gold? Uh, usually not money. Uh, you could tempt them with, um, yeah, they like objects that uh, 
they think are are like impressive adornments. Yeah. Like like the leader likes to dress himself in slain mm -hmm. creatures things. Mm -hmm. um, also promises of you know potential food and things. Mm -hmm. So yeah, more practical than like they don't yeah, exchange yeah, yeah, yeah. currency for. Uh, Y'all you know. got any pelts on you? No, no. But it occurs to me that that troglodyte that we fought came very close to killing a griffin. So if the information of a quite wounded griffin nest would be important to them, you can give them that. I like that thinking, thank you. Um, yeah. All right, see you sleuths later. But no, no pills. Yeah, well, get, maybe give us a moment to- Oh yes, uh, sorry. No, 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 just uh, uh, maybe uh, Kate, would you like to go I'm already the hidden. West side? I'm already okay. hidden, so he's talking to the darkness. <laughs> We're just gonna, we'll just walk straight down the, the middle yeah. so y'all can. And uh, maybe I'll go along the east ridge, and Kate, wherever she is, hopefully she'll go along the west ridge, and we can kind of <laughs> convene above the entrance. On I must side. have either scale mail or breastplate. <laughs> Nobody what? cares. Or breastplate. Great. Hey. The, they're definitely metal, so. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so both of you give me stealth checks. Here we go. And Kate. This is the one. This is the the time. 13. 15. 15. Okay. So TC headed to the east, which puts him. He's going to creep along the edge and be kind of up here. Maybe like. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to get. Is that. Am I about 30 feet from like that troglodyte? Uh, maybe a little further. Like if you were to get to here, that's what. That's about 40 feet. I mean, you got to get pretty close. Oops, you're on a tree there. On the rock. There we go. Um, how far are you there? 33 Very feet. Okay. I mean, so you're okay. kind of hidden in between these trees here. All right. And then Kate goes in the opposite direction. Yep. And you yeah, have hide fine. action if that is relevant. Do um, you want to creep up like along the ridge here? Sort of. Uh, that's good. Yeah. That's okay, great. Spot. Sort of seeing. So you guys are kind of looking down in this little sort of enclosed area that has a number of these rocks kind of around it. And the three remaining, after sort of giving it a couple minutes to, you see a couple times like just trees bristling on <laughs> branches a little bit, so you know that they're working their way around the perimeter. And then you guys, all three of you, start to descend. Yeah. So you're heading Let's down go. the rocks here. Let's talk. Let's yeah. talk. So, so you get to talk. about, <laughs> you're just getting to kind of the end of the tar pit. And as you're walking by it now, you can see it kind of ever so slightly, it's elasticity just kind of bending back and forth. A couple times it kind of makes a bubble and pops. <laughs> and a couple times bubble. you'll see a bone or a limb kind of stick up that might be, one of them looks like it might be like a deer leg that sort of sticks up and then sinks oh. down once again <laughs> below the tar there. And as you guys get to the far end of the tar pit there, finally, even in the darkness, you see the troglodytes. And immediately the two of them are on guard and they start to walk in your direction. And it starts to speak and you can tell that um, Ace is able to kind of discern what they're saying, but to the two of you, it sounds like a lot of hisses and snarls and clicks. It's a lot of But to her, it sounds like some words kind of come through. And one of them kind of comes forward. And even as they've converged and started to come to meet you guys, they're like shoving each other. Like one of them gets ahead and then the other one pushes it out of the way. So like already they're kind of in a combative sort of atmosphere and mood. So they push their way to the front and they hold out some sort of crude primitive spears that they have in their hands there. I'll crack my knuckles and then hold the hands up. Why have you come here? We'd like to speak with the leader. It's, the boss. It speaks to us in our tongue and delivers it to us to be devoured. <laughs> boss, leader, can we speak? Which one of you can bring me to them? Me. <gasps> me. Yeah. me. You me. or you? Me. 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 I kind of stand back and wait and see what happens between them. A couple pushing and shoving. At one point, one of them, he's not even really trying to. He's kind of trying to hold it at arm's length and hold the spear up, but it pricks the skin of the other one. <laughs> and the two of them start to not go into a full sort of 
brawl, but they're pushing and shoving and snarling. A couple times, one of them kind of grabs the other and looks like he's about to take a bite, and then the other one pulls his arm just out of reach. <laughs> and finally, one of them gives a big shove in kind of in your direction. He pushes one in your direction. I need uh, Doxley and Ilian to give me dexterity saving throws. Don't fall into the pit. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Finally, I get around. 14. 14? 19. 19. Yeah. With that shove, they're close to you and it, it's just a split second, but your reflexes kick in and you move to the side and the troglodyte goes sprawling forward. <laughs> oh. And he starts to sink into the tar there. <laughs> and there's like a couple <laughs> bubbles and slowly it gets further and further and then oh it gets my God. swallowed up by the black there. <laughs> <laughs> Ace is just smiling. I can take you. You can take us? What have you brought for him? Information. What is this? Of a beast. A griffin. Where? I'll tell your leader. Take us to him. Give me a persuasion check. Oh. Jesus. That was intense. That is, that is in <laughs> full Schmeagol like Gollum <laughs> mode right now. Oh, man. Okay. 16. 16. Puts the spear kind of up on his shoulder. We want this griffin. Sent someone for it already. I heard it's a big one. A nest. I have no idea. Sorry. I'm not lying out of my ass. <laughs> All right. Turns around and he starts to walk oh, toward God. the entrance I, of the cave. I thought we're they were bringing inside. him out here. <laughs> no, we're going inside now. Should we get Kate and TC? Sort of look up to the left and right. You don't know exactly where they are, but, but you can like, see her like looking up like, in both directions. Um, the chocolate has walked away, so yeah. he, like he's. We're following them, up. and I trust that they know what to do. I, guys, we're going inside. <laughs> they don't understand us, right? <laughs> they don't. He's, he's like, <laughs> but I think I, uh, I sort of lay a hand on your arm, like just hold you back, and I say, after you. We need to be a little delicate, okay? They don't seem very delicate. They just. Okay. I'll follow your lead. You know more than I. From the mouth of the cave where we're standing, does it seem like it goes in several different directions? As far as right now, it just goes straight forward. It goes straight forward, and then it looks like it rises a little bit, so you you can only see okay. in maybe 15, 20 feet before it gets eaten. Mm -hmm. Like, you need to get in to see what's past. Okay, I think Doxley's going to start permanently, like, maybe dragging her, like, right big toe, just oh. to, like, create a little bit of a trail. If it's mm -hmm. earth, okay. if it's dirt. Mm -hmm. Sure, yeah, it is, um, it is soil. That yeah, is I'll try to just create something in case they get stuck behind or something. Sure. Like I think I, I say, when we go in, take note of what you see. Shiny rocks, mephits, troglodytes, yeah. remember. Okay. And just start clocking everything as we walk in. Start to through. Do, what do you guys do as you see them heading toward the entrance of the- There's uh, no other troglodytes out here. Not that you can see. I'm gonna quickly and quietly climb down and I'm gonna follow them into the cave, but I'm gonna stay like as far back as I can, okay. where I can still kind of see what's going on, but like cling to the shadows. Sure. You yeah. At one point you come, you're in the trees and you start to climb down the rocks to get to another patch of trees. And in that brief moment where you're not in the trees, you guys can see like the outline of Kate appear and then disappear cool. again as she That's gets to awesome. the trees. There's sort of sick. natural wood elf camouflage sort of yeah, taking place <laughs> there. So she appears and then disappears. And you come catch that too. I catch that. I will prioritize quietness and slowly <laughs> make my way down. Okay, you do so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys begin to creep forward. And you've you've gone into nests and animal dens and things before when you were hunting or whether you were trying to track a creature. And usually it requires some degree of ducking, shimmying, crawling to get inside because they're usually not sort of overly large. But this one requires no such dexterity. The mouth of the cave is at least 10 feet tall at the entrance. And it gets a little narrower as you start to move in, but it stays quite large. It has these kind of crisscrossing geometric web patterns overhead. And they look, they look like they're kind of falling apart a little bit. And it gives you the impression that at some point, 
maybe in the past that giant spiders might have occupied this deck. Uh, Sick. And yeah. you're not sure that they're here anymore because the webs don't look terribly fresh, but it looks like maybe at one point this oh, cavern wow. was occupied by spiders. Mm. Could it be giant butterflies? <laughs> <laughs> Before you step all the way through, you can already feel a strange heat emanating from within. Something that makes the air feel very heavy and oppressive. It's like the sun beating down on the back of your neck if you're in like an open field without any shade or cover at all. You can just feel that wearing down on you. You're sweating, sort of dripping around the collar of your armor and on down your back. For Ace, this is the familiar sensation of approaching magma methods. They radiate heat in a way that you can tell that you're approaching them even from a distance. The impish elemental creatures, they form this kind of loose symbiotic alliance with other creatures that dwell underground. <laughs> oh, I forgot. The little magma creatures? Yeah. <laughs> yes. When you kill them, they explode. Just a little bit, but it can hurt you. Just okay. a little bit. Help, All right, we're help. going in. <laughs> Elian, don't, don't. Please just don't hit him. Just don't. Stay. Okay, I'll leave it to you guys, huh? <laughs> A few more steps forward and sure enough, the chamber before you opens up into a much, much larger space. And it is a chaotic primordial playground. Mm. There are methods sort of tearing at morsels of food and sucking on unidentifiable bones and clinging to stalactites on the ceiling, almost like monkeys. Like one of them's got its claw clinging to a stalactite and it's like, like sucking on a bone and tearing the last piece of meat off and then throwing it down to the ground. All the ground all around you is covered in bones and little pieces of flesh and various things that have been dragged into this cave here. So you're looking around and you're watching them and occasionally you'll see one and they glow rather brightly because of the heat that they're giving off. You'll see one kind of sort of perch on a different spot and watch the troglodyte that comes in ahead of you and then subsequently the rest of you as you follow in. I'm gonna go show you guys also, you still have your monitors mm -hmm. up, yes? Yeah? So I'm gonna show you So also. they have arms and wings. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm have, just yeah. picturing magma cats now after yeah. your description <laughs> of them yeah. being cat sized. Uh, yeah, like, they, are, they have a very kind of elongated face, like very pointed chins and sort of floppy ears, but they're, also, they're very kind of wiry and grotesque. <laughs> we cannot, yeah. we cannot adopt, adopt one, <laughs> no methods. <laughs> take it, take it, take it, take it. <laughs> so you guys go through the entrance of the cave. Oh Jesus! Here, and then we can. Uh, make, Yummy. Uh, top of this, so you can see it here. Yeah. So yeah, you passed under here, and now you're in this open cavern that has several methods sort of clinging to the rocks, mm -hmm. sort of darting around the area. There might be like a dozen of them, sort of <laughs> moving from surface to surface. And as the troglodyte kind of, he moves up this sort of central, it's not a staircase, but it's almost like a little natural rocky mm -hmm. ramp that he starts to move up. And at one point he stops and he turns back around. <laughs> you wait here. I get him. All right. And he takes his time moving up the stairs and he goes across this chamber to what looks like the only other way out of this central room. There was a way you came in, and then there's some kind of opening on the far side of the room that he starts to head in that direction. So he slowly makes his way there. So you guys are all standing kind of about hereabouts, kind of at the base of that ramp. And as you stand there, the methods are all sort of... Are there any other troglodytes? Uh, give me a perception check. So not used to my character with okay. low perception. <laughs> Thirteen. Thirteen. You do not see any in this room. Okay. However, at one point, as the troglodyte is working his way to the far side of the room, as soon as he gets like to the uh, overhang of this next area, it looks like he like turns to the left and sort of sort of points back. So mm -hmm. he's communicating with something in that next room, but in this room, it's just methods. Just a whole bunch of methods flying around this room here. And you can see them kind of, they'll parch on one surface and then one of them flies and stops like very close to you guys. And you can feel that heat like washing over you. Ilian in his suit of armor is already like, <sighs> like you can feel the sweat pooling around your neck there with your heavy armor and it gets really close at one point it kind of <laughs> and it like touches your armor and as it touches your armor there's like a and a little bit of like steam rises there where it placed its finger on the armor there <laughs> Fuck. 
Okay. <laughs> oh, somebody grab the sword. Flies up on the ceiling and it like perches to a stalactite there. And there's time passes, like 60 seconds. Two minutes. Three minutes. You wait here in this chamber, like sweating. And TC and, and Kate, you guys aren't quite as far in as them, but you've kind of hung to the edge of that short tunnel that yeah. sort of leads to this area. Yeah. But you can see in there, sort of, and there isn't really a lot of places to hide here from, you know, in the exact spot that you guys are. So you know, you can sense that they're behind you in this area. And slowly the methods continue to hop from surface to surface. <laughs> And one thing that you're noticing as you're waiting here to see if the troglodytes reemerge is the bones and bits of flesh that the methods were snacking on. Slowly, one at a time, they finish their food. <laughs> oh my god. As <laughs> we're waiting. <laughs> If I if I turned around, would I be able to see either of them? Yeah, mm. they're okay. like they're like backs up. Uh, there's like a short tunnel leading in here, so they have their backs up against, and they're like peering in. So they're obscured a little bit, but you can definitely see them if you're if you're looking for them. Okay, Dox is gonna try to play it cool and just like take a look around the cave and start heading back toward the front where she knows they are. Boy, where are you going? One second, oh. and she's going to take out one of her flasks of essence of chum. Okay, and who do I see first? Uh, you probably got there first. If you, you okay. Quick, sure. we'll say you see Kate. Uh, quietly, she'll lean into Kate and just hand you the flask of chum. If a fight starts, pour this near the entrance of the cave. It'll give us another party to confuse everyone. Just do it. No questions asked. I'll take it. Yeah. Slip it in my pocket. You have essence of chum. You gave her. Yeah. Great. Okay. Well, casually. Oh, <laughs> that rock's nice. That one's also very nice, just strolling around the cave. Yeah. You don't use it a lot yourself. You're aware of what Essence of Chum is. It's sort of a concentrated liquid that's made to emulate the smell of like dead fish. It's a way to, it's like for use nice. for hunting. You use it to attract, uh, bless you, bless you. use it to attract Pink. creatures to a spot so you can sort of trap them or kill them. And you know, my back is up against the wall. Am mm -hmm. I seeing anything rock-wise or ore-wise yet? Oh, uh, yes, give me uh, investigation checks for anyone who would like okay. to peruse. Shiny rock. Yes, I, I, I actually, I don't think I would. I'm too focused You're... on the method. <laughs> Nineteen. Give me the rocks. Investigation. Twenty-two. <laughs> Oh. That's twenty. Let's That's go. Oh. Oh my gosh. A lot of X. You guys, having been promised nice. little in the way of reward other than putting in a good word and maybe whatever is in this cavern, you guys are on alert for. You can tell as a group as you started to move through here, there was a growing sense of, is this worth it? Like you could just sense that. Mm -hmm. But as you look in and you look up and down, there's all these little silver sort of running vertically veins, rocks all over the. I mean all around. Sometimes a method will fly and the light that the method gives off, you'll see this like plink, 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 like oh. all these lights start to just <laughs> reflect. <laughs> and what it looks like, do you all say, given the, the strength of some of those rolls, it looks like it's primarily mithril. It looks like it's a mithril oh, taste oh, wow. vein here with it. I thought you were going to be like, the yeah. troglodytes have taste. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they have such good fine. <laughs> finely decorated. <laughs> I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> oh my god, so dumb. So that is primarily this the substance that you see as you're as you're peering around the room. Finally, two methods fly to kind of the center of the room, and there's one more bone there that has a little bit of meat on it. And one of them picks it up, and the other one kind of grabs it, and the two of them are kind of suckling at either end of it, and then Lady in the Tramp. <laughs> they get the last bit. One tendon kind of stretches out and then snaps and the last bone is clean. And they look over to the people at the entrance of the cave. Kate, I haven't heard much more talking. Have you? Can't help but think that those troglodytes left us to our own devices in this. Can they see us from here? Or uh, who? Uh, can those two see us? They can like, see standing? you, yes. We could hear that there was nothing, no more talk. Yes, you can definitely hear that, yeah. yep, yep. And as one of those ones that was just sort of suckling on the bone flies up to the ceiling and grabs one of the stalactites. And it's this, you look at it and it looks like it's the same one that walked over and touched you <laughs> that one time. Oh no. Okay. 
and he just holds out that same finger. I'm gonna like go to like intimidate and grab my sword. Okay. Give me an intimidation check oh, with disadvantage, God. but you can give it to oh, me an intimidation. Where you said he's hanging from the ceiling? Yeah, he's right in front of him. No, he's hanging from the ceiling. Okay, okay. it's not the worst. Okay, so that's gonna be a yeah, sixteen. Sixteen, yeah. excellent. He holds out his finger, and in that moment, Ilian goes to kind of he just pulls it a little bit, and it's just that iconic yeah. sound of like. <laughs> that you can hear the sword drawing. And he looks like he was kind of pointing right at your chest with his finger, but he watches you sort of draw the sword, and then he pivots, oh my and God. he points the finger at the sword. <laughs> oh. Give me a constitution saving throw. Oh, Jesus. All right. They can do it from afar. It's going to be it's really an 18. 18, okay, you do save. As you're holding the sword, he holds out his finger and you see sort of just a, a, a devilish grin get across his face. And with even from a distance, you feel in your hand, the sword begin to heat. Uh -huh. And you don't have to let it go because you, you've passed the save, which would force you to drop it. However, it instantly sears your hand and you take a little oh bit of damage my here. Beautiful. You take uh, five fire damage. Oh, yes. oh. Ace, we do something quick, or things are gonna break out. And as soon as that happens, some of the other methods sort of <laughs> immediately start to sort of be tickled and charmed by the pain that they just saw in Ilian's hand. And now one of them is kind of creeping up to Doxley and looking at your nice shining metal armor. Doxley takes the javelin. Kate. Do it now! Okay, out, out of my pocket, unscrewed, splashed at the entrance of the cave immediately. Sure, do so. It's like, it's kind of a thick liquid, almost like a gel, a little le less viscous than a gel, so it spreads a little bit. Uh -huh. so you kind of make sure that all the entrance is sort of slathered like, with the <laughs> it reeks. I mean, it smells like fish that's been left in a barrel for a day and a half. It has like a real sort of pungent, mercurial odor to it. Brand new perfume for you, TC. <laughs> and another <laughs> is he near me? Uh, not near enough to stab, okay. near enough to throw. <laughs> Kill him. Ace, is this some <laughs> kind of a test? You saying that to me? Yep. Can I hear that? If he's shouting I'm it, shouting. Yep. I'm what, or 20, 30 yeah. feet behind them? If he's yelling up to you. Is this some kind of a test to pass? We need to... I think I turn and look at all of them, like weapons out, using stuff, and I'm just like... And I turn back around and face forward. Complete disapproval oh, of like. Are you kidding? Did you give me a Constitution saving throw? Fucking holds. <laughs> Eighteen. Eighteen. You nice. Pass. Um, you take four fire damage. Okay. And you feel just your breastplate. <laughs> and you can see the sweat dripping down her neck and down her arms after the heating of the armor. <laughs> Ace, you haven't forgotten the fucking magic word, have you? We have 30 seconds, Ace, before shit goes down. And as Says who? Says me. I told y'all to be steady. I'm not gonna sit here and be pestered and burned alive. Oh, these little creatures are bothering you? The, yeah, my fucking hand hurts. <laughs> oh, boo fucking who? You look back up the ramp to the opposite side of the room, and for the first time you see another face reemerge, and it looks like it's the same troglodyte that you just spoke to. I point. <laughs> I cross my arms. I need all of you to roll initiative for oh. me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh. Woo. Ah. oh my god. Okay. okay. <laughs> Not terrible. Not terrible. Oh. Can I have one of those pieces of paper? Please? You cannot. I know. I, I don't deserve it. <laughs> it's, Thank you. It's, it's, okay. It's hard right. to believe. <laughs> 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 okay, folks. 20 right. to 25. 20. 30. Mm. 30 20. What? 20, 30. 20, 30. 20. 20. 20, 30. <laughs> like 20, 30 ish. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 15 to 19. 17. Nice. 19 is the method. Oh, the user. Okay, 17 was Ilian. Uh, 10 to 14. <sighs> That's me with a 12. I hate being first. 12 ace. Uh, Setting the okay. tone. This is the worst. And oh, then. Nine. What are, nine. Uh, okay. so 10, sorry, was the troglodyte. We'll put it on there. He's, okay. I am dead. And then I got a fat five. 
Um, ass boss. Where was Ilian? Sorry, I think I missed Ilian him. Was 17. 17. So he was before Ace? He's between Methods and Ace. And Ace, yeah. got it, got it. Okay. What's my name? Doxin. What's my name? What's my name? Oh, na na. <laughs> <laughs> Oh All right, we got Kate, really... the Mephits, Ilian, Ace, Troglodytes, TC, and Doxley coming in with a five. Okay. Just watching it all happen around. So yep. <laughs> the Troglodyte is clearly waiting to see how you guys sort of comport yourselves. You can see you see that sort of glint in his eye. At one point, as you're looking at him and you give him sort of the come hither, he looks back to maybe someone in the back room. You can't see necessarily who he's looking toward, but he looks back and then maybe get some kind of signal and it looks like he might be emerging as well or at least coming to oversee what's happening here in this chamber. But before we get into the combat, we are gonna take a break. Oh! <laughs> we've hit a little past the halfway mark and we've gotten ourselves into a peck of trouble here at the uh, Troglite Cabin. This is like, this could be bad. Ooh, That's a lot of things. <laughs> I don't like this. There I are, like and I will damage. point them. I'll point them out when we get back. Um, there are two methods currently concentrating on heat metal on the heat oh, metal spell. Holy, spells. really? They, yeah. So oh two of them God. are concentrating on that spell. On um, one on Ilian and, and one on Doxley. Um, I, took, I took five damage saving. That's like, yeah. that's yeah. all. Oh yeah, this uh, The save actually isn't damage related. Oh. Uh, the save is, if you fail the save, okay. if it's a weapon, you have to drop, drop it. it. Yes. Oh, uh, no. Heat so. metal is one of the best and most underused spells. It's, it's, it's very, very, very tasty. Um, but you, it is a dozen little fuckers. <laughs> 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 it is a concentrate. You guys would be at least, Methods of different kinds have different sort of innate magics to them. Usually there's some sort of concentration magic. So you can break the concentration of a creature doing it. But they are concentrating on heat metal. All right. That is where we'll jump in when we get back. Yay. We will see you guys on the other side. Well, thank uh, you all after that. For folks watching on TikTok, we'll sign off real quick and then come back in 15 minutes. You'll get a little live if you follow us. Yes. Dumb. Um, and uh, there's a trivia oh, game. Oh, the Grunk Hollow Powerball. Oh, the Grunk Hollow Powerball. Oh, yes. Nice. So, okay, uh, so you have to, they're D20 rolls. So you have oh, to do right. four. D20, 1 through 20, yeah. and yeah. it has to be in the order. Yes, we understand that it's ludicrously oh, yeah. We understand that it's ludicrously difficult, but <laughs> okay. you get, the IP, you get the IP if you win. So everybody <laughs> join awesome. the Broncolo Powerball. Um, awesome, uh, Kelly, you've been fantastic. Oh, yeah. Kelly. Yay, Kelly! Yay, Kelly! So fun. Yes. Um, and we are we are in it now. So when we get back, we will we will Boy. see what happens. All right, everybody, we'll see you on the other side. Bye. Yeah. You know those edible panties? <laughs> what? They just no, have that really Anthony. latexy. A sentence that you shouldn't say in a group is, you know those edible panties. Cheers. 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 But Very. you guys, you're all gaslighting me. No. <laughs> um, but I was like, okay, in the 5e world, it's a low magic campaign, but the magic's still there. We just don't have a way to access it yet. We spent a long time figuring out how we're gonna talk, because if we're gonna be siblings, we have to be the same, but we wanna have cool voices. <laughs> and so we went back and forth about like... It'd be like midnight on a Saturday when we'd be like, all right, how about this one? <laughs> Is this how you're feeling? <laughs> it's always good to be on the receiving end of theories. It feels Can you good. please take that? <laughs> It, no. It, uh, what was the inspiration for the Samson Brothers? The, it's it sounded almost Werner Herzog. That's a good one. Um, it, that's one ah. maybe I'll use. But it was actually um, Kumail Nanjiani. Cheers to you guys. Thank you, Twitch. Thank you, Twitch. All right, everybody, welcome back to Tabletop Notch. We're just about to dive into part two in which the Mephits are coming in hot, literally. Yeah. So hot. Um, a couple of Mephits have joined the fray in addition to the ones sort of concentrating on the heat metal spell. 
at the uh, much to the detriment of Ilian and Doxley. Oh. <laughs> um, before we dive back in and I, I reveal the map to the stream, would you like to give a few thanks? Yeah, I do. Uh, GF Powers resubscribe, Grub556 resubscribe, GF Powers at 100 bits. We were raided by Chaotic Neutral Goblin and Singularity Roleplay. Thank you if you're still here. Uh, Deirdre resubscribe, hello <laughs> Deirdre, safe <laughs> travels. Hey. Um, Ekeep uh, resubscribe, Hopeful Optimist resubscribe, Cool Shaper resubscribe, Cool Shaper also did 500 bits, thank you. Seamazgool resubscribed, Ali Slayer did 100 bits, Jay Brownie 500 bits, Wizard Inc. get 1,000 bits, and then Vexdalon, Vexdalon. I got it. Vex a thousand bits. Still on. Still, <laughs> still on. Thank, Thank you, guys. You so much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And uh, uh, three quarters. Congratulations to apparently someone got very close to the oh my God. Powerball. That was really? bonkers. Um, wow. Like, you said I they were they one, they one number off first. or something. I think they were one number. Have you had anyone win? I don't. Oh, no, twice. We just, we just started doing scam. It. <laughs> <laughs> there is no <laughs> VIP. It's not really <laughs> um, all right. I'm going to bring us over to the map here. Where we can see that there's quite a few methods flying about the cavern. Oh my goodness. Um, so, Ilian, Doxley, and um, Ace are here at the base of this little ramp here. And then just behind them, just inside the sort of tunnel entranceway, are TC and Kate. Just a little ways back. Yeah. Kate having run back in after spreading the chum at the entrance to the cave. And after. A few of them, uh, let's actually mark, this is a good idea. I think these still work. I'm gonna mark the concentrating ones. This uh, is so sick. Let's no fire, baby. see if this still works. Yes, there we oh, go. Nice. Oh, nice, yours huge. working? Um, these are concentrating currently on the, the heat metal. So which far. that means they can just <laughs> ping whatever they did last with it. It does indeed mean they can be, yes. it's, it's basically like a witch bolt kind of function, yeah. right? That's yeah, I mean, it, there's no save against the damage. It's just against the, the effects right. of it. And stopping, I mean, you can, if they stop concentration. Each turn, thing. do they get a chance to try to get them to drop things? Uh, yes, they can activate it each turn as a bonus action. Um, okay, so first up, <laughs> head of the pack is Kate who senses the danger imminently and is the first one to spring into action. In addition, I'm going to... Ah, gee. Ah, gee whiz. All right, Kate. Oops. Well, we'll find us eventually. Go get him, Kate! <laughs> first time Kate's been first. Okay, what is the closest thing I am closest to? Uh, creature? TC. <laughs> I'm gonna trip TZ. The creatures are a little bit of a distance. That one's 70 feet, 85 feet. Yeah, so they're a little bit of a distance away there. Okay, um, well, I'm gonna use as much uh, movement as I can to get to that one that's uh, in front of me, the one that's glowing. This one over here, yes. right? Uh, um, so you have 45 feet. So you can go 45. Yeah. And, and then you can dash or. Um. Can I, is it, can I like hide up against the side, over like side wall? Is it like you could attempt wall? to? Yeah. Would you like to attempt to hide? Yeah, I would like to attempt so to hide, So using the please. poncho, you sort of wrap the poncho and you try to yeah. keep yourself up against the rock to kind of blend in. I need you to give me a stealth check that's gonna be contested against this guy's. Okay. Uh, 23. 14, okay. Oh, okay, oh. all right. So with this one concentrating very hard on, I think that's the one concentrating on Doxley. Yeah, it is. That one's concentrating on Doxley's armor with sort of huh. crooked fingers. You're able to slip along the wall there, and now you are hidden here against the wall. Okay. That Anything else you'd like to do? While you're... <laughs> that does take an action to hide, but... Uh, no, I can't really... There's not much I can do. Okay. Mephits are up next. We're gonna do the easy ones first, which is two... <laughs> Okay. Uses of the heat metal, I need both of you to give me, uh, actually, you don't even have to give it to me because they're doing the armor, not the weapon. Uh, give me a constitution saving throw. Okay, that's uh, 15, I think. You take three fire damage, okay. and you do pass. So even with the sword sort of tss, uh, searing your hand a little bit, you're able to maintain your grip. Um, you do, however, so as long as you're holding on to the heated weapon, you have uh, disadvantage on attack rolls and abilities. <laughs> I, that was gonna be a I know it, yeah, the way you, it, it's like, okay. you can throw it, it and it'll come back hand. to you. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. It turns into uh, a boomerang. I'll actually do the damage simultaneously. So you take three fire damage as well, Doxley. All 
right. Oh. And, and because uh, it's your armor, you, you're also impo- they're opposing disadvantage on uh, on attacks. On attacks and ability. Oh checks. my! All oh, attacks no, they no, make, no. Just attack rolls and ability checks. Somebody's well, so. only superiority guard. <laughs> okay. Okay. So those are the two. Quick. Uh, we'll do those ones first. And then uh, we're gonna have a bunch of them swoop down here. Oh, for fuck's sake. Ace! I haven't moved, I'm looking forward. <laughs> you have a couple methods bearing down on you, even with you looking forward. Uh, right. This one's gonna fly. That's your... uh, this one does have to dash, but it's gonna go all the way up there. That's you on the right. That one did have to dash as well. This one's gonna sort of hover up in the air here and stay there. A couple other ones are gonna kind of stay hovering in the air because they're not able to get all the way there anyway. Um, I don't think any of them were close enough to make an attack right off the bat. However, TC, I need you to give me a stealth check. Uh, that's fine. That's fine with me. Keeps rolling poo poo. 14. 14, okay, so that one does not notice you. Um, the other thing that happens is this one here that's sort of floating in the air, it, like the two of its friends, holds a crooked finger out in the direction of Ace, and it's sort of almost like it convulses, like it squeezes a little bit, and a little bit of heat goes out, but Ace just stands there, and it just kind of heat washes over. You can see that the uh, method is unable to kind of find any metal on your person, so it's like sort of hovers there in the air, disappointed. Um, <laughs> Don't say I didn't warn y'all. That is the Mephit's turn, which takes us to Ilian. Okay. Um, I know... What is it, 10 minutes I to take off the armor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You cannot reel it. He, he's not... Uh, his armor is not heated. Mm. Doxley's armor is heated. His right. sword is heated. Um, yeah, but it's still... And, yeah, actually touching him also won't give me damage. So... I mean, even if it explodes, I guess I'm just going to hit the one right next to me. Okay. Uh, when with disadvantage, right? Yeah, disadvantage attack roll there. Okay. Be a nat 20. Whoa, and really? Then, well, but then a six. <laughs> oh. So that's going to be 12 to hit. 12 to hit, that will hit. Okay. Even with the disadvantage there. Yeah, that's I'll fuck him up. So that's going to be... Eight slashing. Eight slashing damage. Great. Even you can feel the burning in your hands, and you just muster the strength to swing the great sword, and one of its wings gets clipped by the sword, and it starts to kind of do a tailspin spiral down toward the ground. It falls down to the ground here. Okay. Um, it's not dead, but you did give it a good slice there of its wing. And I'm going to move uh, next to Doc within five feet of her. Okay. It is going to take an opportunity attack against yep. you. Um, 17 to hit. That is my AC. That's oh, easy. man. Um, they don't do a ton of damage with their claws. Oh, good. Um, that's, what you about? can't take a ton of damage. Right? Uh, you take four slashing damage <laughs> as it just clips you as you're moving away. You do move within five feet of Doxley there. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. Uh, right. It takes us to Ace. All right. Um... I got two in front of me. Yeah, two in front of you, and then sort of up that path. There's this one, and then you can see that troglodyte peering out at you out there. there. All right. Um, okay, so I'm gonna bonus action, sort of hit my wrists together, break them apart, and activate frost rune. Okay. <gasps> and and then I'm gonna go ahead and read that for us. Just oh, yeah, yeah. so we're so so along. <laughs> Uh, Frost Rune, Rune Knight feature. The rune's magic evokes the might of those who survive in the wintry wilderness, such as frost giants. While wearing or carrying an object inscribed with this rune, you have advantage on animal handing checks and intimidation checks. In addition, you can invoke the rune as a bonus action to increase your sturdiness. For 10 minutes, you gain a plus two bonus to ability checks and saving throws that use the strength or constitution modifier. Right. Once you invoke this rune, you can't do so again until you finish a short or long rest. Right, so invoking the strength of the rune, for a briefest of moments, like you're the quartz on your bracelet glows and then fades once again, and you feel yourself with that renewed hardiness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I go, tee hee. Uh, <laughs> no, so I activate those and then I just absolutely sock the one on the left. So two of them are swooping in. She activates the rune and just boom. <laughs> awesome. Go ahead, give me an attack. Girl. That is going to be unarmed strike. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh my God, it's 
<laughs> it just hit me like, what if someone goes down for their thing? I don't want 22. Uh, that will definitely hit roll for damage. Dang. Oh! 98. Uh, Brother. 10. 10 bludgeoning damage. Excellent. Great. So that one does like a sort of loose dive bomb, <laughs> and you just right in the snout, pop it in the snout, and it kind of gets stumbled backward a little bit there. It's just kind of... And then it kind of it doesn't quite land, but it gets kind of like just dazed a little bit. And then I want to take my full movement uh, forward. Okay. Which I don't know if that gives them an opportunity it would. to attack. Is that okay? Yeah, let's take it. Great. Full movement. Yeah, and you're 30, okay. right? Or yeah. you're 25? Uh, 25. Yeah, dwarf 25. Uh, that's going to be two opportunities. Short legs. Just leaving us behind! <laughs> See you, sucker! <laughs> yes! I throw back. We have a job to do. Oh, I'm giving a fan. Uh, uh, nine to hit. Nope. And then 19. Yes. Uh, three slashing damage. Right. One of them nicks you on the way by. Uh, okay, anything else? Uh, nope, that was action bonus action movement. Let's All right. Trog, uh, the dike. Trog, the dike. Right. So, they don't move yet. A couple of them creep closer, and it seems like they're very intently watching what's happening. In fact, another one kind of, oh, did I get Oh, no, yeah, there we go. You can see there's very much a spectacle going on. Like, someone has informed them that Something exciting is happening, and you can yeah. see some troglodytes are creeping to the edge here, waiting to see what's going to happen. Trogs yet? Uh, okay, I TC, you're up. Surprise. All right. Is anything within sixty feet of me? Uh, this one's within forty feet of you. Yeah. Um, what about the ones? Is there? Are there any that are still next to somebody within five feet of somebody? Um, no. Because, uh, yeah, Ilian moved away from this one, and Ace moved away from this one, sorry. Am I hidden from that one above? Um, y- uh, I had you roll a stealth check, didn't I? Yes, then yes, you are. You are currently unseen, yes. All right, I will, um, straight shoot at. Okay. At that one. It won't uh, be a sneak attack, because it's not with advantage. Oh, bollocks. Because it's outside your normal range. It's outside range. my normal yeah. range. You could climb a little bit. I will. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> yeah, so you get climb at regular walking regular speed, speed right? Yeah. yeah. So, so thirty. I can get as does twenty feet get me or fifteen? Feet. Yeah. Here's fifteen. That. Yep. Thirty mm. feet. Great. There you go. Very quiet, <laughs> quietly. <laughs> it definitely has its attention more so in the center of the room. So <laughs> you're kind of right underneath it. You pick up the crossbow. Yeah. Go ahead. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Bring it down. Holy shit, uh, 17 to hit. That will hit, roll for damage, including oh, sneak attack. Sneak attack. Let's go, boy. I gave them 10. Oh, you, you must have, like, yeah. a blood HP or something. Super cool. Um, 16, 24, 93, 112. Four times three Double is 12, it. plus two is 14 damage. 14 damage. Yeah. The bolt goes up, sticks into the butt of the creature. Is it right above me? It's literally right above me. I want to move away. Uh, Not directly. I mean, like, it is above you, but not, yeah. Um, And as you hit it, for a second, it, like, like shakes, like convulses. (laughs) And it pops into, like, a spray of magma around the room. Uh, Don't think anyone is Yeah, I want to tuck back when I'm seeing that convulsing. I want to like tuck back. Sure, to the you rock do so. There. As soon as it pops, yeah. for like in the immediate vicinity of it, some of that magma spray goes flying, but it quickly dissipates. Like it doesn't like magma doesn't go everywhere. It's, it's like it just a it doesn't spray ropes. No, it's just a concentrated sort of orb <laughs> of heat that then just <laughs> dissipates okay. into the air. Yeah. And so I've only used 15 feet of movement, right? Yes. Um, can I use another 15? To kind of keep going up a little bit there. Sure. And there's no way to hide up there. Uh, you could. They would have advantage on any attempts to see you if you want a bonus action. Uh, I mean, I, I want to try. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Um, there's probably two of them that might be able to affect you. So I'll stealth check. Ooh. Two. 27. Uh, okay. Nice. Okay. We'll say wow. after you yeah. take the shot, one thing you do kind of a feint. You start to move along the rocks, and one of the creatures is looking at you, and you like move forward and then back, <laughs> and you go around the corner, and it kind of like loses nice. track of you. So right. you kind of move like like here. Yeah, that's and now fine. you're hit. It's fine. Yeah. Okay. Yep. That's, that's it for me. That's okay. a bonus action action. That takes us to Doxley. All right. All right. 
First things first, Oxley through gritted teeth. Ace, do I have your permission to swat these from the fucking sky? Go, oh yeah. Bye! <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. That's the same. Oh. <laughs> All Doxley heard was the f of the fight, and she's got a javelin out, and she's gonna huh? turn to the one that's concentrating on her for heat metal. <clears throat> the one that's concentrating yeah, on you? Yeah, how far is he? 42 feet. Okay, can I, uh, am I within melee of this? You are not within melee of this one currently. <sighs> okay, if I were to get within melee of that guy and then just go right past him, like on the eastern side of him, staying within melee. Uh, sure, are you? I'm trying to get closer to the concentrated one. But if not you stay far. within five feet of him, you will have disadvantage on a throw. I already have disadvantage. Yes, you do. That's true. <laughs> uh, when does yeah. that go away, by the way, the disadvantage? Because it's on your armor, it doesn't until you break the concentration. Of the when I break the concentration. Yeah. The, the, yeah. <laughs> you say when I break it. You say when I break it. Uh, we'll call that five, six, seven, like 15 feet of movement you use to get to the other side of this creature. Okay, and am I within 30 feet now? No. Well, I gotta do this. Uh, I'm gonna take the uh, okay. attack of opportunity. Right. Okay. Yeah, attack you can't opportunity. throw it if it's more than 30. That's 30. It's disadvantage. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Already I'm already yeah, disadvantaged. You're already disadvantaged. Oh, let's not do that. I was like, you can't get double disadvantage. <laughs> double disadvantage. <laughs> okay, double disadvantage. Yeah. Can, can we retcon the whole movement or no? Is that. Is that um. No. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Ooh, that's fair. That's fair. I'll keep um, What is the the range on the javelin? Is <laughs> it's like 30, 60, 30, 50. Oh, no. 31, 20. Wow, you can oh, yeah, hug that. Okay, I thought it was like 30, 60. All right, you can huck it from where you are. Okay, great. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. This is going to suck anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Just throws it directly up. <laughs> you got this. Okay, uh, 15 to hit. That will hit. Yes. Oh, I like those sparkly guys. Thank you. Yes. Uh, okay. Yes, actually. Son of a bitch. Okay, hey, that's uh, going to break. Oh, my God. Uh, three piercing. Three piercing damage. Excellent. It's going to make a concentration saving throw here. Concentration. Uh, <laughs> Natural 20. Oh, my. It's going to maintain less. its concentration there. Less sees the, the javelin coming and just ducks out of the way and gets sort of, it gets scraped across its chest there by the, by the pointy end. All right. Uh, and then I'm going to use a superiority die to use a bonus action and use quick toss. I'm going to use another <laughs> javelin. Blitz. Throws another one. Please. Ooh, that's a fucking seven to hit. That's gonna miss. Yeah, okay, and then let's see. Precision attack. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, I'm gonna use a, a superiority die and add a precision attack okay. and add to it. So you add a D8 to the attack. What was roll? that, a seven to hit? Yeah. Uh, How old am I doing? A superiority is a D8. A plus seven, so 14 to hit. That will hit. Great. Nice. Okay, so then uh, I use the superiority to try to add to the hit. It doesn't add to the damage, yeah. Right, right, right. You get to roll for damage now. Great. You got it, you got it, you got it. Got it. <laughs> Four piercing. Four piercing. Hey, seven okay. total. It's going to make another concentration. This is the one. Now. Natural one. Yes! Hey. Let's go. Oh. Breaks the concentration well, of it. Okay. Uh, I don't actually know if I know how to get rid of these. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, just just delete the whole thing. <laughs> we are going to do Take that. Take it off the field. Mm -hmm. Gonna do that. And that's going to break. Oh, you're there. There we go. Oh, yeah. 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 You can't wreck on that. You can't wreck on that. <laughs> no uh, takes back. Okay, there we go. Uh, nice. Great, so the concentration is broken. Okay. Um, Any movement or anything else? Uh, no, I'm next to Alien. Uh, yeah, we're kind of like back to back here, and I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna say, Alien, yours is up next. I'm gonna do my best. All right, uh, I'll be waiting. <laughs> that's, that's it. That's You're it. like, <laughs> yeah, I can hear his skin crackling. Yeah. yeah, that's it for me. All right, it takes us back to the top with Kate, who is hiding here. Okay, does it matter how high up it is? Like. How high the creature is? Yeah, like, I mean, you have that... to be able to reach it. Okay, yeah, so that is included. In... <laughs> and how high up is it, would you say? Um, it is about 15 feet. What the frink, Frank? But you're, if you have a, you're talking about your whip? Yeah. With your height, you could hit that. Oh, okay, if I jump. Yeah, a little bit. Like, you barely have tall. to hop. You're at least five feet tall. So I forgot about that part. <laughs> okay, um, okay, so I'll, get, I'll just go ahead and get right underneath right it. Under it. Yeah, and um, I'm going to 
Um, as, before you do that, as it's distracted, uh, looking at Doxley and Ilian, give me a stealth check. Okay. See if you remain unseen. Okay. Oh, sweet. 21. 21, that'll do it. So you quickly and quietly, while it has its focus elsewhere, get up underneath it, which means this attack's going to uh -huh. be with advantage because you're an unseen attack. You don't um, do I have to do anything to, uh, like, pull, like to use my special attack to pull it towards me? So you roll to hit. Yeah. And then when you, if you hit, yeah. you can choose to pull it instead of do damage. Okay. Okay. If you cool. want to do damage, you can't pull it. Yeah. Those are separate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, There's, I'm gonna roll to. Go ahead and roll to hit. Okay. With advantage. Uh, yeah. And roll two of those. Yep. Take that. Well, that was bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, and yeah. then add the bonus on the whip. 22. That will definitely hit. Damn. Now. Was, oh, yeah. Was, oh, great. Pointing at the damage dice. <laughs> or do you want to do damage, or would you like to manipulate its movement? Um, oh, I, do I want to touch it? Yeah, I guess I'll just. Ah! Yeah! <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna pull it down towards me. Okay, yeah. you grab the small foot of the imp and you just yank it yeah. downward. All the way down. So it's basically gonna pull down to where you are. Okay, cool. And while it's down, I'm gonna um, flurry of blows. Okay. Oh, okay. Nice. And then I don't have my talent on me, so you put that away. Uh, I'm just gonna have to These punch are just punches. it. Punches. Yep. So <laughs> With my bear, I'm gonna... monks are so sick. Whew, okay. Yeah. Um. So... Ah! <laughs> I jinxed it. <laughs> <laughs> that was a natural oh, no. one. Okay, um, you get a second attack with the player bonus. That was a 15. Plus. Plus. An arm strike should be on there. Yeah, uh, uh, 21. That will hit, go ahead and roll for damage. Okay. Okay. No, I know what a D4 looks like. I okay, believe in myself. Okay, okay. I didn't actually. Oh, six. Six damage. Oh, that one was already damage. hit by Doxley. As you have it, you're wrapped around the foot. You yank it down and do a simultaneous oh, uppercut. <laughs> <laughs> and as it does so, it. Uh, <laughs> oh, I need you to give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, she's good. Hopefully, it's not a box. I mean. Yeah, right? It's just like molten. Just a little baby explosion. That was a terrible roll. Eight. That's going to fail, yeah, so you're going to take a full eight body. fire damage <laughs> there. Fire. Oh my gosh, that's like, <laughs> that was a little so massive damage. That was it pops and just rains down all this sticky, Holy. hot, sort of almost like gore and liquid over you, and you're trying to like flick pieces off of you as it's raining down, and then quickly it fades away after you take the damage. But that I one is everything. dead. <sighs> No, that was right. sick. Yeah, I mean, that was no regrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, that takes us to the methods. First, right off the bat, okay. uh, yeah. metal. Give me a concentration. Oh, concentration Great. Save. Uh, dirty twenty. That will save, but you take uh, five fire damage. Oh, Goodness. <laughs> yeah. I still have. Um, okay, now. Mm. Couple more going to swoop in here. This one's gonna come down to Ace. Uh, these ones are gonna converge here. Oh my. Please don't tell me I have like pack tactics or something. Dude. Dude. TC, you remained hidden, correct? Excellent. Yeah. Uh, Yo, this one is also gonna fly in Ace's direction. Make it Ace kind of, be a fair fight. Kind of yeah. up over this tar pit here. Oh. Kind of hovering above that tar pit there. Okay, so this is first and foremost one attack on. Yeah, it is thirteen to hit. Nope. It's gonna miss as she's running up. Dodge underneath that one, and then we've got two attacks on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, fifteen to hit. No. Twelve to hit. Both <laughs> of those are gonna miss. Doxley. They're just like claw attacks. Yep, they're claw attacks. Uh, twenty-two to hit. Yeah. And eleven to hit. No. Twenty-two. Just one of those hits. You take uh, four slashing damage. Interception that. Oh, okay. Uh, Have we done that before? Yes, oh, okay. uh, with Morna last time. But I reduced your damage. But that'll be by eight. So you're fine. So as it comes in with its claw, Ilian just reaches out with that hot Boom. sword and Ooh. pokes it out of the way. Doxa doesn't oh, yeah. even flinch. She knows. Oh yeah. oh yeah. This is par for the course. We got this. <laughs> and I think that's everyone except. No, four attacks and okay, great. I killed one. <laughs> that takes us <laughs> back. Yeah. There is one. Man. Back to Ilian. All right, um, I'm gonna 
having it out of the corner of my eye see Kate and have this whole thing explode on her, I'm not gonna hit anything. Okay. And uh, I'm gonna instead say, Doc, get rid of this metal heat thing. And I'm gonna use my uh, commander strike Ooh. so okay. she can take an attack here. Great. Oh, wait, I just using attack a, right now. Yeah, you can using a superiority die. And does she get to add something to it? Um, if she hits, uh, she adds my superiority die. Ooh. Great. So it is with disadvantage. Yeah. But Fuck. Okay. You can do it. Do it. Oh, my javelins. <laughs> oh, uh, 13 to hit? We'll hit. Yes! Let's, let's go. go! Okay. Plus uh, four, whatever you want. Plus four? Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. I'm not using that die anymore. <laughs> I'm never gonna fucking use that die ever again in my life. That was a one plus four, so five plus... Plus four. Nine. Nine, not quite enough, but it That's is gonna make a concentration saving throw. Uh, that will save, unfortunately. Shit. Maintains its concentration. Oh my god. It's a good oh. hit, though. Get out. Ah. Go away. Um, okay. Okay. Anything else? Um, I'm going to. Uh, I have to have my sword out to intercept. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep holding on to my sword and then end my turn. Okay. Ace, you're up. All right. Um, could you zoom out just a little bit? Yes, so of course. Yeah. The... So it's oh. uh, here, and then the, the troglodytes are up here. Awesome. Um, that cluster just down south by my buds. Yep. Um, are those guys like within five feet of each other? Um, just throwing could, out a random number there. <laughs> you could definitely get like if you targeted this one, yeah. all three of those are within five feet. I don't think you can get all four. That's within okay. Five feet. But are those two in danger of being in uh, within five feet? Um, if you threw it. Yeah. You threw it kind of. So you could get two of them without hitting them at all, okay. or three of them and Ilian would be caught in the blast also. Didn't <laughs> yell at her. He's already smoking. I am, yeah. Um, no, I'll do the two. Okay. Uh, oh, thanks. And <laughs> so you want to have it kind of behind them here? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, at like a point in range. Okay. Um, and then I'm assuming that's 120. At least less than 120 oh, feet yeah, away from me. Significant. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> 30 feet away. <laughs> I'm gonna keep walking. I want to take my full movement. 25. Okay. But um, as this, a this one's gonna make an attack of opportunity as you're walking. The one that's next to you there. Oh yeah. Okay. Then I'll do action first before walk. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Um. All right. I see the mess behind me and I kind of shake my head and I'm like, flea bags. And I reach into the side to my holster and I unclip it and I pull out an ace of spades. And I flick Yo, it. Oh, that's uh, those actually two sick. What? Go ahead and uh, read Heck the description. Yeah. Special like, DM, DM made. <laughs> that's uh, awesome. The detonating deck. Whoa! A wondrous Yo. item, no attunement. The four aces in this otherwise in innocuous deck of playing cards are covered in a thin film of powdered thunderstone, oh. a crystalline oh. substance brimming with an unstable energy. You can flick an ace from this deck as a bonus action, scratching the surface of the card as you do so and throwing it to a point up to 120 feet away. With the sound of shattering glass, the card creates a concentrated, concussive blast. Each creature within five feet of the point of impact must succeed on a constitution saving throw or be knocked prone and pushed 10 feet away from that point. The DC of the con save is equal to the dex, to, is equal to a sleight of hand check, which you make when you throw the card. Oh. What? Oh, what? You just set the DC? So, That's so cool. she's throwing it kind of up there about. Uh, give me your sleight of hand one. check. Which I have advantage on. And you have advantage. Uh, like, who's that? Expert you gotta go Gambit? To All right. Let's go! Oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, it was gonna be so cool. Oh no. <laughs> okay, well, those are two threes. Um, What's the total? So that's gonna be a seven. Seven. One of them did still okay. fail. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah. the card spins, and you're just, as you throw it, you immediately think, like, oh, just that's off the off. mark. And it kind of comes, and as Ilian's holding up a sword, he watches like a little playing card, and he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> and it just makes a little shattering glass blast. Uh, and if this one gets blasted 10 feet in this direction and thrown, which means it's gonna fall into the goop. Goop, 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 goop. Oh, nice. So that one. Poor and it kitty. starts to slowly sink into the water there. And the other one just dodges out of the radius of the blast. There. And that detonating deck's actually a bonus action. That's correct. Excellent. So then I'll use my wow. action to hit 
the guy on my left here. You may do so, yeah. Um, so let's just do <laughs> it's awesome. a little unarmed strike, which is 25. That will hit, definitely. Right. 10 damage. 10 damage, oh. excellent. That one does. You give it a good wall up and it. <laughs> She's <laughs> clearly disoriented, but not quite enough to kill. Uh, and then I walk forward 25 more feet. Great. And I make eye contact. I'm assuming there's some troglodytes there up there. There are indeed some troglodytes up there at the top of the ramp. And I think I'm just saying in primordial, die. Okay. Ooh. Wow. Um, it won. That one is going to make an attack of opportunity. Let's do it. Uh, 12 to hit? Nice. Not going to hit. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> that takes us so to the troglodytes. The troglodytes. Give it a try. So as you shout that across the chamber, they're all, all they're all kind of like smiling and looking out, and then you shout at them and they <laughs> and they're like getting antsy. You can see them kind of revving up a little bit. And one of them kind of looks back and goes and sort of shouts into the back. Give me a perception check to see if you can hear what they say exactly. 18 truck. Ten. Ten, not quite able to hear what they say. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> And that is the troglodytes, which takes us to TC. Yeah. All right. Uh, what is the closest one to me right now? Uh, probably this one, 40 feet away. Oh, can I go 10 feet towards it? You can. Are you trying to remain? Yeah, hidden. so because you're leaving the edge of the rock yeah. there, give me another stealth another check. Another stealth check. Okay. You got it. Come on, buddy. 15. No, not quite. Less than that. Okay, so as soon as you start to creep forward, you do see it kind of. Just look over in your direction as it's flapping its wings. All right. Well, in that case, um, now, if I shoot out of my 30-foot range, but it's next to somebody, I don't need the advantage. I still get the... You can never have sneak attack if you have disadvantage. So you need, But you could probably creep within 30 feet, right? Yeah. Like... Like now, uh, it's that one's okay. 30 feet. So okay. you don't have advantage. Easy, like with his butt on the rocks, just like going like ledge by ledge, <laughs> like, grasping onto the rock. Yeah. Um. Like yeah. Rock. Yeah. I'll do that. And that would be no for, advantage, uh, but it does have sneak attack. Yeah. Right. All right. So I'll go for that one by Alien there. Watch your fucking ass. Um. Fifteen to hit. That will hit. That will hit. Yep. Sneak attack. This one's injured already. Yeah. Um. Ooh. 6, uh, 10, 14. <laughs> Give me a dexterity saving yeah, throw. You got it. 11. 11 will succeed. Oh. You take half of nine rounds down, four fire damage. Thank heaven. That would have been awful. Sorry, guys. He looks over. Something. Yeah, he looks like <laughs> yeah. through the steam cloud that is now, the method's disappeared. It's just a cloud of steam. And through the cloud of steam, you see. TC's face, sort of, with his cross <laughs> You're welcome! <laughs> um, okay. I've used how much movement would you have? Uh, let's see, you were up against the rocks, so that was 20 feet of movement. 20 feet. Um, the, uh, mm, oh, there, that's goo next to me there, right? Yeah, kind of black is all kind of loose tar and yeah. stuff. Yeah. Um, I, Anything that's not rock is basically kind of loose tar. I'm using 10 to go back, kind of southwest. Okay. Like and this way. Uh, maybe down, and is there, can I obscure myself down there at all? Uh, again, I'll, I'll let you try. There's a lot of methods sort of facing that direction. I'll, I'll try. Go ahead. Um, do you uh, just three advantage straight for me? Straight or? dexterity, or stealth check. Yeah. And I'm going to do three advantage right. perception checks yep. on these. Uh, fine methods. with me. Uh, 16 on that one. Oh. Nope. Uh, 14 on that one. Dirty 20 on that one. Okay. Nice. Oh. So basically you kind of slip Easy. behind there. Now, I'm going to say if you pop back out to attack, you know, they might have an idea that you disappeared somewhere over okay. there, but you are currently okay. hidden and obscured. Cool. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's it for me. All right. That takes us it's to awesome. docks. Okay. How far am I from the one that's fucking concentrating on? Uh, 45 feet. All right. Um, what do I got? What do I got left? I'm gonna provoke two opportunity attacks and try to push my way forward to okay. get within range. My right. hero! Right. You're gonna push your way <laughs> through here. Uh, let's see. And how close do you need to get? Uh, 30. Well, this was 20 feet. Yeah, I'll move minimum distance to get there. That's about how far you need. Great, that's right. what I'm so doing. Two opportunity attacks there. 
You also, I will say, uh, what you've noticed as you've been firing off these javelins, if they hit the creature, they like stick in and then they start to burn. So any javelin that hits one of these methods is ruined, basically. Like they start to uh, shoot all of them. <laughs> you haven't missed with one yet. Then any one that you've thrown has been uh, have burned. I have three left. Back to Samson. One of which Samson. <laughs> <laughs> I already bought. There's nine others in my hotel room. <laughs> and I was like, I know this is gonna uh, suck. Oh, man. Go ahead. oh no. Uh, Housekeeping is just laying them out. Oh, uh, <laughs> Eleven to hit on that first yes. one. Um, and then. 16 to hit? No, miss. Okay, nice. both of those miss. Okay, and then, yeah, she's gonna pull Doxley, one out. Doxley, you watch, she gives you kind of a look and then d- darts between, and just as they're going out with the claws, Ilian like pommels one of them yes. and keeps it kind of out of oh. range. Come on, baby, and here we go. Oh. I'm kind of rolling my shit. Like, I, shit tonight? I can't believe it. I think we should um, acknowledge it. Twos are tough. Uh-huh. Just put it out there. I'm just putting that using precision attack is going to make that hit. hit. Uh, that's a six to hit. Um, I think the lowest we've seen is the that hits 13. is like a 13 hit. Because I think a 12 missed. Uh, you know what's probably a smarter thing? No, because then I boost <laughs> another double in! <laughs> that one, if you missed, that one did not disintegrate. Because it didn't sure. hit him. It, it would just, like, it would probably just plink off of some of the rock in the distance, like, over here. Sure. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna let that one miss, and then I'm gonna use another superiority die and try again with quick toss. All right. Get him. She die is not gonna start me This one, over. This one's blessed. It's really good. Okay. 15 to hit. That will hit. Okay. Uh, quick toss. If I hit, then damage gets contributed to that. So it's gonna do six and then do eight. Ooh. Oh, Two what? fives, yes. so ten plus <laughs> fucking two, uh, twelve. After Here's missing it. that first attack, Doxley gets the angle, <laughs> winds it up, and you say goodbye to that javelin oh, as it hits the creature boy. and then... <laughs> nice. <laughs> ah, you stupid bastard! <laughs> and, oh, and, and, and Ilian, sort of, you're concentrating on the, the one next to you, and you just feel... Yeah, baby. Nice. All right. <laughs> it's um, bonkin' time. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so I use like 20 movement? Yeah, 20 feet of movement. Um, Actually, was it that one? Yeah, 20 feet of movement. Elian, do you need me there? Keep going. Do for you. You do you. <laughs> All right, I think I'm just going to, I'm going to try to just station myself in the center here, so I'll stay there. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, and that's my turn. Okay. Takes us back to the top with Kate. Where am I? You're over there. <laughs> All the way just, over there. You just punched one of them to death. Yeah. Are those two guys over by Alien? 35, 40 feet. Allow me to run over there. <laughs> whip out. Would you like to stay, because it has a whip has an extra bit of reach, would you like to stay 10 feet away? Uh, nah, might as well get in there. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, well, I guess it's the same, it's literally the same damage if I just punch it. So you can't punch at reach. You can only use okay. the whip at reach. Okay. Um, but otherwise, but, up yeah, to you. between using the whip as a it's, hit. And yeah. On, on and you game. also get even without flurry of blows, you can take one unarmed strike just as a bonus action. Yeah. Mm. Monk, so. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna get as close as I can and just <laughs> try to grab it and punch it. Okay. Again. Great. <laughs> okay. Uh, Go for it. Yeah. 22. That will definitely hit. This one is damaged already. Finish him. <laughs> Damage on that one? Oh, oh, yeah. oh. oh. <laughs> I hit it. I'm stupid. It's the same. Okay, is this a six? Six nice. damage, excellent. <laughs> Pop it. And then you do, it didn't kill it, you do still have a bonus action. I'm so well. tempted to disengage, but um, I, I'm, I guess I'll just, yeah, take a bonus action. Take a punch Go ahead, punch take a punch. That was a bad one. Eight. Eight's gonna miss. Yep. So That's okay. now tried. aware of your presence, it just sort of flits out of the way. Um, and do I? Um, should I move away? You can move, and not only that, it can't make an opportunity attack because it just did that against. Uh, Dox, mm. Dox okay, Dox. then I'm gonna run, um, sort of like upwards, uh, kind of in the direction. Of, yeah, like that way. Sure. Uh, t- you took t- twenty-five, I think. So you have another twenty. Do you want to take full twenty? Um, I guess so I'm kind of sure. I'm like right in between those two. So that's fine. Yeah. Sure. Great. Okay. Now right. the methods. Okay. okay. 
We are going to have all of these ones swoop nice. in here. Oh, all right. I am I'm oh, no. doing great. <laughs> what oh, no. so rude. I should have used healing surge last turn. I didn't think I was going to take much. Okay, it's going to be three sets of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring it, bring it, bring it. Bring it. What are you up to? Down two? Uh, I'm fine. Okay, cool. <laughs> Never been touched. Uh, 15. <laughs> no. Dirty 20. Okay, days. yeah. 16 damage. No! Okay, okay, okay one, let's go! This is max damage, five slashing damage. Okay. <laughs> um, are, the, are these guys. Sorry. Yeah. Is there like an open flame aspect to them at all? Uh, when they open their mouth, there's a little bit of open, like, <laughs> flame. Whoa. Sound, but not like their body. Their body radiates heat, but it's not like open flame. All right. All right. Okay. Asking. And then this one is going to swoop down here. And attack Doxley. Let's go. Bring a bitch. Natural 20. Oh, that for bringing it? No. Aya. Oh, no. <laughs> Just a claw attack. Aya. Double six slashing damage. Wait, okay, you do double damage on 20 hits? Natural yeah, we do double the die yeah, yeah, yeah. and add the modifier. Actually, I must have not done that. Six, so seven slashing damage. Sorry. Three <laughs> double. Sorry. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I think it was a little more. Uh, 14 slashing. <laughs> okay. uh, seven yeah. slashing there on the crit. So as Doxley just been thrown that other spear, one swoops in, and you're just not ready to defend yourself, and you get smacked by the claws there. Uh, okay. That's going to take us to Ilian. Okay. Um, first thing I'm going to do <laughs> is I'm going to finally use my second win for the first time. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to heal myself up a bit. Okay, nice. so that's gonna be 12 HP back to me. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like that. Big. And then, uh, how far is TC from uh, me? Back in the ship. Close enough to attack. All right. Can, no! Do, do I even know that? <laughs> 35 feet away. Uh, do I actually? Would I even know TC? Uh, yeah, I saw you shoot. I mean, a couple things right there. Uh, oh yeah, I saw you through the cloud. I'm being like, what? that's true. He did see. You, you just see. Him. You just see around around the jagged rocks. You see one <laughs> rounded edge. <laughs> I would also say, like, even though you're hidden, if you see Ilian looking around, you might yeah. sort of like just signal to him or something. I'll just yeah. dangle my hat out. <laughs> Question for you: Would I, having seen TC fight, would I know that he's in range for a decent attack? Of like, if I if I floor went my attack. Oh, oh, I see. Um, I'd say you you you're weapon savvy enough to know the range of a hand crossbow. He's in a disadvantage range of all okay. enemies. Um, and Kate has, Kate, you do have your weapon, or your whip equipped right now? Yep, she has a whip and a fist. Um, okay, I'm gonna run backwards towards TC. Okay. Enough to get out of them, I'll take the opportunity attacks. Right okay. Uh, that's gonna be three opportunity attacks. For real. Yeah, that'll be fine. Because if they, people start dying, I'm going to take tons of damage anyways. The explosion. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. This is smart. Uh, 21 <laughs> to hit. Yes. Uh, 14 to hit. Nope. And 6 to hit. So nope. Just one hits there. Okay. Um, 4 slashing damage. Okay. I'm going to yell to Kate, um, feel free to hit any of the ones you prefer to hit, and I'm going <laughs> to let you take an attack right now. With a commander strike. I think she could, so she can only, she can't move, right? She can only make oh, attack. Oh yeah, she with So she can, she can hit this one, but she oh, can't but hit not the, the one other of the ones? three below, yeah. Yeah. Mm. She, yeah, she can't move as part of that. Never mind, Kate. Doc, do what you're oh gonna do. God. I'm going it! <laughs> and I'm gonna give you Hey, Kate! Could you get Doxley's attention? <laughs> <laughs> Dox! Dox! You should pass and, uh, and throw the thing! Feel free to attack whatever you want to make an attack. Okay, so here's a question for you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Would non-thrown javelins mm. burn up and combust, or would I be able to uh, yank it I out? I think you'd be able damage? to stab it and pull it back to prevent that. Okay, because it's my last javelin. Oh, oh. I don't want to lose it. I'll say, unless you roll a natural one, the javelin won't burn up as you go to stab I, it. He just jumps you. Now <laughs> that <damn> it, <laughs> what's gonna happen to you? <laughs> No gotta do it. Good gotta do it. That's the game. Right. We're playing a game. Playing. <laughs> All right. Fuck it. Uh, I take out my final javelin and I go right underneath and try to get it right in the gut. Is nice. this the one that's a little, yep. a little pretty? A little prettier, this javelin? Yeah. Great. That's oh, why I don't want to roll the one. Oh. Special. 
That was a two. Oh. Shout out Are you f- to the two oh. of them. Oh, wow. wow. That will miss. <laughs> Okay. I the miss, brother. Funny. It's fine. <laughs> um, and then I just want to take the rest of whatever movement I have to just mm. get further um, south. 10, 10 feet of movement, so another 20 feet south. Yeah, maybe actually just like 10. Okay. Yeah. 10 more, right 10 feet south. Great. Okay. Uh, that takes us to Ace. Let's rock. Matthew. Yes. <laughs> Question before you. This begin. here says I don't need advantage on the attack roll if another enemy in the target is within five feet. Yes. I don't need advantage on the attack roll to get sneak attack. You had yes. disadvantage, though. Oh. Yes. Oh. If, you have, if you have disadvantage, you can't get sneak attack. <laughs> I'll be quiet now. You did get sneak attack when it was next. I know. To the <laughs> How is it more than five, but less than three? <laughs> All right, Ace, what do we got? How far am I from like the troglodytes? I'm about 60 feet. OK. Um, Cussing range. <laughs> <laughs> the perfect range. To I got the some acoustics in here are great. For you. Um, okay, I look at the troglodytes and I say, Your leader is a coward. Where is he? Okay. And I slam my fists together <gasps> and I'm going to activate uh, a giant's might. Okay. Go ahead and that for us. Boom, 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 boom. This is like an intimidation. Cards, runic bracelets. <laughs> Uh, okay, Giant's Might, Rune Knight Feature. You have learned how to imbue yourself with the might of giants. As a bonus action, you magically gain the following benefits, which last for one minute. If you are smaller than large, you become large, along with anything you are wearing. Oh. If you lack the room to become large, your size doesn't change. You have advantage on saving checks and saving throws. Once on each turn of yours, one of your attacks with a weapon or unarmed strike can deal an extra 1d6 damage oh, to a target man. you hit. You can use this feature of number of times equal to your proficiency bonus, and you regain all expended uses when you finish a long rest. What? So, slamming the bracelets um, together, you watch at the top of this ramp, she just begins to grow in size, and her fist, she like smacks her fist into her other hand <laughs> and looks towards the troglodytes. I would like you to also give me an intimidation check. Nice. Um, nice. I think you have advantage on that as well. Yes. Intimidate the crap out of them. Oh, yeah. Come on, Ace. Oh, I like your dice. Thank you. 15. 15, okay. Nice. As you say that and you start to grow in size, the troglodytes, unlike maybe some other creatures that would cower, they start to kind of get antsy and you can tell troglodytes like to prove themselves and they like a challenge. Mm -hmm. So they see you growing in size. <laughs> They give like a sound back, and then you start to hear like a. Oh my god! Oh my god! We're gonna have the sound of some footsteps in the other room. Okay, so uh, does my armor class or speed change at all? I don't, unless it says so, I don't think so. Um, so it's just my height. Uh, and like you do extra damage. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. But yes, um, uh, how tall am I now? Just for funsies. You're dub. What were you before? You were probably like. Four? Four feet, so like eight feet tall. Dang. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> um, okay, then I <laughs> use my full action to take double to dash. Okay. Um, so that'll be 50. fifty. Great. And then it takes you up to the edge here. Yeah, and then I'll wait for him to come to me. Baby. Give me a perception check. <sighs> Four. Four, okay. Oh. It's it's very, because there's no methods in the next room, it's yeah. very dark in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just difficult to discern anything from here. Okay, you stand at the foot, the troglodytes are all kind of <laughs> getting themselves amped up. Okay, uh, that takes uh, us to troglodytes. the troglodytes. Uh, they're gonna wait here. However, I am going to roll into the round. Oh. Uh, okay, uh, after okay. the methods, but before Ilian, is Troglodyte Chief. Here he comes. Here he comes. Uh, huh. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, TC, you're up. That rule yeah. sucks. It does. That never fucking it's a suck Or I'm sounding like A or right. or way. How far huh? away are the things from me? <laughs> 40. Intelligence. 40 no. <laughs> um, and if I were to come forward, they would have a damn good chance to see. Yes, especially because Lillian, like he ran that direction. They're all facing this direction. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, I'm gonna get up within 30 feet. Oh hey, does 10 feet get me? And 30 of, of uh, if, are any of them looking harsh? Uh, I believe yeah, yeah. this one and this one have both been hit. I don't think this one has yet. All right. Well, I'll go for the one that looks like it's got a little stank on it already. 
Okay. <laughs> On the left one there? Yeah. This one, great. Um, alien? Let's. Oh, fuck. <laughs> me. Let's do not. Faster. How about let's now that let's not. <laughs> <laughs> and the bolt kind of ricochets off a rock and the method kind of <laughs> it eats it and like the fire burns up the bolt there. Ah, uh, shit. It's a nice try. <laughs> no, it wasn't, you fucking lying son of a bitch. <laughs> um, uh, 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 I'm gonna climb. Um, I'm gonna go back up. This way? Okay. Yeah. You used what? I 10? Used 10, I yeah, so 10, I'm gonna go 20 to go kind of back up. There? Yep. Yeah. And uh, now, how far away are they from me? Yeah. 40, 45 ish. Yep. And th- that's about what they were moving before, it was like 40. Uh, they moved a little less than that, actually. Okay. Okay. Yep. Better. Okay. Alright. Uh, oh, I can't attack with any kind of bonus action. Nope. Yeah, that's it. You can't hide there either. They can no, clearly see you. <clears throat> you can dash if you wanted extra movement. Okay. Stick cool. Okay, that's it. All right, that takes us to Doxley. All right, buddy. All right. Let's come. Um, would it be an action to put my javelin away and take out my dagger? Um, no, that's small. You can also, uh, you can literally put the javelin in your shield hand and then grab the dagger. Okay. Those are both small enough weapons to do that. Okay, I think I'm gonna do that. But first, can I look over my shoulder at the entrance of the cave and see if any creatures have? Started? Give me a perception check. Oh, I hope not. Come in. Yeah, Three now that's be, like, not great. <laughs> it's four. Four. Nothing that you can notice. Very dark in that direction without the methods there. In fact, the light of these three methods is kind of blinding you from seeing the entrance of the cave. Oh, okay. Cool. Love that for me. Um, all right, I'm going to try to just give this little guy a stabby stab. Uh, so uh, still, my... Uh, uh, Attack bonus is the same, right? Yep. Okay, uh, 19 to hit. That hits. Okay, and then do I add? I know it's 1d4, but do I add anything? It should be the exact same damage. Okay, great. Uh, yeah, because the javelins are strength-based throwing, so it should be the exact same damage. I can't. <laughs> I can't. Uh, that's three. Three, okay, not quite gonna do it. <laughs> Pull the javelin back. Oh, you're such a stupid little bitch! <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and that, uh, where's the other? Um, I ran towards TC. Yeah, he's back here. Okay. Um. Oh, uh, Doxy's gonna shout out toward Ilian and TC. Do you need me closer? I'm all right. <laughs> well, that's. He does indeed out. sound all right. <laughs> uh, I will. I will hold there and end my turn. Okay. Uh, top the lineup. All right, Kate, you're up. Okay. Um. So I'm like, what? Like, the five to how far from that? Only guy? ten from that guy. Okay, and great. Then, 15, 20 feet from um, so I'm gonna uh, throw my, without moving, I'm gonna throw my whip at that guy. Uh, Go ahead. <laughs> don't wanna be that close to it. Catch it. <laughs> oh, what is this? Is this a one on this deck? Oh, that's the 20, baby. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, that's a nat 20. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, let's go. Yeah, hell yeah. Roll uh, roll, yeah, um, yeah I'm gonna do sla- slashing this time. Great. Um, and double the die. Double that. Oh. Is- and then add the bonus. Six. Six. Uh, I think that's going to do it there. <laughs> the end of the whip goes out, smacks the method, and... <laughs> Am I far away enough that that doesn't hurt me? You are indeed, but oh, Doxley is not. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, I have to make a con save? Dexterity. <laughs> yes. 21, baby. Nice. Finally. Off of eight again yeah. is four. Four fire damage. Nice. Okay. Everything's coming up. Brunk <laughs> coming up, okay. Now, you still have uh, movement and you can still take the other attack. You would just need to get close enough to use an unarmed strike. Uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, just barely close enough to use the... Oh, no way, it's unarmed, face. so I have to punch, yeah. You have, have to get within him. five. I don't want to punch him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, well, I guess I'll punch it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh my god! Nat 20, let's go! Nat 20. Roll it! Roll that D4. Roll for that. That's crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it went six. That one. Six six. Wait, sorry. Damage. Yeah, wait, yeah, wait. Do I still get to double it? Yeah, but okay. still double the die. It's the same yep. thing, okay. so one times two. Uh, <laughs> that one is already hurt. <laughs> you punch. Oh. <laughs> And the next one. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, boy. And that was the day that Kate died. Uh, one of them is not within five yeah, feet actually, of you. 
I do need you to um, oh my gosh, give me two high, dexterity please. saves. Roll high, please. You should roll high. <laughs> roll a third nat 20. I know you're thinking about rolling low. That's six. Really so do them one at a time. <laughs> okay, 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 I'll do them one at a time. <laughs> okay, nine, uh, 15. That passes. You take three fire damage from that one. And give me another dexterity <laughs> save. Three. Okay, 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 uh, 13. 13, that will save, which is good because that was max roll. That was 12 reduced down to six. Oh <laughs> my god, you would have been so out. You would have been smoking. She's fine. She, okay. okay. no. she oh, wouldn't. Oh my god. And <laughs> one, massive damage I'm at two, less than half. three, the methods pop one after the other. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. We have we have healing, sir. Yeah, we have a special little right. little right. doodad, right. which will be occurring shortly. Okay, you still have some <laughs> movement. Is there anything else you would like? To do? Where where is everybody? There is no methods left. It is just troglodytes at the top of the tunnel. Okay, I'm gonna give run. me a perception check now. That those methods mm. pop there. Big now that they popped. Uh, fifteen. 15. Now that those have disappeared and some of the steam settles, you look back out toward the entrance where you had spread the chum along the entrance and picking <laughs> through the bones with a large beak. <gasps> Is it our. <gasps> oh my god, it's an owl bear! No, it's not a fucking owl bear. Adoption time! <gasps> That's not. No. Oh, <laughs> little baby! Oh no. Friend, friend. Oh. It's gonna be a friend, just trust me. Oh, oh my god, it's not a baby. Come to find the chum at the front of the tunnel there is an owl bear. So far from us. And he's sort of getting a little closer. <laughs> picking through some of the bones. He's like, he looks like he's looking for the source of the smell because he can't quite find it there. I'm gonna see that and then just scream, Docs, that was supposed to be helpful. <laughs> Docs just kinda looks around. What are we talking about? Any movement you'd like to use? Yeah, I'm gonna bolt as close as I can towards Ace. Okay, you use ten to get there, so you cool. have thirty-five left. Take Run! There. Great. <laughs> okay. 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 That's gonna take us to Methods, but they're dead. The okay. chief. Chief. Okay. With some rattling, thundering there, footsteps so coming around the corner of this far chamber. Oh, baby. You watch as the troglodyte chief looks a little froggy because I didn't have the exact uh, one I wanted. Oh my god. But Aww. an oversized oh, he's frog. troglodyte creature. He has armor made of bone. There's like a skulls adorned to his pauldrons and with a big staff that it rattles as he walks. <laughs> comes stomping out, and he sees this large dwarven woman standing there at the entrance. And he holds out his staff and fires a beam of kind of greenish energy at you. I need you to give me a constitution. Story, energy! Otherwise you poop your battle. <laughs> it's not poison, right? Um, well, we don't know yet. Okay. It actually just kind of disappears because I got a nat 20, so let's go. That will definitely save, and not only does it save, uh, it is poison damage, which I believe you're, you're not immune, you're I have resistant. advantage against poison. Oh, well then, sorry, I thought uh, I thought it was, re do you not have resistance to poison too, or is it just a? Uh, uh, saving throw, advantage against poison, uh, and yes, resistance Resistance as well. well, so this is gonna be halved because you saved, and then halved again because you nice. were oh. Um, 15 down to seven, down to three. Three we poison damage. How do we get this out? I cough. You get hit with this kind of beam. <laughs> it, it is kind of like a sickly, unsettling energy. Like it feels like your stomach's vibrating, mm -hmm. almost like you're on like a sort of rickety roller coaster. And for a second there, you sort of almost feel sick to your stomach and then you <sighs> breathe it out and steady your nerves. Um, and he is also going to, after doing that uh, as a bonus action, <clears throat> Go! Holds his hands out, and as a bonus action, he's gonna order his his buddies here to charge forward. Just three? The buddies. Uh, I don't know if this one can make it. Oh, he can. Yep. Three of those. All of me. Dumb. All of you. I start screaming, <laughs> "Scoured!" In primal. <laughs> <level. laughs> uh, give me an intimidation check. Mm. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Um. It's an eight. Eight? He can't even hear you over the, the all the ones charging for it. <laughs> like excited to get into the battle. Uh, 12 to hit. No. 14 to hit. Meets it, beats it. And the next one's gonna be 16 to hit also. So yes. two of those are gonna hit. Mm -hmm. 
Um, four piercing, uh, two, four piercing twice, so eight piercing total. A oh. ah, couple spears go out and stab you right in the shins there. Uh, and that's going to be the chief's turn, which takes us to Ilium. Um, do I see the bear or no? Uh, we'll say now that Kate shouted, yeah, you were able to, you turned over your shoulder. And you're I'm going to see it. Man. Doc, 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 it's a, it's a, the fucking oh, bear, fuck. fucking bear, All right, fucking okay, bear. Okay, okay, it's only half a bear, uh, Ilian. It's a bear, I'm gonna start, bear. I'm gonna start running. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm gonna break out into a sprint in the opposite direction away from the bear. Okay, like up the ramp? Yeah. They got a right. thing with bears. Yeah, and then, um. I don't know yet. Uh, dashing? Yeah. Great. I'm just gonna Steve get me. all the way as far as I can. Ilian, <laughs> wait! As Kate's moving up, you hear Ilian. <laughs> you look over your shoulder and Ilian's like right behind you. <laughs> Okay. That's all I'm doing. All right. Uh, Ace, you're up. Ooh, you got ah. three little troglites in front of you, and then the chief down the hall a little bit. Bog uh, down. I don't want to waste an attack on them, but if I move, oh. then they get attacks of opportunities. Uh, give me also one more perception check, mm. now that you're a little closer. All right. Listen, guys. Um, I really appreciate a nice roll. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> the dice will listen. The dice just said, fuck you! <laughs> That's one. Okay, the, you're unable to see if there's anything kind of in the uh, the chief's chambers that might be of use to you, but you stare him down, you're looking over the shoulders of the chocolates. What would you like to do? Rude and inappropriate to <laughs> <of> you. <laughs> um, all right. Bong bong. Bonk, bonk. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but an action only gets me one bonk. One bonk oh bonk, shit! Right, and I yeah. don't want to use my action surge. Um, but you want a bonk. Just wait. Uh, Does large get her any <laughs> double hit? <laughs> well, being the size, that she gets advantage on certain strength checks strength or, and, yeah, saving and saving throws. Um, if I but not a take a step of movement back, is that that isn't like a? Will that give them an attack of opportunity? Yeah. Step on them. Disengage, but yeah, you can. But they're just being action. Um, can I disengage forward? Yeah, as soon as you disengage, you don't provoke opportunity attacks for the turn, so you can move cool. in any direction. I will use my action oh, to disengage, okay. and then bonus action detonating deck. Okay, on great. Them. Wow. Uh, so you're gonna back up or forward? Which way? Would forward. You go? Okay, gonna go forward. Go forward. You basically kind of step like, over them and pass them. Me. Yeah. Um, uh, take. Do you want to take your full twenty-five well, forward? So be. Yes, please. Yeah. Great. Twenty-five. So I take the full twenty-five. And look back. Look back. Pull up my ace of hearts. <laughs> at them. Give me it's your uh, sleight of hand. Nasty. 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 Oof, these are terrible. So that's gonna be a DC 19. All of them are gonna hey. be oh, <laughs> wow. nice. Holy and balls. as they look back, as you kind of step over them, you can see their grinning faces with their sharp teeth, and they see the card coming towards them, and they're like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and they get that popping noise right in their face, and they're gonna get knocked back. 10, 10, ten, and, 10 and all of them oh. knocked prone there. Good night, sweet prince. Heart, spade. Great. Okay. So you've used movement, uh, you action. Might, How close am I to? About. Man? Awesome. Yep. Another <laughs> 30 feet away there. Okay. That's going to take us to the troglodytes. The small ones, they're going to have to use half their movement to get up. And as they get up, they're going to look back mm. toward the chief there. Mm. And the chief sort of. Mine. <sighs> And he waves them off, so the three of them oh, start to run right towards us. Down this direction. Okay. Oh man, I'm a little nervous, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Big boss battle time. Big 15, battle. and they are going to dash for the other third. Oh, hello, friends. We get him. We go get him. Stuck between three trogs oh, and an owl that bear. Looks like a nice shoving area. Right okay, there. that takes us to TC. Oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> looks like a good shot. Yeah, looks like a good show near you. Um, I'm gonna get away from this fucking bear. Uh, I'm gonna climb down. Okay. 25 gets you to the base of the I'll ramp there. The uh, I'll go the full 30 towards up the ramp there. So it's just another five, because that was 25. Yeah. So that's 30. Uh, bonus action dash to okay. get another 30. You can do so. Does that put where... me in 30 of any of those? Not quite. Oh. Eh, whatever, I can still take a shot. Yep. Um, Yep, I'll just go ahead and take a None of them are damaged yet. So Which one would you like? Um, the middle one. Middle one? Perfect. Disadvantage, right? Yeah. Um, 
Oh, come on. 18 to 18, hit. 18, that will definitely hit. Um, yes. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, five. Five, great. <laughs> <Stop. laughs> okay. And then that is a material. Doxley's up. Okay. What do you got? Oh, Jesus. Okay, quick question for you. Yep. Um, would I, do I know much about owlbears? Uh, Are there many in Huron? You have encountered them before, yes. Okay, um, like how strong of scent, if I were to take out my other flask mm-hmm. and pour it on one of these chocolate mm. would it be like, <laughs> would it be able to distinguish that it's that one and maybe not come for us? Uh, that is, so the one you didn't use yet is the essence of... I bought two chums. Oh, you bought two chunks. Yeah, yeah, Great. Yeah. Um, you would need to kind of get its attention to bring it in, because right now it's like at the other essence of chum. Okay. So you need to kind of lure it in or get its attention. But yes, if you covered someone with it, they would definitely be able to tell who was covered in the in the scent. Okay. Um, that's interesting. Maybe we want that on the big boy then. <laughs> Um, uh, really quickly to Ace. Um, Ace, we've got some company. Do we want an advantage here? Give me a perception check. I don't even know if she can hear you up oh, there. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. Wait, okay. From, from me? Yeah, perception check. 10. <sighs> Over the noise, uh, it, too much din in here. Too much, the troglodytes in front of you are snarling and making a lot of noise there. Okay, um, and how, just so I know, how far is the head troglodyte guy from me right now? Oh, I'm all the way back there, so bitch. 150 feet. Real fucking far. Um, <laughs> detonating deck. Oh, uh, where's Kate? Kate's right Front. here. Okay. Um, can I can I move up to Kate? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Where? Right. Like behind her? Next to uh, her? Right next to her is fine. Okay. There. Um, taking out the other oil or the essence. Okay. Um, hey, you're kind of fast. Do you want to pour this on the big boy? Okay. <laughs> I'll just take it. Kate's like, last time I poured this, it did fucking <laughs> didn't go well. <laughs> um, can I even see the giant one from here? Uh, you can't, but you heard like a beast sort of <laughs> growling, and so you have an idea of where he is. Yes. Let let us know that there's gonna be an owlbear coming in here. This guy's dead. I'll do my best. You can do this. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Thanks for the <laughs> yeah. confidence. Yeah. Uh, was that would that be an action to hand off that? No. Okay. You can do that quickly. So um. Don't drop. Okay. Uh, am I, can I get within melee range of anything? I think that, I, you use 30 feet of movement. Okay. Um, if I use my action yeah. to come up to you uh-huh. and say, Elliot, it's half owl. Stop looking, look at look at the face. And I'm going to slap you in your face. Okay. <laughs> slap you okay. out Okay, got it. Look at the face, not the paws. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> and I'll make that my fucking okay. turn. Um, that's uh, it. Alien right. is really scared of bears, huh? The worst. All okay. Right. Uh, Kate, that's gonna bring us to you. Okay, so I'm a, okay, so I, I can run straight through the chocolate ice question. They will get an attack of opportunity, but you can, yes. Well, it appears I've been given a task, so. Um, <laughs> you don't have to die doing it. But yes. Well, actually, okay, well, I'm gonna attack first. Um, is it possible to use the trip action? Um, uh, of my whip to like to like p- try and pull one of them off the side. You know that one on the right. Um. Yes. Okay. Then I'm nice. gonna move as close uh, as so I can get within ten feet of that guy. Okay. You have to move off it because what you're trying to do is kind of get its leg. Yeah. And like then pull him down the into the side. Yes. Okay. You so can. I'm gonna do that. Six, 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 six. And it was bad. That was very bad. So that was an eight. <laughs> Don't even with the bonus. Yeah. Well, like your yeah. attack bonus. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then that will miss. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, I tried. <sighs> Not okay. able to quite, it just picks its leg up just to just in time to get away from the whip there. Okay, that didn't go great. But um, I'm going to, um, can you can you use a bonus action and then use the rest of your movement? Yes, you can okay. You can break them up. So can I do my, can I step of the wind right now and disengage yes. so they can't get an attack yes. of opportunity? Yes, you can. And I'm gonna run as far as I can. So that was about five feet to go this way, so another 40 gets you through here. So you use the step of the wind uh-huh. and the, the troglodytes both go to attack you and then you're just already gone, like you've blown <laughs> by them. And I don't get any extra movement. Um, so, uh, that was a bonus action to That was that? my, I spent one key point step of the wind. To bonus action. To bonus so, action. So this was just your movement, yeah. which means that you now move another 45, 45 feet. feet. Yes. Oh okay, God. run! Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey! <laughs> right, it's pretty much all the way up to Ace there. Wow. I'm gonna like pull on the sleeve <laughs> and be like, psst, psst. <laughs> I look down. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna pour this! <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pour this thing on that guy. Do you want to do it? 
<laughs> I just realized something. Oh. You use Step of the Wind to disengage, correct? Yeah. Great, that doesn't give you the extra dash movement. Sorry, I thought you were no. using the dash. You can shout at her, but uh, There's but, yeah, a tiny voice <laughs> way behind me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Great, uh, that takes us to the chief. Okay, he's gonna lumber forward here. Here we go. We got As he right. charges forward, he seemed to have found or sort of imbued this staff with a little bit of magic, but after he fired off the bolt, it now sort of has gone back to a simple mundane staff. Oh. So as he charges forward, he just tosses it aside, <laughs> like he's used it up. Oh. And he charges forward you, like hands out, and he's gonna try and grapple you. Um, so Is I need you to give me a home? contested athletics check. And he has advantage on such oh, checks. Shit. But you do too, because you're so big. You're uh, I don't have right? advantage, but I do have oh, plus eight. Oh, oh, wow. Which is going to be a nice 19. 12. 12. So okay. he does, bruh, you guys lock arms with each other, and he just starts, he digs his feet in bruh, and starts to push you. Oh my. And he's going to push you further this what? way, another 15 feet. You are doing that much. You're so big, though. You're coming with me, buddy. Um, and he is also, uh, no, that's a reaction, so I can use that. Okay, so he, that's it. He looks like he's trying to, you, you've got your oh, feet dug boy. in. He's trying to shove you in toward the center of the uh, sort of mm. chamber here. Here, have some sweet tea. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and that's going to take us to Ilian. Okay. Um, <laughs> my sister just slapped me. <laughs> and I'll be like, um, I look back at the bear, and then the truck guy's running me and say, "I'm not running, but if we're, I'm gonna just clear the runway for the bear." That sounds okay, great. Okay, great. I'm that gonna great. run up to the leftmost one okay. and try to sh throw it off into the tar. Okay. Nice. Uh, uh, so shove action. Give me a contested athletics check. Okay. Fourteen. That's not that. Uh, eight. Okay. Why are we all rolling oh. two? Oh, two. Yeah. I'm not so poorly. Man. I randomly rolled my dice All and it right. landed on two nat 20s. And I went, well, <laughs> never fine. randomly roll. Okay, I'm, uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to action surge. Oh, shit. Well, Ooh. I'm just going to go again. Okay. Do it. 11. Oh, okay. Wait. Oh, wait. I also got an 11. 11. 11. Sadly, uh, the tie oh, goes yeah. to the status quo. Damn so he man. does not okay. get pushed off the edge. There. Okay, mm -hmm. that's, uh, and then <laughs> as a. Bonus action, I think I'll just use my healing surge. Okay, uh, you may do so. And that's the end of my turn. You can use your healing surge, go ahead. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't add anything to it. I have the constitution. Oh, constitution. Yeah, it's just like a that's short a rest, short rest hit die. Yep. Uh, uh, three, so that's gonna be uh, eight. Great, excellent. Okay, and that's gonna eight. take us to ace. All right, um, I, we're in a grapple. Mm -hmm. I want us to like, Switch yeah. sides. Would that be an action or my movement? Um, it would be movement and a um, athletics check to try and like wrestle him so you're on the opposite side. Yeah. But I'd still have my action. Yeah, that wouldn't be an action. Okay, sweet. Yeah. I want to try. So he's on the cliff side. Great. We'll call it ten feet of movement and give me an athletics check. All right. Thirteen. Oh my God. Twelve. So Not close. quite. That's the fine. strength of the troglodyte just holding you in place. <sighs> and as its face is so close to you, like he's drooling, and you can feel his hot breath on you there. Um. Mm. All right. I'm going to look at words and read them. Um. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So real. Where is my? There it is. Okay. Um. So we're grappled with him. His stinky breath is all on me, mm, and yep. I say. This now belongs to Bryce and Stott. Uh, and I'm going to, like, unarmed strike, but like, yeah, beat him in the stomach, I guess. Yeah, you can do that. Uh, and action surge and do that twice. You may do some. Ooh, you want action surge too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because you're a fight. Yeah, we're in the um, Okay, so that's yeah. gonna be first one. Uh, 21. That'll hit, yep. Okay. Um, do you want me to do damage on that? Uh, yes, I do actually. I'm gonna do damage, and then with Giant Smite, I get an extra 1d6. Excellent. Oh. Um, you better F that thing up. 13, 13. damage. 13, with a mighty knee to the gut, <laughs> you hear it sort of yeah. groan. Yeah. As you hit it, it's gonna use a reaction, and it <laughs> makes like a stink cloud Ooh, around wow. it that just permeates throughout the air. I need you to give me a constitution save. Oh, shit. 
15. 15 is going to save. You take half. Uh, this is going to be poison damage again, so it's going to be quartered. Uh, 11 down to 5, down to 2 poison damage wow. there. Going so great. it seems like when he gets hit, he can kind of, using the pores of his skin, like excrete this sort of mm. toxic cloud around him. All right. Uh, but you can make your other attack. You're well. up for the second mm-hmm. knee to the ribs. Go now for it. like for flavor, spit in his face. Stinks. <laughs> um, he already so. has a lot of spit on his yeah. face. He doesn't really <laughs> so, He likes it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Gross. George. I hate it. <laughs> I don't like spit. Ned. We all got it. 14? I don't want it. 14 will miss. So the second attack no. misses. Dang. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. All right, yep, movement and the thing. And I don't. Needs to do a bonus section. Okay. All right. That takes us to the lesser frogs. frogs. The lesser frogs. This one is going to go charging towards Doxley Bring here. It. This <laughs> one's going to go to Ilian. Yeah. Um, and let's do those two first. Uh, so Doxley, uh, fifteen nope. to hit. They do get a multi attack. Oh. Ah shit. Uh, and that's another fifteen to hit. Nope. So that's also going to miss. Okay, Ilian. Mm-hmm. Uh, natural one and a uh, 12 to hit. So both yeah. of those are gonna miss. And then the third one, yeah. watching you try and wrestle with him. Yes, oh, oh my god. He's <laughs> gonna try and grab you, he looks over his shoulder and he starts to pull you in that direction. <gasps> okay. Give me an athletics check. Oh okay, my please. Come on, Come on. Please. 14. Okay, okay, that beats it. That's 16. Okay. <laughs> so it starts oh. to yank you, and as it's trying to pull you, you're resisting, and it's like, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, but that is going to be its action. Uh, and that's uh, that's our turn. Okay, after Trilodites, it's TC. TC. All right. She said to go for the big one, right? <laughs> I don't remember. But you, fuck, big help you are, and I'm going <laughs> to... Bonus action, try to dash all the way around them. Movement and bonus action. Mm. You can so get around them. 30, 30 feet. Another, 60. Another 30. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, no, no, hold on. Uh, oh. Zoom out. <laughs> I just want to see how close I need to get. I mean, you're still oh, pretty yeah, far yeah, from okay. the Another 30. Yeah. Oh. 30 gets you like kind of just to the top I'm not there. within. I'm not within 30 of the big guy. I'm no, 45. All right, well, I'll turn around and uh, go for I, the one that I saw, Ilian. It was trying to drag like it. wrestling with? Yeah, Great. Yeah. I'll try to I'll give, give him this one, one here. A little, yeah, uh, tw- uh, 23. Yeah, oh, it. Nice. Sneak, sneak attack. attack. Oh, yeah, sneak attack. Um, <laughs> 10, 12, 13. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. Well that done. There you go, boy. <laughs> Thank you, DC. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, yep, that's action bonus action. Doxley, mm-hmm. you're up. All right, um, <laughs> Jesus. All right, I got this dude on me. I guess I'm gonna use my my javelin and just go for a little poke poke. Uh, Not flaming, so no risk of losing it. Yay! Yay. Uh, dirty 20. That will hit. Great. Uh, I just realized I've been a big, stupid, big, dumb idiot. Oh yeah? Head. No. Dumb dumb. How come? That's a lot of dumbs. All the time I was throwing my javelins tonight, I forgot to add the plus two to throw weapon. We're fine. Here we go. That's not built into the plus two damage. No, because the, or, uh, it's showing me the, the regular, melee yes, one, yeah. and then lower. She has the plus two. thrown weapon fighting style, so she yeah. gets an extra mm. bonus too. So, so the attack roll and the not damage. the attack roll, just plus two to damage. Uh, but I mean, I mean, she's hit. They're a all attack. gone yeah. anyway. Yeah, true. <laughs> all right, uh, five plus uh, two, so six piercing. Five plus two, what seven did I piercing. Say? Five, seven. <laughs> <laughs> Just checking. Uh, great, uh, seven. That's Doxley great. math right there. <laughs> Stick, it no, gets in like just below the clavicle and then comes back out. You can see a little bit of the blood seeping. It's some sort of greenish, blackish blood. Okay. Um, it, 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 has the Alvar with all this ruckus going on gotten? Give me a perception check. Oh, I would say that. 14? 14. You've noticed. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like slowly Whoa. creeping in, trying to investigate. It's following the bones. It's kind of trying to find where the source of the smell is, and it hasn't been able to locate that. Okay. So yeah, it's kind of creeping forward a little bit. Great. Uh, I'm going to hurry this up. Action surge. I'm going to try to stab this troglodyte again. Okay. Oh, 23 to hit. That will hit. Okay. That's four piercing. Oof, not quite. So Damn it. So okay. Uh, so action surge is done. And then bonus action, I'm also going to second wind. Okay. Um, 
uh, and try to nice. heal a little bit. So one d10 plus. Fighters using control. everything at their disposal. Yeah, I'm out of heals. Nope. <laughs> Plus fighter level, so we're three, so eight HP. Great. Nice. Cool. <laughs> All right, that's my turn. Kate, you're up. Okay, uh, where am I? <laughs> here. Great. Big guns. Uh, Run great. all the way to Ace. <laughs> um, if I give, if, or if I throw all the potion, is that an action? So, uh, yes. Okay. If you um, want to throw it from a distance, you're gonna have to make an attack roll, uh -huh. or you can get within melee and basically like splash it in his face. Yeah. And you, can, you won't be able to miss that, but I you have... would have to get within melee of him. Yeah, let me do that. Okay. Um, and as I'm running past Ace, I'm gonna be like, Owl bear! <laughs> <laughs> and in addition, as you get up there, you look to the giant troglodyte, and then the giant <laughs> and you're like standing down below with the chum. Monkey in the middle, I'll just go ahead and right up onto the face. You splash it onto him, he seems unfazed by it. In fact, as yeah. you splash it, he sort of... Oh. Whoa! Oh. Literally, oh. yes! I fully think you're gonna attack Nasty. him, and then like... <laughs> I see you splashing with like water, and I'm like, floop out of power. What? Give him some kind of gratitude. Uh, huh? So no action there. You, you were able to just toss in this. I have one key point left. I am going to spend it to take my bonus action to disengage. Okay. And then use the rest of my movement. So I think you had, you used like yeah, we'll say 25. So you have another okay. 20 feet of movement. Um, okay. let's. Say, what is the smartest thing to do to get out of the way? Um, I guess can I end up up on top over to the left? Oh, like this way? Um, like, can I get up on top of those? Uh, up like, up uh, above, um, on that little plateau to the left. This lines? isn't a plateau. Oh. Um, it's, it's just it's, a wall. Yeah, it, it's just. Oh, like, we're in a cave. This yeah. is so <laughs> difficult. Okay, <laughs> um, I'll just go over to the left as much as possible. Over here. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You West. Can have... <laughs> oh, I see the compass. <laughs> yeah, you kind of hide. There's some sort of old spider webs there that you crouch behind. <laughs> Mask of the wild, the spider webs. <laughs> He's like, I, um. I can see. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that fish bottle. <laughs> uh, okay, that takes us to the chief there. All right, you are already grappled, so he's going Not to push, see. push, push. Oh, boy. Uh, oh, boy. And since he doesn't have to use it, you're already grappled, so he doesn't have to use an action for that. He is going to then um, just claw, do a couple claw attacks. So as he's holding on, you sort of stab. Oh, oh. quick question. Yeah. Sorry. Are the other troglodytes within 30 feet of me? Mm, doesn't look like it. Four, yeah, 40 feet, Fox. 50 so feet. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Um, keep, okay. keep attacking. He's going to do two <laughs> claw attacks here. Uh, natural 20 is one, oh. and then, uh, uh, just 10 to hit on the second one. So no. that one's going to hit. Okay. That is 12 slashing damage. All right, all right. <laughs> As one set of claws just goes up into your, sort of under your gut, and you yeah. pull it back out, and you can feel the blood kind of running down your leg nice. there. Probably those are my socks. Or all no, right. probably those are my socks. We're dancing now. Okay. okay. Uh, that's going to be his turn. All right, after yeah. the Chief Sicilian. All right, Ilian. Okay. Really frustrated about what just happened the turn before. <laughs> and seeing I still got time with the bear, I'm gonna try to get underneath this troglodyte and can I push it off to the right pit? Is that far enough away? So shove it? action only lets you go five, five feet. And it's yeah, more than so five. It, yeah, it's unfortunately you could grapple and then like move him, um, but that is trickier. Yeah, I'm just gonna take my greatsword out. I'm gonna swing at this guy. All right, nice guys. This is the only one that hasn't been hit. Fifteen. Fifteen will hit. Okay, great. Get him. Uh, that's gonna be. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, are you sure you don't want to? Yeah, I should have had that. Okay, that's uh, <laughs> seven slashing. Seven slashing. That's pretty good. Still not yet. Okay. Seven slashing. Seven slashing, and uh, I don't, I got nothing else. Um, actually, when is it? Yeah, no, I'm going to end my turn here. All right. Ace, you're up. Um. Can you walk me through the healing surge? Wait, bonus action, character use healing. It's basically like using a hit die when you rest, um, but you can, we, we play in a low magic campaign, so there's less healers, so yeah. it's another way to heal. So basically you can just spend a hit die and add your constitution modifier and heal that much. Oh cool, can I do two? You can do up to two, yes, because you're level four. So okay. you can do up to two. Are you guys oh. not level four? No. no. Wow, awkward. Okay. Wow. Awkward. I was wondering, when I was like, 36 HP, damn, that's a high level. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bonus action healing surge. Great. So I just roll two of my hit die. Yep, oh, and that's... add your con modifier to both. Fuck me. Oh. Okay. Um, to, a con to both, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For each mm -hmm. die. That's great. 
So that'll be 11. Great. Feel back. Wow. You feel that wound closing a little bit as you mm-hmm. focus on your energy. And then I'd like to do the same um, grapple switch. Maneuver. To try Great. to switch places. Give me another athletic check. Oh, yeah, wait. Are you still oh, giant? Throw him into that pit. help on this? I'm still giant. Uh, and so, but is it a, it's a strength this check? It's a strength-based check. Yeah, yep. so I get advantage. Yeah, he has advantage, too, because he's the one who has to win the grapple, so it's basically just advantage versus advantage. Okay. Let's go. Okay. 18. 20, baby! Oh, oh, and you take one step on the rock and you just <laughs> rotate nice. to the other side Hitting here. Around. Um, uh, he is going to, anytime someone uh, uses, like succeeds on a physical check against him, he can take a reaction, which he's going to do. <laughs> Make a little stink cloud, give me another constitution right. saving throw here. Hey, constitution save. Uh, nine. Nine, that's gonna fail. Okay, so but you do still, you are still resistant to poison. Yeah. So you're going to take half of uh, 11, which is down to five, rounded down. Is it quartered again? No, because you didn't save on Got it, got it, got it, got it. Sorry, so five? Yeah, five poison damage. Oh my goodness. Uh, You are also, are you immune to the poison condition? I don't think so. I don't think so. You just had advantage on your save. Advantage against poison and resistant to poison. So you are now condition poison. Oh, Oh, nice. Do I have a... Is that... um, Oh, I'm thinking of exhaustion. Yeah, it gives you disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. Okay. Until you're. Um, Good thing you made that thing before, just then. Would have taken the advantage of that strength check. Yeah. Mm. Um, Okay, so. I'm going to. So close. Keep that there. How far is he from the edge? Like five feet? A little more than that. It's about maybe 15 to get him off, 10 to the edge, and then another five to get him off the edge there. (sighs) How much does she have? Can I do that? Well, I have, how much movement do I have left? Uh, so it took 10 to swap places, so 15 feet of movement. And you move at half speed when you're grappling. Oh, so close. So I... You can move him seven and a half feet. Okay. (laughs) I'm doing some math here. So if I, if I use my movement to do that, am I able to, I do an attack. I know I have... Uh, you used an action to... That was just to swap to swap Okay. Um, You basically reversed a grapple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, sorry, there's so much okay. Mm, It's okay. It's okay. Um, yeah, do your thing. Time. Okay. You're having a Godzilla battle. So, <laughs> <laughs> I don't really think I did fight. I am I Mothra. Um, okay, so I will push him to seven and a half, seven and a half feet. Great, we can do so. And then, did I bonus action already? You used healing surge. That was that was this turn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 All right, then that's my turn. Okay, that takes Final us answer. to the mini troglodytes, of which there's a couple left. Oh, they're they're just gonna attack the people that they're facing. Yeah. These are both multi attacks. Killian. Yeah, yeah. Six to hit. No. Uh, and 14 to hit. <laughs> no. Okay, Doxley. <laughs> yeah, what do you got? Um, 11 to hit. No. And then dirty 20 to hit. Oh. Okay. Every time. Don't. <laughs> don't I do it every time. Don't make him. Uh, yeah. Five slashing damage. <laughs> I'm not gonna let him steal my thumbprint. Um, I don't think they can do anything else there. No, they cannot. Okay, cool. Okay, TC. Being behind that big old draglinet, I can't hide from him. Can I? Um, <laughs> so hiding does require, if they're on like the same team, it requires you to be hiding from everyone because they can basically shout to their allies right. where you are. Is there like a little ledge down there that I could? <laughs> Down here? Yeah. Um, Where I would still be within 30 of him and maybe hidden from everyone? Perhaps. Okay. You want to we'll, attempt we'll to hide there? I'll do a little attempt. Maybe so. Here's perception checks from each of them. Oh. Yeah. The, the highest the one was 17. Okay. okay. Not hidden there. Okay, All right. I'm getting nervous, guys. Um, <laughs> am I still okay. within 30 of... Uh, Day 6 owl bear. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, let's get this out. All right, here. I'm gonna like aim as <laughs> like steady as I can. I'm like aiming for his Achilles tendon back there on his little heel. Achilles! And Go ahead. shoot. All right, all right, come, come on. on. Eat him. Uh, 18 to hit. 18 will hit. Nice. And sneak attack oh. because you're within five Damn feet. Damage. Um, uh, that's pretty big. 15, 16 nice. damage. That's pretty big. Okay. All right. And as he's, you guys are like grappling back and forth, like jockeying for position, and you see him kind of 
looks over his shoulder. He sees you down Fuck. there, but uh, <laughs> um, I already that was my bonus action to, to attempt try the hide. Attempt yep. that hide. Okay, so um, I'll just kind of feet of movement. I mean. I'll just kind of tuck in, uh, just so I'm not close to the edge. Yeah. Sure. Great. Yeah. Great. Doxley. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna try to get the stupid bridge off me. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh, 11 to hit. It's gonna miss. Yeah. Um, what in the hell are you all doing over here? <laughs> I am going uh, to hold it. Uh, no, it won't. I lied. I was looking the wrong thing. That will hit. Yay. That will just hit. <gasps> oh, no. Okay. 11. I had the Her name is stupid little bitch. That's your highest roll tonight. <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness. Sorry, sorry. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's five. Fierce five. Hand. You drive the spear oh. in, the javelin in, and you push him back to the edge there, and then pull the javelin back out, and he nice. falls backwards into the pit there. Yeah. That's yeah. delightful. Um, with, with my attention uh, back, uh, I don't know what I was about to say. Can I look at the owlbear? As you look back after jabbing oh, it through, it's oh. now... <laughs> Oh it has moved God. forward and is Freaking finding its way. way through the cave here. Oh, yeah. Someone's looking for its dinner, guys! And then I'm going to... If I were to get within melee range with Talon and this other guy, mm-hmm. would that help <laughs> in, in any way? Help what? I don't like know. Flanking, like flanking I'm not used to being in melee. You can oh, faint God. to give an ally advantage. You can like distract, but that takes That's an action. That's an action. Yeah, okay. It helps um, me when you're next to something. But right, okay. I just went. Um, yeah, I guess I guess that's it. I'm gonna try to just stay next to Ilian, not that way. This way? Yeah. Not like that. Not yeah. within melee of the Not team. within melee. Okay. I'm just gonna try to hang out and stay nearby. Okay. Go get him. Go get him, brother. Yeah. Um, let's introduce these two to each other, and that's it. Okay. Top All right, we're gonna put the owlbear now that he's close enough. No, into no, the no, 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 no. That's a good thing. No, it's he's gonna go after Kate and before the chief. Here. Oh, oh my he's God. tied with. You said seventeen. Uh, uh, eighteen. Oh, eighteen. Yeah. So he's with the tree, the chief. It, it, yeah, he should okay, be one right. above. Yeah, he's above the chief. Okay. So he's one above the chief. Cool, there. cool, cool. All right. Well, it's starting with Kate then. Um, okay, oh Kate, God. you're up. Okay, so is there? You were hiding over here in the by the wall. Is there a side pathway that I can take that is uh like around the edge that's not that middle yes. thing? Yep. I mean, you can go all the way around the edge. It's a long way, or Oof. this way. Okay, but... I'm gonna start going around the edge. Okay. Yep. yep. Forty-five um, takes you about to there. I'm tempted to like scream at the owl bear, but I don't want to draw its attention to me. You're pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> TC's like, go for it. <laughs> no, go in there. As I'm running, I'm gonna kind of like yell over to uh, everybody else and be like. Owl bear incoming! <laughs> it's like doing a dance on the way. <laughs> <laughs> but grapevine, run! <laughs> oh, and uh, while I'm here, can I healing surge? <laughs> you can, yeah. Okay. You also haven't used a, like a dash or anything, so you still have a. Well, I don't have any more. I don't have any more key points. You can dash without using a key point. Um, the key point just allows you to do it as a bonus action. Right. Like instead of attack. Any yes. kind of dash. Okay. I guess I'll. I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? I'll you want to go this way or down this way? Down that way. Okay, great. Another forty-five. And then I'll bonus action and do my healing. This is the right dice, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna do one and then I'm gonna first give you. Oh my goodness. Gotta get somewhere. Daddy always shows. Add your con modifier to. I take it that was a one. Oh. Feels bad on a healing surge. That's the end of my turn. Great. Okay, now that the owlbear is in, it's gonna go charging <laughs> oh, forward here. 40 no. feet. Elian, don't look at it. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. I'm not, I'm not, not another I mean, 40. Oh As you can hear it, its feet sort of thumping behind you. <laughs> what? <laughs> As it gets up to that point. all Dox's idea. Ilian looks over his shoulder and you can <laughs> see the snarling owlbear. No. And it looks like it's raising a paw and then it Oh, yeah, 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 up there, up there. And the roar like echoes throughout the chamber and it's gonna, it's not gonna attack, it's gonna turn its attention in that direction. Oh, yeah. See, Daxley knows what's up. <laughs> okay, animal whisperer. Uh, okay, that was a dash for the owlbear. Oh, it takes us to the chief. chief. Oh, Quick cue, oh, um, is there a troglodyte within 30 feet of me? <laughs> 30, oh. no, 35, 40 feet. Is that I mean, you could rotate around him on your turn. No, 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 no. Got him. Got some reaction stuff, <laughs> but uh, I need someone 30 feet that's not my allies. 
All right. Oh, they're yeah. coming. <laughs> Going to once again as you're right. grappling back and forth, he is gonna make uh, his two uh, attacks. His claw attacks. Um, fifteen to hit. Yes. <laughs> what does this mean? Is uh, fourteen to hit. Meets it, beats it. Damn. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, I've never heard that. That's funny. Meets it, beats it. Yeah. Uh, Shout out, Jeffrey Robb. Um. <laughs> Four slashing on the first one. Okay. And seven slashing on the second. <laughs> As it digs oh, into with his claws. Good night forever, <laughs> Ace. Not yet. Not yet. It's all right. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> um, and I'm just gonna do my turn, and then you guys are gonna already use that. Come in and finish. Right. right. Hey, like, I got a plan. Damn. Somebody's gonna come. Yep. In. Okay. He's already used all that stuff. <laughs> no, no, me. <laughs> um, that's gonna take a stallion. Um, while the. <laughs> 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 well, I'm not even breathing. Wildly slashing at the troglodyte. I don't even know if I'm gonna hit it or not. But uh. No, I'm not gonna hit oh it. Oh my god, Ilian! Be nine. Ilian's like throws the sword in that direction and then starts to move. Yeah, I'm, I'm off. I'm going towards where Kate is. I'm okay. done. <laughs> I'm leaving. Uh, there's thirty feet. It's gonna take an attack of opportunity. Yeah. And I take it that first attack missed. I don't know what you rolled. Yeah, I rolled a nine. On the... Uh that is a miss. Yeah. Uh, attack of opportunity. Nineteen to hit. <laughs> Ten hits. This is the bear? No. no, no. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh good. God. The bear firmly has its attention. The bear <laughs> opens <laughs> you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> just three slashing. Damage. Okay. That's way by. Uh, <laughs> doc, I'm uh, Doc. I'm running. I'm running. You got this. Uh, it, it's heading up. It smells. Yeah. Look Your at the ground. You like felt like a little beak, like. <laughs> like oh, on your shoulder. So is it actually though? Yeah. It's a big owl bear. Uh, Let's adopt it. I will adopt an owl bear. With okay. You. Uh, Doc's. Oh no, no, I'm in a totally wrong place. Ace is up. Ace. All right. Ace. Grappling. <laughs> Leading out. <laughs> I, I look at him and I say, sometimes I really hate this fucking town. <laughs> and I disengage. Nice. Okay. And Good. move back. Okay. Uh, my Which direction? Like towards. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Twenty-five feet. Twenty-five. And bonus action. Ooh. Ace of Diamonds. Okay. Ooh. Oh. Give me your sleight of hand check. Oh as boy. He rolls so I have advantage. Do I just have, roll flat because of the condition? Um, or is it an ability check, or is that? Yes, it is an ability check. Okay. So yes, it's a straight roll. Okay. You have disadvantage nice. from the poison, advantage from the ability. Straight roll. Nineteen. 19. That is easy. Fourteen. Oh, so, oh so, so now gosh. listen, listen, listen. So <laughs> let's talk about gravity for a moment. Uh, <laughs> would you say he falls prone backwards he, off the cliff? He gets chugged, right? He isn't it? Yeah, he gets blasted back ten oh. feet. So he's gonna ten fall prone. Is the owl gonna jump into the top? And he's gonna attempt to grab the edge here as he's falling down oh. the side. Oh. Yeah. We know how this going. Yeah. He lands. He sees. He hits the cliff, kind of right next. to Oh the shit! Oh. <laughs> Natural twenty on the grab. Oh so my He God. is literally like <laughs> hanging by one claw there. That's the 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 him off. With the tar pit below him. Thank you, dice. I can't believe I ever doubted you. You pulled that off. Um, okay, Aww. so he is. He, he, his Indication. feet are <laughs> almost touching the tar, like they're dangling down below him. And I think I go, we're so close, y'all! <laughs> okay. Come on, owl bear. Uh, it's the troglodyte, little baby one. Little troglodyte. Um, like Ilian, he looks at the owl bear and sort of <laughs> doesn't like what he sees there, um, but he is gonna summon the courage. Oh, Sorry, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> Not you. Um, 16 to hit. Misses. Nice. Great. Um, and he is actually going to also use movement. Would you like an attack of opportunity? And he's gonna kind of chase Cillian down over there. Maybe a little. Oh, dirty 20 B. Nice. Okay. <laughs> Jordan! Oh. Ones on damage are brutal. Hey. Okay, unable to finish him off, but you do give him a little yeah, nick as he goes by. <laughs> TC, you're up. So. Would I have reason to believe that if I took my little pointy friend mm -hmm. and gave him a <clears throat> right in the hand that it might make him let go? With enough damage, yes. Like, like if you do a, a good strike, like rules is written, like that wouldn't cause him to let go, but I would say if you deal him a significant blow. I mean, I don't have any of my sneaking. Oh, does he know where I am? 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally right next to him. It's just his hand, isn't it? And that You're like space. right up here. And Mufasa. Yeah, he can see you. Yeah. Oh, Especially okay. if you move in for a melee. Yeah, okay. Um, all right. Well, if he can see me, I'm going <laughs> to. Oh, <laughs> okay. no. And aim right at his face here. It's going to be a disadvantage attack. Oh, he is because prone. he's prone. Yes. Yeah, so but if I but if I walked up with my sword, I could. You would have advantage on it. If yeah. you, it's a melee attack do it, do it, do it, with do advantage. It. Oh. <laughs> oh, TC with the short sword. And I'm gonna try to like get him. Go ahead. So yeah. I would. I have advantage. You have advantage on the attack. Yep. Okay. 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 Twenty-three. Nice. That will definitely hit. Don't roll I don't damage. get the fucking sneak attack. No. <sighs> come on, come on, big money. Come on, big come on. Big money. Eight, Eight damage. damage. Not enough to, to <gasps> do that. But you give him a good stab, and you. <laughs> and he is going to reaction. Give me a constitution <laughs> saving throw. Oh, damn it. Yeah, run. Run. Fifteen. Fifteen. I mean, you can't that will save. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Take it from eleven down to five, five. and you are not poisoned. Like so you just take five ice. poison damage. Run, run, DC. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting out of there. Um, I'm gonna climb up. Uh, uh does he does he get an attack of opportunity? At Disadvantage because it's prone. All right, yeah, I'm gonna back away okay. and uh, going try to climb up just a little bit. Yeah, this way. Yeah, yeah, just kind of to the. Uh, uh, great. Disadvantage attack here. He gets stabbed by the sword, and just as he sees your shadowy figure moving away, he like <laughs> has to swipe up with his other hand. Mm-hmm. There. Disadvantage. Not terrible. Uh, Fourteen. Ooh, just, just me. Just nice. <laughs> okay. All right. Um. I can't hide from anyone, can I? Um, you need a better spot than where you are. Yeah, There's like. Not a little, no, that's not what we're here. Not it's really here. You, right. need, you need to get some more. more that's fine. Because um, this guy can kind of see. Ace backed off. Ace uh, backed off, yep, yeah, she's over here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go up more towards Ace. So you used 15, so you have another 15. Yeah. So you can get all the way up to the top of this kind of little Great. formation here. That's cool. Okay. All right. Gotta get out of there now. Doxley. Yeah. All right, yeah. Doxley's. I'm not in melee or anything of nope. that right? Okay. She's just going to let nature take its course. <laughs> and I'm going to move toward the troglodyte that's near Ilian. Okay. And I'm going to try to finish this dude off. Come on. Come. This is the one. Oh, no, not that die. <laughs> Let's do that one. Oh, uh, I can't read it. Uh, it's 19 to hit. 19 will hit. Roll for damage. Holy Ooh, shit. Oh, use the ones on the team. That's insane, Jordan. <laughs> That's like, that's like eight or nine months, man. I don't even know. Oh, God. <laughs> Drive the javelin up in, take it back, and you notice that like you didn't quite get up underneath the scales, so it didn't quite do as much as you hoped. Oh, fully flavored. <laughs> Gonna just take him by the jaw, turn toward her, and just fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> And then staying within melee. Oh my god, is my nose bleeding from doing that? Uh oh. Oh my god, Matt! I was shaking my head. Oh my god, Matt! Matt. 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 Where's the vessel? Look at his screen. Look at his screen. screen. (laughs) Move everything. Yeah. And and then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna pull his jaw as I turn and I go I'm gonna go all the way around so I'm I'm hugging your shoulder but I'm staying within melee range. (laughs) This is the worst day of my life. Yeah, no. More color. More, more, color. Uh, <laughs> more energy. More, more energy. energy. More footwork. <laughs> more footwork. <laughs> what the hell is that? More passion. <laughs> more energy. <laughs> more footwork. We're chronically, on chronically online. <laughs> chronically online. Uh, you guys can follow me. Uh, oh, okay, go ahead. Oh, please. Shit. Yeah, yeah, no. You can follow me uh, at Kelly Heyer. That's K E L L E Y H E Y E R on Instagram and TikTok. Matt is bleeding out yeah, right yeah, now. That's good. That's and good. I'm promoting. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Matt, do you want me to move myself in Tailspire? Uh, sure. Okay, wait. I'm gonna DM. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. DM oh gosh. Gosh. Sure. for the audience. <laughs> Jordan, mm-hmm. Jordan. I don't know if I remember how to do this. Uh, oh I'm god. Go over here. It crashed. Then I go over here. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna. And then uh-huh. I go over here. Uh huh. Like a little BTS. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, wow. Okay. What is the owlbear's butt? Uh, like, do, can you uh, read it? What? what is, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you uh, so into butts? I, that's There's you. That you started this. Look at that booty. Wow, oh. that is a. Look at it. 
It's so cute. <laughs> now, is TC's butt bigger, bigger than the oh. owl right. bear? Proportionally or? No, literal size. Uh, no, that's not. Oh, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a bummer. Are you kidding me? He's size large. So? I'm... Your booty. <laughs> size large. Evidently is a, a giant uh, cartoon pitch. Any questions um, from the chat? I don't know. What I don't know. Um, you guys Matt, better start running. Not to Kate. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Kate, or no, that's Morna. She's not here. I'm terrible at this. Alright, Kate. All right, DM Jordan. Oh my god, there's blood on the desk. DM okay. Jordan! Oh my gosh. Kate, yeah. what are you doing? You look so turn. good in that seat, Jordan. Don't, look at you. Don't tempt me, Frodo. <laughs> don't um, tempt me, Frodo. So, um, I'm Whoa. gonna run. <laughs> You're gonna run, okay. Jordan. Hold on, let me find you. Um, are you just doing uh, your movement, or are you gonna use an action as well? I'd just like to run, please. I think she's, a oh wait, no, she's down there. Never mind. Okay, so 38. Okay, so you reach this like. Hold on one second. Chart. Okay, so you reach Whoa. this little tar pit, so that was like 36 uh -huh. feet. Uh, and then like here. So that was your movement. Do you want to dash out of the cave to use your action? <laughs> yeah, out of the cave. <laughs> Bye. You are running from, I'm writing that down. Okay. Running from the fight. Oh, you haven't been here the previous episode. Oh, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a big fan of running away. I've watched and them. Oh, oh he's back. Oh my no, God. I, I've, I'd want this. Want yeah. The owl there actually jumps 60 feet, uh, grabs him, and yeah. grabs <laughs> Oh my God, I'm honestly surprised that hasn't happened before. That is I get insane. nosebleeds all the time. Wow. Uh, you're okay? You're yeah, okay. 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 Uh, Matt. <laughs> Uh, he hasn't lost, Guys, lost we really care here. about D&D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Kate, uh, use your action. If I start being like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we at? Kate uh, just moved. Kate, was that your turn? Oh yeah, Kate ran away. Okay. Almost Excellent. out of the cave. So we're at the owlbear. Okay, the owlbear is gonna do what owlbears do, and it's gonna charge towards oh the scent God. here. Goodbye, TC. And it's gonna I'm make a little multi-attack. Oh yeah, you left. Creature. Yeah, I'm up here. Uh, Man, these are both with advantage, so that oh, will hit. Yes. Oh my goodness. That will hit. <laughs> nice. Almer's gonna rip him a new one. And then hopefully leave content with his lot. Yes. <laughs> Never to bother us ever again. <laughs> this is a better look than the clear bowl on your head. It is. It's true. It's That's nothing scary. Okay, with a couple giant swipes of its paw, it bears down on the chief. And the chief, you can see, it's struggling to hold with that hand. Finally, the owlbear paw goes down. It lets go and... Oh my goodness. It looks around. It's alive. But oh. stuck in the tar here. Oh my god. It's got its feet kind of jammed into the tar. And unlike some of the smaller creatures that aren't able to kind of pull themselves free, it like. Oh my gosh, it's a fighter. Don't it's give yourself another like, nosebleed. <laughs> it's trying to pull itself It's already bleeding. <laughs> Not the other one. It's like disadvantage. You can't yeah. get double, double nosebleed. Oh, yeah, right, right, right. That's right. So the creature is stuck in the tar, but not dead to this point. And the owlbear is like going back and forth, like, like around the edge, trying to find the source of the smell. Which is going to take us to? Uh, the, the chief. Uh, the chief, yeah, OK. He's going to try and pull himself free. God. Is Chief Trog looking on Death's door, or? Um, I don't think you can quite see that from where you are. You were like, did I do my but job? But you heard a couple loud sort of mauling and then some noises of distress coming from the Chief. Um, that is gonna fail. He's gonna stay in his place, and he really can't do anything because he wasn't able to move, so he's gonna stay there. Okay. Uh, Ilian. I'm gonna turn to see this one troglodyte still here and say, can't you see there's a Godwin bear in the cave? <laughs> and I'm gonna just swing at it. And it's 13 to hit. That will hit. Yeah, okay. you did it. Right. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 14 slashing. As you say there's a fucking bear, it almost as if it didn't know that looks over its shoulder and then looks back. <laughs> Where's the bear? Ilian cleaves it in half there. Yay! Disappeared. Okay. And I'm running further around the thing. Okay. Uh, now like turned around and watching the bear very slowly as I get towards the edge of the cave. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, Ace, you're right. up. Uh, bonus action, second wind. No, oh my God. it's gone. <laughs> That's a nine. And it's into the wind. Oh, you longer. Nice, respect. Nine. Nine, so it's 13. Uh, thank God, so back up to 16. Um, okay, and then walk forward to the edge of the cliff. 25. Uh, 20, or 25. Yeah, 25. Um, mm, can I see him? 
Uh, he's pretty tall. I'm gonna say you you can certainly like like down through this crevice here. You can see the uh, you can see his head. Yeah. How fucked up is he looking? Very. Mm. Great. He's like trying to pull himself free. He goes to pull one leg free, and the tar is like ripping scales off of his leg. So you're seeing like the raw skin exposed below. Could I throw a card from here? Yeah. Oh man. Uh, it's listed as a bonus action, but that's all I would do for my action. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Cool. Yeah. Um. All right, then I'll take my last one and flip it on down. And here's the letter hand. Gnarly. You are still poisoned, so yeah. it's just uh, a... But he has disadvantage in his. 20, not that. Yeah, 12. All right. Nice. So... <laughs> So he's gonna get knocked prone into oh, the mock there. Sticky back, sticky tar back. Gets pushed back a little yeah, bit. I throw it, I'm just like, like fucking die already. <laughs> <laughs> it's like trying to lift his oh. arm up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, looking up as much as it can. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, TC. Oh. Can I oh, peer to. over the side in a hidden kind of way? <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> No, no, but okay. you have advantage on the attack anyway. He is restrained in the tar, which would give you sneak attack. You have sneak attack on advantage attack. Damn, that should so I should have gotten it on that last one, shouldn't I? With the with the staff because I had advantage on it. It's is fine. it on melee attacks too? I think it's uh, anytime. You, it says when right, I have advantage. Right. Yeah, but, yeah, you might be right. Not gonna retcon obviously, yeah, but um, all right. So this is an advantaged. Yeah, range attack. <laughs> <laughs> is he's within thirty. He is indeed. Oh, okay. Yeah. Finish him. Uh, 22 to hit. That will hit. Sneak attack. <laughs> oh boy. 17 damage. Oh. And <laughs> Oh. like to take us home. Oh, oh that's so cool. TC. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. TC like slides to the edge of the, what, looking at the bear, kind of giving himself a little space, slides to the edge. Oh, do it again. Oh. Why'd you do it again? Oh. I've been bringing it oh. <laughs> <laughs> Belly slides up to the edge, whips out the crossbow, aims it right at his neck where he's like stuck in the end. And it goes right down oh. in between the, in between the uh, 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 little armor that it's got there and he's, See the light fade from the chief's eyes, and where it was struggling before to find something to grab onto, the arms just sink in. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, and the tar man. takes it over, and the owl bear sort of. Mm. Then I stop. <laughs> Y'all better stay still. And he sniffs, and he sniffs. Seems like he's smelling the chum that was back at the entrance. Ooh. And he starts to walk in that direction. Wait for him to leave before I stand up. He walks up all the way over to the entrance very slowly, paw one paw at a time. Were you at the entrance? Oh, I was to the side of the entrance. Oh. Doxy's gonna walk over to where she thinks her javelin that missed hmm? landed. <laughs> so you're able to locate it. Great. Be kind, motherfuckers. Would you call that mission accomplished? Absolutely. All right. Shiny rock time. You know what? It is shiny rock time. As they begin to look around the chamber, you do remember that uh, if they're headed back to town, you were meant to report back to Bison's dig site. So yeah. you won't be heading back in the same exact direction. But. Is there anything that I have to do to like, Close up the cave here to like let the troglodytes know they can't come back. Like making a show of either uh, maybe taking the um, chief staff that he threw and maybe like jamming that in the ground as a way to show yeah. that the chief has been slain. And absolutely, yeah, yeah, do that. Yeah, great. Yeah. You go over and collect his staff. Has a little bit of blood on a little bit of some of that ooze that he's sort of sprayed out. You take it kind of towards the front, not all the way out, but right where the tunnel sort of leads in. Totem there at the front. Now, how might Bison find out our services to him? Will he believe us? Is there some message we can bring? I'll be sending him a message. I'm going back to a dig site, talk to someone there. If he's not there, send a message to town. 
All right. Report back on all of you. All right. So if I go looking for him, I I should have that just that extra step inside the door. Yeah. Give the gal an hour to get the message out. Well, no rush. No rush. On my word, I Thank will you. let Bison know what happened today. Thank you kindly. Do these troglodytes usually have some kind of a hoard? Anything valuable in the cave that isn't in the stone? Valuable to them, but it's mostly junk. They, they like to collect little, but unlikely to be anything of value. <laughs> <But, Yeah. laughs> fill your pockets with shiny stones. It's all yours. I ain't seen nothing. Everybody give me investigation checks. Oh, shit. Give it with advantage. You have some time here to look around. Oh. So give me investigation checks. Oh. <laughs> 11. Oh. 16. Oh, I lied. That's a 17. 18. 17. So let's go around. 17. 17. You find three sort of chunks of mithril okay. ore that uh, are small enough to carry, but big enough to yeah. have some within them. Uh, Kate, what, how, what was yours? 18. Same thing, three chunks. 16. Same thing, three chunks. 15. Uh, that's three chunks. 15 to 20 was all three Damn. chunks. Chunks of mithril? Yep, yeah, three chunks of mithril ore, so it's not pure mithril, yeah, but, but it's still mithril. That's crazy. crazy. Does, do I know if uh, Maeve wants some mithril or anything? She could. Yeah, I'll pick up a little gift for her. You, you can make an, your investigation <laughs> with a <laughs> 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 She says to herself, does Maeve want Does Maeve want? Um, boop, boop, boop. This is 12. 12, two chunks of mithril ore. You leave them, you leave some of the better chunks to them, knowing yeah. that sort of it's just little, service is paid. I gotta get some new aces, so. Yeah. Between <laughs> firing at things that explode and firing into things that are in tar pits, mm -hmm. can I gather any of my... I'll lump it in with that investigation. You did fire at some troglodytes and stuff. I'll say you, you get three back. Perfect, yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'm gonna uh, put my ore into my backpack and like quietly put my uh, talon back on as yep. I'm doing that, and then kind of walk over to Ace and be like, "I couldn't help but notice." I'm shrinking back down. <laughs> yeah, you are like, shrinking back down, <laughs> and you were bit. Is there anyone in town who might be able to teach me to do some cool things the way that you do them? Well, I can say that the person who taught me is not in town. But do I know of anyone in town? <laughs> I mean, you got your cards made by Maeve. That's true. So Fucking balls. <laughs> <laughs> the, the bracelets were not, obviously, but yeah. the cards were made by Maeve. Um, but Maeve knows some handy little tricks with objects. She really can't help you. She's a lovely gal. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. What you got there on your hand? Oh, uh, just something I brought with me from home. Same. Quiet nod. Doxy, <laughs> mm. you'll walk over to Ilian. Yeah. He's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. got a sure. wet spot right around the <laughs> yeah, cross yeah. region. Yeah. <laughs> just put a hand on your very dented armor. Mm -hmm. You all right? I just want to sleep. I want today to be over. Uh, are you okay? No, I'm fine. Good. Yeah. Relish it. Relish this it? This has been a great go to weigh in day. You saw a bear. That's awful. That's it's a terrible day. It's an immediate disqualifier for it. Yeah, it ruined my day. I will say, it is nice that we got this this ore. Uh, apparently, it's it, it could be pretty useful to sell or something. And so that's that's a plus, and we'll get paid. Tw we got paid twenty gold. It's, it's been a it's, it's been a fine day. I just didn't expect. I wasn't mentally prepared for that kind of meeting. <laughs> but but no, I'm okay. Um, I see you're low on javelins. Well, I've got more. We're okay. fine. All right. Good work. You too. You guys mm. gather up your things. Me. You get to the entrance of the cave where it seems the owlbear has sniffed around enough to note that there doesn't seem to be any food here. He's Thank been. God. He feels he was duped. <laughs> he, <laughs> he walks off into the into the dark there, and you stand at the entrance of the cave. You know that you're headed kind of in different. You guys are mostly going back southwest towards town, and you're going to like due west toward the toward Bison Stick site. So last chance to say your farewell. It was nice to meet you, Ace. It's nice to meet y'all too. Word of advice: mm -hmm. watch the twitchy fingers. Mm. Patience. You should attack more. You guys are braver than you think. Wait, so they Wait, get so to they attack they more, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here not. <laughs> Patience will serve you well. And having a bit more oomph in your step might serve you well. 
I'm not making eye contact. <laughs> oh, shit. Well, I will take that to heart. Um, I'll see you over in town. I promise. I hope so. I will contact Bassin today. Nice. We appreciate it. I'll let him know. Cheers. See ya. hope that this is a fruitful, fruitful area for him. <laughs> <laughs> Ace is already gone. <laughs> Bye, Bye, Ruby. I'm just talking to myself. <laughs> Bye, Ruby. Watch Ace disappear off to the west, and that is where we're going to end tonight's oh. episode. Oh. Thank you so much, Kelly. You're oh my God, terrific. Kelly. Thank you. Part of an yes. epic combat. Thank you, everyone, for wow. that was yes. Shout out your shit so one more time. Yes, please. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, you guys can follow me on social media at Kelly Heyer. That is K E L L E Y H E Y E R on Instagram and TikTok. I'm an actor. All the links are in my bio, all that fun stuff. Um, thank you guys for watching That's tonight. Yeah. This will not be the last me. time you see Kelly yeah, on no. table. You guys um, um, actually take turns each week getting sick, and then <laughs> yeah, 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 we'll do it on a I'm due for the flu. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I gotta get a flu shot. <laughs> Don't do it. I mean, you one should. other thing oh, I, I had a oh, other thing no. I want to ask. Yeah, oh, yeah. And this I included in your uh, mission blur. I wasn't sure if I was going to email you that stuff. I, I think it'd be fun to say. It oh, again. okay. Is I said to okay. uh, as she reports back to Bison, if there was anyone in particular that impressed her, that if she went back to Bison, <laughs> who she might say did an admirable. Oh, it's got to be TC, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> no. Forget everything uh, about the bear. Ignore everybody. I was very <laughs> obedient. I didn't um, attack until she told me to. Oh, <laughs> we all have to make her a case. You're right. not allowed to make your pitch. Shush. <laughs> if Bison says, was there anyone sort of that? Who threw uh, the chum? I give, a, I, <laughs> I give a recap, um, and I say to Bison, I don't know, in person or letter, or whatever. Um, that I think <laughs> that TC thinks about <gasps> ah, bitch. That TC that TC sucks. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that T Bassin, I think TC thinks most like you, and that's what I'll say. Okay. And then like a recap of the battle. Sure. Hey, you got your own shit going on. You got them. I get some shit too. Oh, I'm not allowed to. You're not allowed to. Have I'm not allowed. <laughs> So the message will be relayed to Bison. Okay, Thank you very drama. much. Wow, um, this is huge. For me. <laughs> she had blood, sweat, and tears tonight. Oh, wow, literally, literally blood. Literally blood. Literally blood. Literally Sorry literally. for that brief interruption. Um, I am surprised that's the first time. Everyone wanted me to stay and DM. No, <laughs> no I'm no, kidding. No, I'm no, kidding. No. I didn't mean it. The yeah, old bear comes back. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <rips Honestly>. <laughs> <laughs> I think I should eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, thank you once again so, so much to everyone for joining us. Is there anything you wanted to say before? Oh, yeah, we... I'll do a quick shout out. I'm so yep. sorry, man. And then we'll get you out of here so you can get a tissue. Out. Yeah, I think it stopped. <laughs> Nozzle. Aww. I hope so. That's like 30 minutes of straight bleeding him. Nice. Well, <laughs> oh, so okay. Annoying. We have, oh, like Ali Slayer gifted a sub and then nice guy Hubzy subscribed. Hello, Aww, welcome. Hello. Thank you so much. Thank I you appreciate so much. it. We really appreciate it. Um, we will be back next week at the same time, 7 o'clock, um, and we will if, see what Morna has been up to with the goblins. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully she's alive. Oh, oh, she's alive. Nice. oh. <laughs> oh my Do we get to see her role for the things while she wasn't here? Oh, I would love that. Uh, oh, like what? Like we do the little bit yeah, behind yeah. the scenes Yeah, we'll do some. We'll do some. Ooh, we get to yay, see. We get to yeah. see. Him, we get to see. Him. Okay. okay. I think we'll probably do what we did that time that Erland wasn't here, which is I'm before not gonna, the stream. Uh, yeah, and I'm not gonna. It'll be before the stream, and I won't tell you what all the roles are yeah. for. No. But uh, I just want to see if she rolls bad. <laughs> <laughs> so I can laugh. Yeah, right so I can laugh at her. All right, everybody. We love you all very much. Have a wonderful thank week. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Kelly, one more time. And, Yay, uh, Kelly! Oh my God. Kelly! This build was sick. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I tried to pick something kind of funky and eclectic. I loved uh, it. I loved it. And uh, all right. We'll see you next week, everybody. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye.